A. Alright. Let me post in a Discord. Now we're good to go. Okay. Wasn't following my mistake. Unbelievable. Ending stream now. My feelings are hurt. I think I did it right. But hey, what's up, Kaido? All right, so day four. Bro, it's hella early. I stream every day this time. Sadly, my schedule sucks right now. So I spent like eight hours making the new player guide first video yesterday, and I like was about done, and I rewatched it, and then I rewatched my old one, and I was like, I can't release this. So I'm, I made a whole new account and I'm playing through the new account for the first little bit. I, I wasted basically eight hours yesterday. It felt terrible. But the actual video is almost done now. I wasted eight hours yesterday. What was wrong with it? I just didn't like it. Like I watched it. And then I went back and rewatched the first one I did. The first one I did was just infinitely better for some reason. Like I put some editing into the new one. I, I put a lot of like, I did a lot of stuff and it just wasn't as clean as a no edited video. So I just went back and I was like, all right, I'm just gonna do the same exact thing I did with the old one. And I've, I'm already so much happier with it. Finally online, old man, dude, it's 4 a.m. What do you mean finally? Yeah, what's a Gion? But yeah, I just didn't like it. So the the actual one is I'm almost done with it today. I just have a few like finishing touches. But I, for some reason, I was like, this isn't as clean. Like I don't think it'll be as good as the first one. All right, so we're gonna start this one. What's Hoochie got? Bro, you missed the Discord RTA. Discord RTA. Wait, did you guys get in a call? And play Discord or what? But yo, what's up, Angels? And Zachy, thank you for subbing. It is Zachy September, so subs strong. are discounted, boys. When you guys want to support me, the last month of the year, but Yoga Feek or Twitch is Twitch Prime. I'd prefer that so you don't spend your actual money, but. All right, so let's start with some summons. For my previous mistake, well, thank you. Should I buy Mystic bookmarks from the shop? It's technically really good value, so that's up to you. I would say yes, but you don't have to as a new player. If you're an existing player though, then yes, you definitely want to. How do you get the free HP set on day three? You don't, you get a free HP set from uh, the hunt challenges. 7TV won't work for me anymore. I don't know. It's like, it's messed up somehow. 7TV like will not work in my stream for some reason. I don't really understand it. Hold on, let me organize everything better. I'm doing one by one, so I'll do two 10 summons. The problem is you have 29 free summons. So I have to do one by one at some point. You, I can't do an extra 10. Dude, you got banned for 7TV, I guess. Hey, a five star? Another crow? Wow. Oh, it would have Ike. Is she good? No, not really. Okay. Actually, what do you think about me doing all single summons? I think doing all single summons is a show of character. I think it builds, I think it builds, um, I think it builds character. I think it, uh, increases morale of your troops. I think, I think it's just great for everyone in the world. Oh yeah, this is pretty good. Ooh, yeah. Dang, single summons are lit. 
I think it takes ages, it does. What else are we doing? We're just we're just doing whatever content. Do you master yet? Yeah. I do I always do singles for Mystic. I don't want to accidentally go over and summon extra on a Mystic character. I always do singles for Mystics. I just always do singles actually, almost every single thing I do. Even on my main account. I just like single summons. I like summoning, and whenever you click 10 summon, it like it wastes the summons. You could sit here and enjoy yourself for longer, or you could just rip the bandit off and hate everything faster. Like this is the only gotcha I played where there's no benefit for doing multi. Yeah, it's weird. First Lena? Literally gotcha attic. Ooh, Horado? Alright, we're popping today. I can't just believe this is how we pulled for four years. It is. We did single summons for a long time. Look at these sparks. Oh yeah? Question, are 254 Zeo enough? Do you need 260? 254 will work for now. My Zeo was like 251 for a long time, and then I started getting outsped by Rams as I climbed higher, and I was like, nope, can't do this no more. Then summon thrill only lasts one second, exactly. You see how exciting that was for the entire time we were summoning? Alright, we got three TAM summons. Let's crank these out real quick. Uh oh. Spark. Dang. Okay. So now now we're just now we're just doing regular content. I'll start with some abyss first. Let me go do as much of this as we can. How about Moonlight Bookmarks? Those good from Hoochie Shop? I would say Moonlight Bookmarks are not good. Moonlight Bookmarks don't really count toward guarantee guaranteeing an ML5 whereas buying Mystic Metals does guarantee you to get a or a ML5 later so ML bookmarks just guarantee you for an ML4 so I don't think they're as valuable so when did you start the game I hate Abyss RNG Fiesta yes Abyss once you get past 100 especially it is a disaster But yeah, today um, we're going to be finishing setting up our Wyvern team, getting it prepped for tomorrow. And then we're going to be clearing up to Chapter 3 story, finishing the Chapter 3 story. That'll be technically day three. So I only, I only played for two hours yesterday, and then I did a little unrecorded history. That's it. What's the one-shot team for 410? Vivian, Green, Aiden, A-Raz, and Sigrid. Vivia needs to be on the cleanse EE. I have enough to pity Mystics, same for good character, good. It's a way to do it. Not don't just spam your Mystics. Wait until there's a super good character on there and then that way you have a super power increase of your account. I do think doing the live streams for the new guide series though is big. New guide, yeah, we've been working on it for a few days already. The first video, first video will be up today, second bit from here, I should be able to release a video every day of the actual thing easily. But yeah, yesterday I wasted eight hours on the first episode and it, I did not like it, so I restarted. Which then I spent another, I, I put 10 hours of work in, or 10 or 11 after stream. I was so mad when I watched it and I was like, this does this, this not sound good. Crafting starts around day 10, yeah. I was so mad watching it. I was like, this is just not clean. Doesn't feel like smooth. Uh, well, Thinus, would you be down to take over this guild, by the way? Would you be down to be a guild leader <laughs> for the guild? She was on Mystic Rotation. You picked Sunny before you finalized the blessing. You could pull her and change your blessing to ML Ken. I'm not going to suggest that in the guide because the Mystic Banner will be different when other people are starting, but yes, you technically could. 
You got Celos from Covenant? Hell yeah. Does that need, mean I need LHC from Headhunt? You can get LHC, MLKen, Zeo, any of the characters in my top. I wasn't talking guide, yeah. The guide, I won't do it, but if you want to do that, it's actually not a bad idea to try for it. Because getting Stene, ML Ken, Conqueror, Lilius, Mediator, Calric as a start would be insane. Kind of took over the guild already, didn't I? Well, I gave you Vice Captain. I didn't give you Full Captain. But if you're down to be Full Captain for the guild, it would help me a lot. And you can give it to someone else later. But I just would like to get a like actual Captain that'll ma manage recruiting and set up our Guild War teams and stuff. Reminds me of the other account that can't use LHC. Well, I pulled a Taiwan on this account yesterday, so I can't use a Taiwan for early RTA either. I mean, he's just gonna go in my box. Someone, someone sent me. They hit Challenger yesterday using only the team, uh, only the team that I had in the guide, plus like AOL, which is really cool. I know, but I'm handling members. Yeah. Well, if you would like to have the actual title, I can give it to you during the stream. But it's just the bad thing is the first episode of this guide series is being submitted to that video competition. So I just want it to be like, I'm being so picky about it. Like this video is objectively worse than the other one that I was working on yesterday. Cause it's just not as uh, like polished, but I really think that part of the reason the last guide series did so good is because it was just one take. What's a song? Uh, we're listening to Nikki. Like, it's a Nikki playlist. I don't have the individual songs. It's just every Nikki song. You end up getting Stenny, Sermia from Normal Summon. Should I pick Hand Guy and see Liz? I'm good to go. Yeah. Wait, you got a Stenny? So, your original Moonlight Blessing, you can switch that to ML Ken. Yeah, Spectre Sermia. That's some sick OC. Yeah. Nikki has some of the best music of all video games. Give me captain i'll carry your guild of victory all right appreciate it and again if you ever have a point where we're gonna make uh actually would you be able to message kiba in discord or at him in the discord and ask him if he could set a guild up for you um and then we'll try to get everyone in the guild right now into the discord to uh there they should already all be in the discord or close to and that way we can assign them the uh, channel for it here i'll go promote you now but if you're willing to talk to kiba I think he was probably asleep right now, but if he, it's just something if you could figure out to, how to do it at some point today, it'd be good. All right, so member list. Where are you at? Promote to captain. Done. You're rank 57 already? Look at this nerd. Oh my God, go outside, touch some grass. My goodness, dude. <laughs> You've been grinding. Oh, it's funny. You've been popping off though. I saw all the DMs yesterday you sent me of your account. Late put on some Beethoven. Beethoven even copyrighted anymore? Who owns the right to Beethoven? He's dead, ain't he? Is there space for this guild? Um, is there space for the guild? 23 or 23? Currently no, but there will be space later. I'm gonna go ahead and cancel out all the people that have applied right now. So that way it'll make it easier so you know that the people applying are actually and if anyone hasn't logged in for two days we can give them the boop right now hold on two hours six minutes four hours 22 hours three hours 22 hours one hour oh everyone's actually gaming all right that's i mean that's a really good sign all right so let's get out of this leave and make space for him i could but i actually have a second account in there right now that i'm i'm playing i'm playing eight i'm playing two different accounts for this guide series because I want one where everything is streamed and I want one that's uh, I can like talk as I'm going through and show these like exact clicks I do. So I'm putting in so much work for this nonsense, but I, I'm just trying to remember I only have to do it once. Doing it one time. You, I already have the second account. The second account is uh, almost done with 1010. I got to finish 1010 and then I'll be making the actual like short version video of the guide. So it'll be up in like probably eight hours from now maybe less yeah i'm doing two accounts all right so all of that's claimed all right so in shop those of you guys that don't know 
um, you can go to rank up pack one, and there's actually a bunch of rewards in here for rank up pack one that you can get for free. So once you reach level 30, you want to receive all of these. You can get 10 additional abyss entries. Get some, uh, there's a lot of rewards. So we're going to go ahead and claim that. And now we're going to go and do a little bit more of our abyss. We can do 10 floors of abyss, which is huge. This will give us a bunch of rewards. They leave because they don't want to be in the same guild as a Euphine abuser. True. Thing DD, another late stream. It is 5 a.m. It is the furthest thing from late. This is what you call an early stream over here in America. Would one of these guys have started three years ago? Yeah, that's what everyone's been saying. I think a lot of the... I, so of the people that are actually new players versus people who are returning players giving the game a second shot, I think it's like half and half. I think the amount of like players coming back and having a guide that's actually getting them into the game is the same as like new people playing the game for the first time. It's crazy. Like just, just having, having a guide to actually teach you how to play it is getting people who thought this game was trash to get into it and actually enjoy it, which is such a good feeling. I just need to make the gear guide. The gear guide is the most important video of this guide series. That one I'm going to do editing. Like I'm going to put like 10 pictures on the screen, put a bunch of text on the screen for different things, make it short, simple, you can pause it. It's gonna be so good. It will, I'm pretty sure this, this gear guide will become the like official gear guide for everybody for the next few years. Like there's already some out there that are really, really good. Um, for sure, they're simplified, but I think this one will be good. We'll do something like a flow chart. I don't know about a flow chart, but just a very simple, um, very simple way to look at it as a new player. And then um, like kind of like a guideline to follow in terms of gear score. Do we got to read it? No, I mean, you can listen to me. I will explain all of it in words. And I'm also going to do uh, captions on it. So you will be able to see all the words I say on screen, which is a really big deal. That way people who are deaf, for example, can now know how to gear in Epic 7. I think that's really valuable. Or people who maybe I speak too fast of English and they could read it and know exactly what I'm saying. Are you going to go based off a equipment score, a gear score, uh, equipment, or equipment score, in-game score? Going off gear score is a horrendous thing that new or that current content creators do to new players. You do not want to go off equipment or gear score because gear score is something that's not in the game. It requires a third party program to even understand fully. So why confuse people more than they already need to be confused? I hate guides that talk about equipment score for new players. I hate it. It is it is terrible as a content creator. Like you can you can say that it exists and explain, but then don't don't even worry about that because it it's just not helpful for new players. It just creates a more confusing atmosphere for the game. I uh, used 30 million gold in crafting and only had 11 speed to show for. He really needs that guide. Yeah, that, that right there is a really, really bad. If you craft 10,000 materials, you are going to get at least a 14 speed piece. It might not be speed set, but you are going to at least get one 14 speeder. It's statistically, it's nearly impossible to not get something above 14. It's just that person wasn't, wasn't like eight, or didn't know to, like the proper gambles to take and things like that. Soundtrack is so good, yeah. Nikki, Nikki's music's insane. Do you recommend a Momo if I don't get Crosa? I actually recommend Angelica now. Doing a Momo, but you also one. Okay, so this guy is a little different. We are going to be using our Grace of Growth on our Wyvern front tank so that you can switch out your Wyvern front tank later. So I suggest using Angelica over Momo because we don't want to worry about Angelica's specialty change. We want our first specialty change to be Adventure Raz, just to make the overall like flow and progression of the guide and your early game easier. So we're trying to avoid a Momo at all costs as a new player, just so we don't accidentally get her missions finished and lose out on 300 fire runes, because it will slow down your overall progression big time. Not big time, but by quite a bit. Had to farm 200 red runes for Raz, yeah. I think doing, making sure we do Raz as our first specialty change is going to free up big time. 
So that's one of the changes I'm doing in the guide. There's there's a few little things like that. You got your third Lua. Let's go. But Nodi, your guides have really motivated me to come back to the game and help me. Yeah, see, Nodi's an example of someone who's coming back to the game and able to like clean their account up. Isn't gear sore plus 26 equipment score? Roundabout, yes. But yo, Grumpy Zero, thanks for subbing. This is the first month we've gotten more actual subs than Twitch Prime. So far. Almost all months lately, it has been all Twitch Primes, but I guess with the discounted subs, we might see more regular subs this month, which is cool. If we could hit 500 subs on Twitch this month, that would be the most banger way to end the year. I, I'll, I still have to do a league stream for my last subathon, so I'm not I'm not allowing myself to do another subathon until I finish. There's and I need to do Otil. There's two things that I've been slacking on that I need to make sure we do because <laughs> we haven't finished them yet. So that's how I was with last subathon too. There's a bunch of things I was trying to figure out when the best day to do it was, and then it got pushed for like a month. So we'll be building cigarette. Yes, we're building cigarette because also we're going to be trying to do the Zeo one shot. I'm going to be doing my best to guide everyone through one shotting Zeo. And that should save us some time too. The old Zeo method works just fine, but we're going to try our best to save as many resources as possible. I actually, I accidentally did that, but I closed the game during the tutorial and got fire and some Raz later. So, oh, okay. Well, we're not gonna we're we're not gonna gamble on that. We're just gonna do it though, the one way. I don't know what's wrong with my Twitch Prime. Oh well. I mean that works, but that costs you money. What do you mean by one shot? It, you're we're killing Zio in like two turns. That's our goal. I don't know how hard it's gonna be without like certain things that uh, players got during like events before, but I think I can I can guide everyone through doing it. Pretty sure I'll be able to. So that's what I'm going to try, but if it doesn't work, then I'm going to go back and just suggest the old method because it's it's a more consistent method for sure because we already know it works. It's just we're, we're trying to cheat the system as much as we can. Hey, what's up, Wukai? I think it's Wukai, but Decoder, good morning. Can I get into your new account guild? Just played for three days and still can't find a guild. So today, guys, I need volunteers for people who would be guild leaders. Um, in terms of getting into my new player guild right now, uh, we're full. But if anyone would be willing to be guild leaders, it would be amazing. Being a guild leader is very easy, and the only thing we ask is if you decide to step away from the game is to pass the guild leader on to someone else. So any new players that need a guild, if you'd be willing to just be a guild leader for us, and uh, there's like a small set list of stuff you have to do every day. It takes like five minutes a day at most of your regular playing. Probably not even that. Probably it's like 10 hours a week would be the total. Um, well, maybe a little bit longer because you're, you're gonna be picking up people from the Discord, but we need some motivated people. Can I ask which ML Heroes is better or is best for a beginner? Um, ML Landy is like number one of characters you don't already get because like you're going to be getting Spectre, Sabre, Mediator, Kaurik, and probably Conqueror, Lilius. If you're starting the game right now, you're getting those for free. Um, through the in-game challenges, but ML, ML Ken, ML Landy, Zeo, Rysaria, um, Last Rider Crow, all those are great for new players. There's a couple more that you can put in there. Can I have a Discord link? It's in the description of the YouTube stream. If you can't find it, all right, here, I'll just get you the link right here. But yeah, please, if anyone's willing to be a guild leader, uh, type in main chat in Discord. But here is the Discord link. I fiddled with the damage calc a bit and came to conclusion Sigur needs 5k attack, 300 crit damage. To actually one-shot it, yes, but even if you don't kill it in that hit, you can clean it up after. So. The easiest way I found is to ask someone to use their cigarette. See, the problem is asking someone to use your cigarette. I don't want to make that part of the guide. I want us to be able to beat it without doing that. And I think we can. But I'm going to be having you work on. Can you check my account? I do not have the time. You guys got to remember, as you guys are going through this game, there's also thousands of other people going through the game at the same time. 
by giving guides to my account. I know what you mean, and usually I charge money for that, but I currently, I, I, there's too many people, and I don't have any time to even charge people money to get into their accounts. So I'm sorry, but we are just to a point where it's we're covering too many, and it's just unfair for me to log into one person's account and not the other one. So... The best thing I can do is give you a guide and give you every resource you could possibly need to figure it out yourself. That's the best I can do. And I can ask questions. If you have questions, I can ask or answer them. It's the best build for Summer Charlotte. Just got her. If you're a new player, none. But she's either on lifesteal for slow builds, which almost nobody does, or she's built like 240 speed full damage for using for cleave. Or 220, 240, I'm not sure the exact speed. I don't currently use her. You're rank 57, yeah, don't even worry about building her right now. If you're following my guide series, any extra characters you get like that, you pretty much ignore them until you're to like day 20 of the guide. You're about like rank 65, 70. Then you'll start deciding on what stuff you can actually use. I'm gonna give him 1k to look at mine, he turned me down, guys. You were not gonna give me 1k. There's a certain amount of money that I would log into account for, but I, I feel crappy doing it. Yo, Grumpy Zara, thank you for gifting five subs. Appreciate you. And no, Grumpy Zara, if I will not log into your account. Good try, though. I think that puts us three subs away. Yeah, we're three subs away from 300 again. We're right at the edge. We were at 290 at the start of the stream. We're at 297. So, thank you for that, Grumpy Zara. WTF scam. Rick, you're already sub, nerd. I got LHC earlier. I'm not debating. Go for it. ML Bologna. Zio, Zio is better than ML Bologna. ML Bologna isn't as good as everybody. Everybody wants ML Bologna right now for some reason. ML Bologna, she's good, but she is not top tier like these other characters are. She is good though. Yo, what's up, Beta? And plus ML Bologna, most of you will not be able to build her. She's top tier waifu, she is. Oh, you just got belly and congrats, we bastard. You just got a Euphine on your account? Oh, ML Euphine is like top three characters PvP right now. You won't be able to use her for a while, but be very, very happy you pulled her. Everyone on Twitch calls me an ML Euphine abuser because I pick her every game, and every game I pick her, I pretty much win. <laughs> so she is insanely strong. It's it's actually hard to lose if you pick ML Euphine. You got LHC earlier, okay, but yeah, I would say Z over Malona personally, but if you, you mean you can pick Malona, if you love the character design, you can pick Malona and work on getting a good version of her, but Malona really only works on a certain playstyle, and she is very easy to control, so if your opponent picks anything that debuffs, she's usually struggling. You watched a China E7 Cup a few hours ago, I watched one, one match in Genesis stream. The E7 World Cup is actually, um, like getting getting to the players who know how to draft, which is nice. Because the first couple days, they, the Chinese Eason World Cup was a disaster. Those people were so lost. A beat, Abyss speed set any good? The, the the T88 speed set? Yes, it's very good. Yeah, yeah, it's very good. All those pieces end up being, you're gonna end up using all of them, almost guaranteed. I think Nightmare Labyrinth is uh, more important for getting 13 on hunts. Getting 13 on hunts. Nightmare Lab, the, here's the thing, guys. On my main account, I never do Labyrinth, and I'm top 200 RTA. I never do Labyrinth, but Labyrinth is good to do, but do you need to do it? No. I, I, I've I never done um, the super hard version of Labyrinth. Never bothered doing it. It's smart to do it, and as a new player, uh, once you've been playing for like two to three months, then yeah, you want to be farming it because it's going to give you some good gear. But for me, I just personally never do lab. I haven't even done Malakus's Consciousness on my main account. Just farm Wyvern 13 then? Yeah. It's like, my account's an example of as long as you're farming your daily stamina on hunts and utilizing your daily stamina, you will be able to compete at the top of the game after a period of playing. Lab is just boring and too much time commitment, in my opinion. Um, for to be worth it for me, but if you have the time and the gear you get from it is really good so but 
that's why I don't push you guys to learn how to do it because it's a good way to burn yourself out of wanting to play the game. So I teach you how to get to two labyrinth and then from there, good luck. <laughs> You'll figure it out if you want to. You'll ha you have all the characters, it's easy. I'll, I'll probably end up doing a proper labyrinth guide this time, but I just don't like pushing people into it because for me it's something I would quit the game over because I'm not or not quit the game but I'm not it's going to give me less motivation to play the game feeling like I have to do this every month. I want to like get you guys to know you don't have to do it before you put yourself through the stress of doing it. But I highly suggest that you do do it. <laughs> How to clear episode 2, 10, 10. I have a video. I mean, any are on 10, 1 or 10, 10? I'm assuming 10, 10. You're talking about the Fossus fight. I have a video on YouTube for that in my 2023 player guide. It's titled clearing that chapter. 10, 1. Uh, are, what's your story clearing team? Two duels. I'm on Unity set. What's your story clearing team? Because if it's different than the team that I use in the guide, then I'm not going to know what to tell you besides use the characters I tell you to use in the guide series. Are you gonna make a best force for top floors? Yes, I am. All right, guys, the plan was to get that done yesterday, but I spent eight hours editing and making the first episode of the new player guide and I was unhappy with how it turned out. So I wasted eight hours yesterday and started a new account after eight hours and uh, started remaking the video because it's just so much better doing it the way I did it before. And so I spent 11 hours yesterday just on that. And then I streamed for like three hours. So between those two things, I did that and I went to sleep. So I wasted eight hours of my day yesterday. So I am, I am way behind of where I wanted to be for December now. So I'm just in a constant, constant loop of just feeling behind and I have to get out of this loop as fast as possible. Because it is brutal. Do you think new players should invest in your expedition teams? Yes. If you're following my guide, I have you guys make expedition teams. Like as you're going along, you will be you will be making expedition teams following my guide. Expeditions are more important to do than labyrinth by far. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and promote cigarette. So Cigarette is our second six star since we are doing our um, Grace of Growth on our front Wyvern tank. Usually your front Wyvern tank would be your second six star from my guide, but since we're using Grace of Growth on that, our second six star is Cigarette. I'm gonna go ahead and level her up. Yes, I'm using big penguins. We will have plenty of big penguins we will be using. So now let's look at her awakening. We need, or actually I'm just gonna combine runes just to get this done now and awaken her. Okay, so our cigarette is fully awakened. I have two Tiger Hells, so Tiger Hells feed into each other, but you're going to end up needing like six max Tiger Hells over time. So every time you get a Tiger Hells, feed it into whichever one you have until it, it is maxed out, and then start a second one and start feeding into that one. Okay, so Furious is done. Alexa, we can awaken her again. We have a little bit more work. I think I have six max Tiger Hells right now, and they're all being used. And as the game keeps progressing and more mages come out, you end up wanting more and more, so. But you don't need six as a new player because you won't have the characters. But the more you have, the better. Yeah, you'll get them. You, you will get them over time. All right, let me clear out some of this now. And for this, I'm gonna go ahead and put, I think my cigarette has gear on, so let's just do this. Okay, maybe she doesn't have a gear on. <laughs> I'm not sure. I started a 23 guide like three days before you made this one. Do I need to change the new Wyvern team? No, no, you can just, if you're following the old guide, just stick to the old guide. The old guide's just as good. This one, I'm just I'm just doing things a little bit differently because I think it'll be smoother um, long-term. And I, it, I don't know, it's not really gonna change much. So if you're following the old guide, just, just keep following it, you'll be fine. But you can follow along with this guide and it, seeing two different ways to do things might help you understand things more too. If you're ever chilling in my streams and see me doing things a certain way, hopefully it'll help you, like things will click about the other guide too. Is it worth to run Wyvern 13 on manual? No, nah. no, don't, don't do it on manual.
There's a reward for Mulligore challenges, normal, that gives hunt materials, which piece of gear to go for for that. That's up to you. You can just use it on Wyvern gear. That's what I do in the guide, but it is smart to use it on like maybe some Banshee gear or something else, just because you might not be farming that or use it on as a manic gear. Um, you can hold on to those for a while until you decide what to use it on. You don't, you don't feel forced to use it right away. But Roar King thinks it follows Landy good. Yeah, Land Landy's pretty good. Landy can be replaced for Tieria as a new player. Or Tieria can be replaced for Landy. It's a better way to say it. Okay, so keep farming these. I'll buy flags. Is it better to keep farming and record history while new player buffs are active? You can switch to hunts now. So new new player buffs last for 30, 30 days. So you can switch to hunts. You, I'm going to explain that in this guide series because that's one of the things that changed. You farm on recorded history usually for the first 10 to 15 days, but if you have farmed enough on recorded history, you can switch to hunts at any time. So the thing is you need to make sure you farmed enough on recorded history. They have a bunch of extra charm dust. So once you start farming hunts, you can actually level up your gear. So that is the goal. What's the best story team for 10-1? The same story team that we used in the guide. 10-1, if you're struggling with 10-1, you have something dramatically wrong with your account. <laughs> you should not be struggling with 10-1. If you're struggling with 10-10, that makes sense, and I have a guide video for it. But if you're struggling with 10-1, you should be beating that stage on full auto without even looking at the game. Episode 2, 10-1, I, I know what you're saying. You, No one struggled with that stage that I've ever heard of. So either you have... what what's It cannot be 10-1. It's, it's the first stage of chapter 10 is where you're struggling. Nobody of the 100,000 people, I think you're telling me the wrong stage. No one of the 100,000 people following my guide or that watched the guide video or however many it was ever said anything about that. I got Cerise, I use her for Wyvern 13. No, Cerise is not a Wyvern 13 character. It's 10 1. I don't know. Do you, you must not have the story clearing team that I use. I'm always quite at Epic 7. You, d you did not follow the guide properly if you're struggling there. I can't even show the stage. Oh, you're new to the channel? Okay, well, if you're new to the channel, then I'm not really sure what to tell you because you're going to have completely... What the fuck? 10-1 episode 1? No, this episode two, ten dash one. I I feel like you're saying the stage wrong. You're, you're saying it's the first. So hold on, let me just go real quick. Whenever you go into adventure, you're saying when you so when you go into adventure, I can't even show it because I'm not there yet. So we're in chapter two. So I'm. You're saying you're struggling with this stage right here. Oops. You're saying you're struggling with this stage right here. This stage? Yeah, you need to you, you need to redo your team. That's all I can say. You need to redo your team. So this is the normal story clearing team, and if you get Tamarin, you switch it out for Destina. But like this is the team that you would use. This is the team we use to be literally all of story, except we trade out her and her for other characters later. But this stage, there's not a single person that I've seen is a Fossus fight at first. Oh, uh, is it a Fossus fight? Okay. Well, still, it should be full, you just full auto and should end up clearing it with this team or switch to Steena for Tamarin if you have Tamarin. This is all you need, all free characters that the game gives you. Uh, bro, how can your level be that fast for day four? I barely. I barely played, what do you mean? I played two hours yesterday. I played like an average of three or four hours a day. My level is low compared to my last guide series. I've played very little. And when I say play, I've been streaming too, so. Well, when I say a Tywin summon, did I miss something? Yeah, we got a Tywin in yesterday's stream. I really need help. I just showed you what you need and you can go to my new player guide for that day and see what I do around the time that I'm clearing that. That's the best I can I can really do for you because I don't know the characters you're using, but whatever characters you're using are definitely not the ones you should be. 
Yeah, this by this time last I was I was past level fifty. Tywin or Croza for W thirteen, you can use Tywin. I'm not trying to be mean here. Can I ask the Discord guidance? You can. You can go into Discord. You're, they're going to ask your team. You're going to have to post pictures of all the characters on your team, and they're probably going to tell you to stop using everything you're using. I'm gonna. I'm just going to guess right now. But they will help you. You just have to be open to making the changes that they suggest. I'm not meaning to be mean here, but it's helping. If you're not following the guide series, trying to help you do it your way is not really productive. Why they're losing to RNG and their team is fine, Rick. Thank you. But yeah, I'm not meaning to be mean, but I, like, I'm trying to help as many people as possible. And if you aren't following the guide, at least partially, and don't have at least some of the stuff I have, then I have to completely come up with a whole strategy for you to beat it when I'm trying to make a general strategy for everybody. But uh, Lindy Limwell, you are the first Prime of the day. Thank you for using your Prime here. What happened to you see your Invincible buff? Do you get injury from it? I don't even, I auto, I don't even know what that stage is because I autoed it always. How good is Free Spirit Tyria? She's like top tier for new players getting into the game for clearing story because she's she comes max skilled up. You actually have Tamron. Good. You need to be using. You need to be using Tamron. Where? What am I doing right now? I don't even know what I'm working on. I just started clicking stuff. Level five still. Yeah, you're gonna want to level her up. Tamron is a cheat code for all PVE. But yeah, our Discord is very helpful. Sometimes people troll a little bit, but that's just any community. You're gonna have people that. They, they uh, take their anger or frustrations out sometimes, which I'm I'm the same way. But most of the time, our Discord, 99.9% .9 of our dis time, the Discord is very helpful. But occasionally, it might get frustrating for you. But damn, what happened? I don't know. We just have a, a the occasional per person that'll troll a little bit. Not, not troll, but like basically have no patience for new people asking questions. They they forget that everybody learns the game at a different pace. Like I've asked some of the dumbest questions in history when I started Epic 7. Say the N-word? Oh no, I, no, no one said that, hopefully. I think auto mod would ban them if they tried it. <clears throat> Is here useful for mid to late players or anything at all? Just, no, oh, there's just better options. She's just really nice to have at the beginning because it basically just gives you everything to have her maxed out for free. So using Tyria as a new player, she's just already like really strong. So there's no reason not to take advantage of the free, free really strong character the game gives you. There's a dude trolling yesterday saying Sigro is bad and to build Clarissa instead for Wyvern. Yeah, that person, we need to like revoke his access to the help channel. There's certain people that, that we need to revoke their access. We need to, I need to give a role that like hides anything in the Discord where they can actually affect other people's thing. That's not what you said. Okay, good. There's something like that in Genesis Discord. Yeah, there always will be. There always is. There's no way. Can you Discord friend with me? No. I am not going to personally help you. You just want help? Then ask the Discord. There are 9,000 other people out there. I am not going to personally help you. I currently have 70 DMs that I have not even looked at. I do not I do not have the time to go through DMs right now. I'm already stressed out with everything that I'm trying to work on. I have anybody who's DMing me on Discord, the chance of me answering you is almost zero. And I'm I'm sorry. Eventually, I'll get back to a point where I can I can like actually be part of the community again with you guys. But I have to take this next like two weeks to get as much done as I can. I'm already super stressed out. So. Uh oh. I have to level up my characters. He replied to you last night. I feel special. You were lucky. I 
Not even close, baby. Can I also be your Discord friend? No. I will. If you guys send me friend requests on Discord, they sit and never get touched. If you send me DMs in Discord, if I have free moments, really the only time I respond in Discord now to DMs is whenever I am not at home and on my phone and have a couple free minutes. But if I'm ever at home, I never answer Discord DMs. Although I, I got Lua and I was wondering if I could be part of a Wyvern team. No, Lua is not a Wyvern character. Those characters I suggest for your Wyvern team are very hard to replace. Really, it's not worth doing anything else for a Wyvern team besides what I suggested at the beginning. The only time you'll really change is whenever you're going to be creating a one-shot team later if you ever decide to. But from the simple suggestions that we do in there, you never really need anything different. Okay, so I could probably level gear up a little bit. Have I ever set the auto select here? Alright, well, we're just gonna sell like everything. Just clean up the inventory. I can sell all that stuff I'm looking at. I don't know why I'm not just doing it, but actually let's sell this. Get us some charms. And then let's level up our gear a little bit. So I actually, do I want to level up Tyria's gear first? I kind of want to start leveling up the T75 gear. Isn't this T70? No, this is T75, okay. So let's level this up to plus 15. Actually, let's do the boot first. The boot will give us more overall damage. Very tough to be good. She is good for PvP, but you won't be able to use her for a little while probably. So just be aware of that. 16 speed. Sheesh. Okay. So Destina, let's upgrade the boots on her. This is, get this to plus 15. That rolled actually really good, if only it dodged the first effect in this roll. And we want to level up the helmet first. Just go to plus 12 on it. And then go to plus 12 on this. Alright, give me a second to get back to chat. Ooh, 27 effect res is really nice. If we get our effect res again at the end there, that could be big. Alright, this will just go to plus 6. Having a hard time to have lots of PvP heroes. Yeah, you probably you probably have no Sky Stones and used all your Sky Stones on summoning. I'm almost I guarantee I know exactly where your account or what your account is looking like. Okay. Just leave this how it is. This will put to plus twelve. No, you completely misunderstood what I said. I'm not saying Clarissa is better in whatever, and so she's generally more useful. Saying Clarissa is generally more useful than Cigarette? Are you on crack? You are the you are the person suggesting Clarissa? Guys, if you're suggesting stuff in the Discord, try to avoid going away from what I suggest in the guide. Because it's just gonna confuse people more. At that point, the person's better off joining the official Epic 7 Discord. Like don't don't take your own whatever nonsense you're trying to do. Like, yes, it might work for you. But stick to the general stuff I suggest, please. Like that, if, if, you, if you guys start doing your own, like make your own new player guide at that point. <laughs> like don't, don't go and like step on what we already suggest people because it's just going to confuse them. Like you're, you're, you're contributing next to nothing at that point. You're just creating a headache for everybody else. Like if, if you're going to, if you're going to, if my discord is deviating from what I suggest, what's the point of having people join it? Like that, that is just frustrating. Funny because Blue Cigarette can cleave some red mirror comps at Guild War 2, just use Cigarette. Yeah, as an early game player, Clarissa is in no way, shape, or form any uh, remotely Cigarette. So whatever nonsense train you got on with that, please get off of it. Clarissa is not good. She can be used, but she is not good. But French Bessie thinks to follow. I mean, I just clear to go armor 13. You can use her. I'm not saying you can't use her. I'm just saying, why are you creating more? Like, you're just 
You're, that's that's like, just like attention seeking at that point. You're just attention seeking, trying to be different. There's no point for doing that. But yo, Sim FPS, thanks for the prime as well. Just subscribe. Just just follow. Just in my Discord at least. Just go. If people are asking questions, give them my suggestions. It's worked for tens of thousands of people already. Keep going. There's a between ads and stream. Does that count to, uh, to your views? Between ads and stream. What do you mean? Who is smirking your profile picture? So that is an emote I have designed. It's supposed to be Isla from Plastic Memories. Whenever I first created uh, this, or my channel, like Isla from Plastic Memories was like my mascot. So I tried to get, tried to get emotes around her. But that was like six years ago. I've been on Twitch. I've been streaming on Twitch for like eight years. I'm a partnered for, well, I think I've been partnered for almost eight years. I'm not sure. I've been, I've been doing content creation stuff for forever. Simply, attention seeker. I simply voice an opinion. That does not mean I don't agree with the guy. Well, what I'm saying is, please, or please don't do that. Anyone who's giving help in the Discord, if it's someone trying to follow the guide, don't deviate from it. Like, like having your own like individual opinion that everyone else disagrees with should tell you something. We're told by you to multiply the time. Please do not give that advice to new players, and you least and you leashed out buddy we told you multiple oh wait so wait so you were the problem yesterday all right this is perfect so it looks like it looks like 20 people had a problem with what you were doing in discord yesterday right here this should show you please don't do that again if you're going to help give the general advice thank you and if you do that again you'll just be banned from the discord i know it's annoying but it's better like you annoyed 20 to 50 people with what you did yesterday so that right there, like, don't, just please don't do that again. I appreciate that you were trying to help in your own way. Don't get me wrong, but just, you see how, how many people in chat right here. And the thing is half the people that you annoyed are probably asleep too. So I wasn't even there and I'm annoyed by the stream is getting one guy I know, but I mean this, I'm trying to use this as an overall thing. So all of you that are in the Discord that hear it, just, you, you, you know too. Yeah, so from here, please, please do not do that. No, I'm not going to sit here and be bullied into submission by some 50-year-old virgins. Oh, okay, we can just ban you now at this point. Should we just ban him at this point? I didn't realize you were going that deep down the high horse hill. If you ever do anything dumb again in Discord, it's Instaban. We'll just put it there. You're you're safe now. Maybe you had a bad day yesterday. We'll give you the benefit of the doubt. But if you ever, if you ever say stuff like that and disrespect the community again, you are cooked. You are gone. That is the, like, have some respect for other people. If you are getting ganged up by 70 people, you should know you're in the wrong. Like, 70 people are against you. You're in the wrong. How much do I need to pay for an account review? I'm not going to do. That, like, you're, like, we're trying to build a cool community and having one person like talk to people like that, that is disgusting. So that's your warning. If I see anything else again, we'll just get rid of you. This is your redemption arc. So slow quality drama. I know, I know. I didn't expect this. I'm not the only person to be toxic. So I'll go investigate. I'll go look at it all later. But either way, don't talk to people like that. Like, come on. Like, yeah, we know you're online, but I'm sure some people said some rude shit to you too. So that's why I'm trying to give you the benefit of the doubt. You were probably trying to defend yourself, but be just guys. Be nice to each other in Discord. Like, I will start banning you guys if you become a consistent problem. It's, if you if you enjoy having a place that's active and also awesome for Epic Seven, generally besides yesterday, <laughs> if you appreciate what we've built, then please respect it. Ban me, Loisius. Ban yourself. You're a mob. What happening is just I I don't even know what's happening at this point. Let's just move on. <laughs> no more about the topic. Let's just move on, boys. I'm giving him the benefit of the doubt that some other people are being rude to him too. 
so. But if, if you guys are talking like that to each other, hell no. Respect each other. Even if they, if you, even if you feel they don't deserve respect, just just respect them. I just arrived. I mean, anytime you get this many people together, there's always gonna be drama. Like, just look at school. Like, you you get a you get 200 kids in the same grade, and you're gonna have drama every day. And having 9,000 people in there, we're gonna have drama every day. So, any guy yeah, know how to beat floor 10? Oh, you're trolling. Okay, I was about to say. <laughs> All right, let's move on. You simply there's so much drama. Actually, we're probably the least amount of drama of any community. There's never content creator drama. There's been like content creator drama like three times in f four years, five years. It's actually nice. Is Lionheart Sermia good? Yes, Lionheart Sermia is very, very good. So what do you think about Rift buff? I think Rift buff is shit. 20 runs, too clear. Well, Rift is already really, really efficient, and just adding a little bit is better. And everyone came at me, and I wasn't intending to start anything. Okay, you're good, you're good. We're chill, you boy. I, like I said, I, I'm giving you the benefit of the doubt. I have a feeling somebody triggered you too. So, like, what you said was probably a little over the top, but someone may have said something just as rude to you. So, let's just drop it there. I, I know you're a cool person. You've always been cool in my stream. We'll just move on. Just try, if you guys just hold yourselves back. <laughs> Do your best. We're trying to build something cool here. Don't be part of the tearing down of it. But Laz, thanks for the follow. We got a good amount of five stars from just free summons. I can't wait to be able to build other characters. Yeah, just if you're if you're going, day 20 is when you can start looking at all that. Your Discord link is expired? It shouldn't be. Like here, th that Discord link right there should work. Leave the drama focus on the OST, exactly. We have the most of, or we have the most Ep or, uh, active Epic 7 Discord outside of the official Discord. And I want to keep it that way. I love new players getting into the game and seeing just how how lit E7 can be. Dude, why is my extra Violet getting cooked? I should probably go 5 star Raz. It'd help out a lot. But when you guys join Discord, you have to react to the role to even be able to see anything in Discord. Oh my god, a billion of you. What the hell? There's like 80 people joining the Discord. Hold on, give me a second. We're going to make sure everyone has your roles in there so you can see the Discord. Those of you guys that actually might not know how to read, let me make sure you guys can see the Discord. Oh wait, almost all of you know how to read. I'm very proud. Like this is like a 95 to 5% able to read ratio. Wait, this might have been the best best joining group ever. The new the newest couple people that joined, you haven't got a chance to read it yet. I understand that. I'm just giving you the role. All right, you all have roles. Need me to help you gear on your account? I know you're a new player. Looks like you need my help. How much do you charge? We can read. Some of you guys can. 80 crypto bots dude the most annoying part about running a discord server should i replace my tier with shoe for pv yeah you can um if you have the gear set for shoe you can replace her because shoe helps you get through chapter three and four okay so that's five star raz pulled straight from mystic pity yesterday and today i did my first 200 mystic summon sword pity and lost 50 50 to shoe damn rats gatekeeping me from astromancer i'll tell you right now if you pull astromancer you're barely gonna be able to use her Astromancer's kind of rough. Should I use Golden Rose on my shoe? Yeah, Golden Rose is a good artifact for shoe, for new players especially. That's what I used on mine in the account challenge. Okay, so we want a six star Raz. Or five star Raz, sorry. Oh, we don't have enough. We suck at the game. I just, I forgot we're bad at the game. Okay, so we'll do that later. Um, let's summon a couple times for Tamron. Yeah, Astromancer Elena is, uh, she is pretty decent for Guild War and Arena. She, she can be, she can be okay. But overall, she is very hard to use. What you got in the mail? I got the um, like the time gated rewards. I'll explain it again real quick. After wait, I'm summoning on Tamron, right? Tell me it's Tamron. Okay, we are. That's not Tamron. Ooh, green Armin.
there are two options how to have good start and you some file duty guy to go like me wailing <laughs> or do both if you do both your account goes crazy don't uh, new players probably still go hand guy oh yeah you definitely still go hand guy mediator kyrick is definitely still best okay so did not get tamarin Okay, this is what I was gonna show. I'm not claiming this stuff because all new players that start will not get this. This is a huge boost to your account, but I don't wanna take this because if someone's following the guide in six months from now, they're not gonna start with 2000 conquest points. So I don't wanna have like an advantage over anyone who starts at a different date watching the guide. So all of this stuff in here, I'm not gonna take it because I don't wanna be um, ahead of them. So that is the idea behind it. So that's what's in there, but I'm not not grabbing it. I'm letting it expire. But you get those conquest points and stuff in your mail. It was from starting a couple days ago. So if you started, I don't think you get it anymore. If you start now, you'll get like character summon tickets. But if you start now, you're not going to get this. So that's why I'm not taking it. You're like not getting this kind of sucks, but it's better to start your account now still than to start later. So. It's not a big deal not to get that. I mean, that does help out a lot, but it's not the end of the world. All right, so let's do a couple more. Under 100 stocks when you get 80% of ML unit pool. Wait, HH, oh, Headhunt sucks. Yeah, Headhunt, Headhunt doesn't, I mean, for me, it's giving me the last ML5 I need. So yeah, HH, I was thinking Hunter Hunter. <laughs> uh, problem with whaling, the same issue. People just log in, some with their sky stones. Yeah, that is, that is true too. Honestly, some of like the thing is once you spend, I think that's a lot of the account work I did of or like early on of people being stuck in the game. Uh, does Green Landy still worth investing? Yeah, Green Landy still be good. If you're gonna use your PVP, you need Guiding Light Artifact though, or else she's not really usable. But for just general PVE stuff, Green Landy's still great for like Abyss and story clearing. When will ML Landy come back? For but not like for like a year and a half, she'll come to a coin shop and. It's like a year, year and a half from right now, probably. It's a long time. And I don't have her on my main account, which sucks. And by the time Landy comes back, she's going to be mediocre. She'll be, she'll still be okay, but she won't, by the time Emma Landy comes back, she won't be nearly as good as she, well, she's already taken a huge hit. When she first came out, she was insane. Same with MLU Fiend. And, but once they come back around, everybody's going to know how to fight them and they won't be as good. But yo, Neo Nico, what's up? Who would you suggest as a third unit from Custom Bader? Landy guiding Landy, Cerise for guiding light, because guide, Landy's uh, artifact isn't guiding light. So it's Landy, Cerise, and I usually suggest Green Asaria. And if you don't go Green Asaria because you already have her, then do either Fairy Tilt Tenebria or Summertime Asaria. Or any other limited character. D doesn't really matter. Just woke up and started daily. Same. Dude, I woke up, came over to Discord, and someone literally typed as I was walking over there and added me and they're like where is your stream <laughs> like i was awake for legitimately like four minutes and then it's like they have a they have a drone in my house they saw i was awake they're like dude what are you doing on your phone stop being lazy i wasn't even on discord on my phone either it's the scariest part i was looking up giant anime titties on twitter How to start a good day, it seems. Yeah. <laughs> so tap into past tense is correct. Wait, so tap in past tense is censored. Um, huh? Tap? What's tap in past tense? Tapped? <laughs> Wait. <laughs> I'm lost. Alright, so my moderator censors some words in Twitch chat, just so you know. Yeah, from customs can get Bologna and other what can't just summon. Uh, what do you mean? Oh, Summer Blown. You can get Summer Blown. Any limited character past those two is fine, whichever one you want. Should I bottle my free spirit tier? Yeah, to six star, you can. That's what I did. It's a little bit less efficient, but it doesn't matter. The difference just does not matter. So yeah, you can do it. Anytime you use your potions, it legit doesn't matter how you use them, as long as you use them on a character in these six star. Twitch told me to send tapped. Why? Like I said, my, my Twitch mods will ban words, and I don't know what all they have banned. So who knows what they're doing. 
I picked Ian as my third option for unfading memories. I figured the ER will make building uh, high ER soul in the future easier. It's not a bad choice, actually. Um, having higher ER, like I was trying to build a Rift team on my last account and I needed like a little bit. What you can't type tap? Dang you, boy, Jim. You suck at Twitch chat. Embarrassing. Now it's working? Oh, one of the mods fixed it. Okay. <laughs> What are equipment fonts used for? Uh, those are for uh, equipment conversions, which we are not to that point in the guide, so I can't show you. But they're for equipment conversions. And the blue boxes that you get, let's see, do we have any blue boxes? We don't have any blue boxes, but blue boxes will give you like to where you can change, pick the fonts. What's your server? Global. I suggest everyone goes global server, personally. Um, but you don't have to, but global server is the most active and has the most guilds. But guys, we need more guild leaders. If anyone's willing to lead a guild, type in main chat and Discord. We need more guild leaders. Um, if you type in main chat, I'm going to get you in contact with Kiba today. JP? Yeah, don't go JP. I think of, of the like 8,000 people that joined Discord, there were like maybe 14 people that were on JP server. And a lot of them switched because they realized. You start in Asia? Asia's fine. It's not a big big deal. Type in main chat for DD. So true, you'd be down to lead a guild. Okay, I need to make sure, I need to get a list of you guys. Do we must pull for Tamarin? If you're going to be following my guide series, yes, you need to pull for Tamarin. And I, even if you're not following my guide series, you're going to want Tamarin anyway. So your first summon character and target should be Tamarin. Uh, if you're a new player, you, I, I personally, I'm not doing group summon, obviously, on this account, but if you're a new player, you don't even have to summon on the custom group banner. If you, like, I don't even think it's that super worth it. I would just do target drop rate up and then pick Cerise and two other characters that have good artifacts and then buy their artifacts from the shop down here. I would do one summon and then come into Powder and Knowledge Shop and I would buy those artifacts. Like, I would buy a Guiding Light here. You could put Elber Ritual Sword. You could buy Elber Ritual Sword. So you get a good amount of powder early. Landing streets is worth it. The problem is if you use all those summons and don't get them. The, okay, so what I'm trying to do is prevent people from not getting the stuff. Plus, we're about to next week, we're about to have limited Lydica reveal. We're about to have a Full Metal Alchemist collab rerun happening probably this month. Like we have a lot of stuff coming this month and if new players spend all their summons on this, they are not gonna be able to summon on that. So, and the thing is this custom group banner will be back in six months. And Full Metal Alchemist will not be back for a year. So if you summon on this, you could just have waited six months to summon on this instead. So if you, it doesn't matter if you did do it, it's okay. Is ML Ludwig good? I think he's gonna be okay. So ML Ludwig, I think he's gonna be used like into Lua's and knock walls and things like that. Uh, because you can soul burn to uh, reset out of yourself. So I think Emma Ludwig is going to be like a kind of pseudo counter to Lua and Nakwal and characters like that. He's not going to be as used in Cleave as people are thinking. Like he will be usable in Cleave, but I actually think he's a good counter unit to some of those early opener characters. So it, now if the opponent first picks Lua, you can go Zeo Emma Ludwig. And now you have the ability to, you can soul burn your Zeo turn one to boost your Emma Ludwig. And then once Lua goes, if Lua uh, resets you, you're still CR push, and then you can Soul Burn again on Ludwig and then get an extra turn if need be. Like, ML Ludwig has a ton of flexibility. I don't know how good he'll be yet, but I think I could use him pretty well. But for early game players, I don't think you'll be able to use him at all because he's going to take characters with uh, Book. But the thing is, even if, if Lua Soul Burns into Ludwig, by the way, your Ludwig CR pushes. So it's not just your character's soul burning, it's your opponent's character's soul burning too. So that's a big deal. Like he can be used defensively to an extent. Like he can basically anti-cleave. So if your opponent picks Ran and Ran soul burns, like he technically would get the CR push when he soul burns. So I don't know if the CR push would happen before Stigma or not, but depending on how fast you build him out Ludwig, he could just end up being a counter cleave character but your opponent can't have Zeo. But Zeo first pick stocks are gonna go up heavily when he first releases because you're going to have to have Zeo to use him. 
By the way, what do you think of the speed threshold for PvE content? I guess it's something around 200. Walk comfortably? Yeah, if you have 200 speed in PvE, it'll pretty much clear everything. You need a little bit more speed for level 3 expeditions on, like, your support characters. But not even. Most of it, you don't even need higher speed. I think 200 is just a safe number for, like, everything. Wait, it's if anyone soul burns? Yes, that's what a lot of people... I swear, when new characters come out, no one actually reads them before giving their opinions on them. Like, it's when anyone soul burns. So he can be used defensively against your opponent when they're ripping souls. And he can soul burn himself out of getting skill reset. So if your opponent picks Lua or Nakwal and they soul burn Lua or Nakwal, now you have a Ludwig that got pushed up. He soul burned S1s into a banger S3 hit. So that's crazy. That, that could just end up one-shotting half your opponent's team. Like, he can be used, like, defensively. But Deidia takes reading skills. I have the worst reading skills in all of Epic 7. What do you mean? She wants that counter set for sure, yeah. The free the free counter set is going to go on your shoe that you get from Selective Summon 2. If Full Mount Alchemist rerun, will Portrait come back too? Portrait is part of Guilty Gear. He can choose between hit chance and attack for S3 even, so nice. Well, he can if you don't get reset. So, he has... ML Ludwig has so much flexibility. I think he's... Everyone's thinking he's going to be bad, and everyone who skips him, I have a feeling... A lot of players, a lot of the top players are going to struggle to use him for the first two days, and then he will find his his spot. I I refuse to believe he's going to be bad, but there's a chance he could be bad. I just know I could play him very good. <laughs> Do they know it's me? They surely they don't know it's me, right? Surely they don't know it's me. Global 2? Yeah. <laughs> surely they don't know it's me. <laughs> That's funny. Uh, thank you, Kaida. <laughs> Surely they're not watching the stream. <laughs> the amount of times I get talked about in like official chats and stuff, though, especially Channel One, is so funny. Even when I'm not streaming, I troll so hard. But the problem is, people end up recognizing the accounts really quick. That's why I try not to name the accounts because I want to. I want to troll people. What a stalker! If I see my name pop up in chat, I'm gonna look at it. All right. They just said to Twitch Prime. <laughs> Plugging? Yeah, you guys are the homies. <laughs> uh, see, this is what I mean about the community in Epic 7, though. This shit's fun. The more you get involved in the community, it's so fun. Average channel one experience, yep. <laughs> Yo, what's up, Sakana? How you doing? I remember Lilius being hard. For some reason. Not hard, but annoying. Hopefully, we just beat it. For some reason, I remember... Oh god, we're gonna get countered here. Stenny, that was not the play, dog. I guess it didn't matter. Thanks to use the first stage I failed on auto. Yeah, for some reason I remember. Oh yeah, her S3 goes crazy. 
All right. Wait, did he just call me a ninja lookalike? I'm about to go roast this kid. Who's this kid? Call me ninja lookalike? Ninja wishes. All right, my Stenny does no damage. Easy. Oh, it's because it's a lab stage. The lab stages in Epic 7, they make them so much harder. Hey, check who said that. All right, hold on. Let me start the next stage. I think they're cooking. Uh-oh. What are they cooking? The friend's secret carried you. Shut up. All right. Let's see a big dog here. See a big dog. All right, what are they saying? Hold on. Let me get in here. Skip the story. DD isn't even a god. Why is he called that? Another lie. DD equals Tyler Blevins looking ass. Dude, you guys are mean. Twitch sucks balls with all the ads. Agreed. That's why you Twitch Prime, though. If you Twitch Prime or buy Twitch Turbo, you don't have ads. Yeah, who's Ninja? This guy. This guy knows. Ninja's got nothing. I remember when Vivian fight first came out last stage, caused me fits for like an hour. There's always, like, the, there's just certain stages that don't make sense as to why they're hard. Server suggestions. Guys, we have like 900 chats on our Discord. Making additional chats, like our Discord has so many different channels. I mean, for 9,000 people, I guess it makes sense to have a big variety, but I don't, I'm trying to avoid making any more new channels because there's so much in there. Landy, Bomb Model Kana. Yeah, I, I, I know a couple of people struggling against a Bomb Model Kana. Free to play in Twitch, yo, Moo, chill. Ninja's already a dollar store looking ass. My god. Like it was a little difficult. I don't. I mean, I'll remember all the stages soon. Damn, my destiny is getting cooked. All right, Violet, surely you carry. Yeah, this Violet's so strong. Your Discord is a city, so the hometown I grew up in had a population of 2,000 and the surrounding cities or towns next to the, the town I grew up in had like a population of like 3,000 to 5,000. So my Discord server is almost the population of like a 40 square mile area around my original house when I was growing up. <laughs> That's crazy to think about. That's so many people. All right, this healing Raz every time is a little annoying. We're farming all of our gold away. All right, hold on. I, I bought donuts for breakfast today so I could just stream and have food. So I'm gonna eat an orange first before donuts. I'll save donuts for 7 a.m. I bought these, these oranges were on sale at the store yesterday. It was four bucks for like, they're like the little oranges. I think a lot of people call them clementines. Some people call them mandarins, maybe. Mandarin oranges. They, the, the pack I got of them are so good though. Like, I mean, can I have some? I mean, diabetes. What do you eat for breakfast? If I, dude, the fact that I don't have diabetes is actually crazy. Or I might have it. I just am too poor to go to the doctor to find out. But, like, my diet, I'm 29 years old. There's no way my body can keep this diet up. Like, I got to start, like, I got to sign up for uh, one of the food services, like uh, Factor or whatever that make your pre-made meals. I got to start doing that. It's not that much more expensive, I don't think, overall, than 
especially what I've been spending on food because I never cook. Once I move out of where I'm at, I'll cook every day, but cooking here is just a little hard because I don't want to annoy my roommates. And if they ever cook, then if they have stuff in the sink, it makes it a little bit harder for me to wash my dishes too, so. I've been just eating out all the time. I really need to get out of that habit, but not a big deal. What artifact do I put on DDR? Wonders Potion Vial is usually like best in slot, but you can do, um, yo, <laughs> Sylvestra, welcome out. You just cook in game, true. That's where all my chefing goes. Factor's pretty nice. All those food services, like I used to get sponsors for them all the time. I haven't gotten any in a while. I guess because I've had a sponsor for each of them. They only really give you a sponsor one time, which sucks. I wish they would give me the sponsor now, but yeah, whenever I was getting those, I ate so much better during that time. And dude, the um, if you ever see a factor sponsor or like Green Chef or um, what's the like main one that everyone does, HelloFresh. Hello, the HelloFresh sponsor, I gotta say that was the most fun thing getting that food sent to you. So like the, if you ever see anyone with HelloFresh and you never tried it, it's pretty good value, but the food they send you and like have you cook it, it's really fun to cook. Cause it's like stuff you would never normally cook if you like, cause you can choose what they send you. So you just pick something that looks like it'd be fun to try. And just the cooking process of it is so enjoyable. Only problem, that's the only problem with those. Factor meals, you have to eat them ASAP, yeah. You, you, bit, you have to eat them as they come in, you can't let them sit. You could put them in the freezer, technically. And, but they won't be as good tasting once you eat them. But there's, they'd still be pretty good. But yeah, you have to eat that stuff immediately. Does Eternus work on Moon Bunny? I it can. I spent nine dollars, about five fifty a day on food. It is really that expensive to cook. It's not that expensive. Spent nine dollars, about five fifty USD on food. I'm not saying it's expensive to cook. The problem with cooking is my uh, the people I live with right now. They give me like a really nice opportunity to live with them and just save up money. And this way, I'm not living alone because I hate living alone. So I'm just trying to be as a, the least amount of annoying to them as possible. I try to like basically make it to where they don't uh, know I'm here the most I can. Oh my God, this orange is not good. Ooh, what is that? That was nasty. The first one was really good. Did I get scammed? They put the good orange at the top. Yeah, this one is nowhere near as good. It has like a weird taste to it. It's like they poured Mountain Dew in my orange. You can actually get meals sent to you through your insurance. I get them from, oh really? Are you from the United States? Dude, having your insurance pay for meals? Take the advice from me, I found out I had diabetes last year and I'm 28, I've gotten under control, but trust me, you don't want it. Oh, I know, one of my friends recently just found out they had it and their entire life changed. They end up losing a ton of weight. But the thing is like, whenever you're heavier, you have a higher chance of getting diabetes. I'm super skinny, but you still have a good chance of getting it no matter what your body weight. But like, I'm a little bit less chance of having it, but diabetes runs in my family. So I don't know. I do, I mean, I eat reasonably healthy. Like for every couple bad meals I do, I go on like a little health kick for like a couple days. So I think I balance it out decent. My biggest weakness is soda though. What's your plan for ML Recruit on this account? Well, hold on, RPG Gamer. Uh, hi, so what should I have in my Wyvern team? I have Crozes, uh, Aspec, Free Spirit Tiri, and Mui. I also have to see it, Tam. Well, your Wyvern team is going to be completely different. Have you seen my Wyvern video? It's like day five of the guide. Day five of the guide will show you the team. If you have Mui, you already have everything you need. So you'll get Cigarette from the Hunt Challenge for free, and then you'll be um, building there. So if you go to my go to my new player guide series, the 2023 one, and then go to uh, episode five of it. It'll give you the exact team you need. 
Do you play any servers? It's up to you. All my guide accounts are on global. Um, but I have one decent global account that's like 15 ML5s that it's like close to Emperor level and then my main account, which is strong like my strongest account. But I don't play I don't play any account but my main very much anymore because I've been doing these guide series stuff. But uh Anami thinks we follow. Have you seen G Clef at AGF E7 booth stand ED? No. What what about that? You want me to watch that? But yep, I was 260 when I found out I'm 180 pounds now. It's not kilos. Well, I I weigh like 140. I'm six foot four and I weigh 140 pounds, so I'm very skinny. I have been my entire life. My entire family is really skinny. It is very hard for us. Like even my like my cousins and stuff that are like really strong, they're really skinny too just there's never any bulk on us our body just will not get body fat they just get super veiny you're trying to get cigarette now so yeah cigarette it's gonna be cigarette um furious mui plus uh proza that's 62 kilograms what the fuck are you okay mr skeleton i mean i'm I'm alive. Technically, if you take like the body mass index thing, I'm like, I'm only like eight pounds underweight or something, which sucks. I, you don't want to be underweight at all, but only eight pounds underweight is a big deal when you're six foot four. Trooper Vaney, much was a sturdy joke. <laughs> no healer? No, you don't use a healer for a weapon. You can, but you don't need to. If you use a healer, it's your front tank. The difference between 24 and 2023 guide. Uh, I'm doing a couple things like slightly different like we're uh, using grace of growth on our front tank instead of cigarette We're gonna change our zeo strat a little bit, but if you're following this 2023 guy, just keep following it How tall are you? I'm six foot four I am tall But the thing is I'm short compared to where I'm at like in high school all my friends were taller than me and I'm six foot four most of my friends are like six seven there are two friends that are six seven. One's like six eight or six nine. I had a couple friends that were the same height as me or within like an inch, but everyone from where I live, whenever you live out in like the sticks, like our diets, I guess, or something, the water, there's something that makes everybody super tall. Like I go to the grocery store and I'm there's always someone way taller than me. Are your friends with lumberjacks? Yeah, I mean, I, I split wood. When I was a kid, that's part of how I made some of my money as a kid. I would, I mean, I split firewood with an axe. I would use a log splitter a lot of the time, but. I grew up like a country kid, like farm kid. By Crozet, not Rose. Crozet's better than Rose. Crozet gives your highest win rate potential because the first wave cannot one-shot you. So the first wave, if all three Wyvern characters attack either your Furious or your Mui, they can kill it. With Crow's Ed, it's impossible. So Crow's Ed raises your overall win rate dramatically. Not dramatically, but... He makes it to where you literally cannot lose wave one, whereas no other character does that. Because Crow's Ed has this passive that activates if your character falls below 50% HP. Country kid to gotcha gamer? I know. What happened? But no, I grew up on farms raising cows and chickens. Dude, I used to have a chicken named Cornflower. I love that thing. That was my first pet, was a pet chicken. I used to run around and catch like grasshoppers and other uh, like bugs. I'd put them all in like a container and then go give it to her and she would just go crazy. That chicken was so cool. I definitely have the weirdest background of any E7 streamer at least. Can you please give me a stat of US shoe in your opinion? US shoe. Urban Shadow Shoe. You want to go as fast as you can, so it's usually like 230 speed. Mine's 240, some people go like 270. And then you can do like less crit damage, more crit chance. Cornflower, of course. Dude, she was, she's a little white banty chicken. She's so cool. I have a picture of her, but it's in my fire safety chest and I lost the key. So if I ever find the key, I'll show her off on stream. That was my first ever pet. 
WTF murder? Yeah, I murdered insects. But like she would she would sit on my back. I could like run around with her on or like uh on top of me. So cool. Like if I I want to get my own place. I want to get my own like guys. I love fishing. I love. I don't. I wouldn't hunt anymore. I don't think. I don't like. I don't like the idea of killing. I mean, I guess I kill fish if I go fishing. But like deer. I used to deer hunt as a kid. But now that I'm older, I don't think I could do it. I'd feel too bad. Which I still eat meat every day. But when I don't have to do the killing of the animal myself, I guess it's different in my mind. But I don't know. I just I don't think that's for me anymore. But I want to. I want like a little bit of property. I want to. I want. I want pet chickens. I want to have fresh eggs every morning for my chickens. My first pet was a pig. I don't judge at all, dude. A pig first pet sounds awesome. I thought you. I also thought you were a skater boy. I was. I was a farm kid turned skater boy turned golfer. <laughs> now I just play golf. Some neighbor's chicken laid some eggs in my front yard. Free breakfast. Let's go. Wait, guess what his name was? Winnie the Pooh. I don't know. What do you name a pig? Two kids later, I struggle keeping on weight like I did in high school. I'm 100. You're 114 pounds. It's rough, and I can put food away. So, Lindsay, it's hard. Well, actually, wait. You had kids, meaning you you're the one that delivered the kids, not you're the one that inserted the kids, right? So, it's like being being a girl and having kids, usually weight is really hard to keep off. That, I mean, you kind of are, uh, his name was Pork Chop. That's pretty good, too. Usually, weight is hard to keep off after having a kid, so. I guess you have kind of a blessing there. But I don't know. I mean, if you feel... No one... Guys, that's one thing in life that most people don't understand. Is most people, I would say 90% of people are not happy with their weight. They feel like they're either overweight or underweight. Whether it's by 10 pounds, whether it's by 100 pounds. Almost nobody's happy with their weight in life. Even bodybuilders, people who are like, no one's ever happy with their weight. And that's just, that's just something that once you realize that whether you're fat and see a skinny person, you're like, oh, I wish I was skinny. That person wishes they were fat. So <laughs> that's like, no matter, no matter how you perceive other people, I guarantee you they're not happy with their situation either. Like every time someone's like, how, how are you so skinny when you eat this much? Which I don't eat a whole lot anymore, but I used to. And it's like, dude, I wish I knew. How are you so fat when you eat so little? It doesn't make sense to me either. I wish I was you. If I ate like you and could be 180 pounds, I'd be happy as could be. Though bodybuilders are those who work the most for their weight, true. They put the work in. Most of the people just don't like their weight and then we don't do anything about it. <laughs> So, it is what it is. Alright, hi. What would the next thing be to progress toward having a stable Wyvern 13 team? That's what we're working on today, actually. If you're chilling on the stream. Metabolism diff, yeah. My metabolism. Guys, I grew up eating every breakfast was Little Debbie's, different Little Debbie's. Like, I ate like 800 calories of literal junk food and milk every day of my life for 10 years. And I continued to be 10 pounds underweight. It's just, it, it, I just didn't know how to do it. I didn't know how to gain weight. I would eat I would eat unhealthy food and then I went on a super healthy food kick and nothing changed. I didn't even feel better. Like everyone's like, oh, if you eat healthy, you'll feel better. It's like, I felt the same as whenever I was consuming 2000 calories a day of junk food that I do. Eating like vegetables and like, I love vegetables. So I think that's the one thing that keeps me somewhat healthy is I'll just eat green beans, I'll eat broccoli. And eat all of it raw, like sweet peas. I'll, go, I'll just go buy a thing of sweet peas and just eat them at my desk. Like carrots, I don't even need to put anything on it. Lettuce, I do need to put stuff on, but I love all like green stuff and fruit, so I'll eat any fruit. I love pomegranate. But hey, yo, what's up, Tofa? Oh, wait, I'm late. You are late. We were waiting for you. Now we can actually start the stream. I can't get normal weight. I, I, I'm always underweight, whatever I eat, yep. I feel you there, Reese. I'm in the same boat. I think Jenna's kind of in the same boat too. Jenna, I think, wants to gain weight too. None of us are ever happy with our weight. And once you realize that, it's a lot easier to go through life. Is this a hard Lily stage? Maybe this is a hard stage. 
it's bulk season, bro. I know. I actually, once I get the new player guide a little bit further, once I get a few extra things done, I think I'm going to start a golf YouTube channel just as a little side project for fun. I don't expect anything out of it, but I'm going to like pro pro uh, showcase my like overall weight gain because I'm going to try to bulk up a little bit and I want to improve my golf game. So I'm going to create a golf YouTube channel just just for fun. We have a simulator here in the house, so I'll start. Um, I will start doing um, like I don't know if I'll do streams on it or not, but I'll, I'll like make videos over it. Gonna make an accounting channel too? Probably not. But the golf channel, I'm not even gonna have it be part of my gaming thing at all. Like I'll I'll show you guys occasionally if any of you are into golf, you can complete with tax planning and stuff. I mean, I could I could give you guys some pretty. I mean, most most tax advice is super simple unless you're working like a 1099 job. Most tax advice, I don't I don't know how much I would actually help you. To be fair, uh, do I heal? Let's keep her alive because you're gonna get a golf new player guide too basically i'm not a new per player at golf but i want to get better at golf golf if you are if you are um like a younger person golf is one of the best things you can get into because you could play it pretty much your whole life you can it, it's a way to create like relationships most top business execs play golf so it's a way to kind of um I don't know. What, what am I looking for? Network. Like golf is a way to keep up with friends. If you if you can get your friends into it too, you guys can play it the, you know, the rest of your life. It's expensive to get into, but even if you're bad at it, it's so fun. Did you watch Full Swing on Netflix? I have not watched that yet, but I do plan on watching it. Update 10 years later, goes to prison for 10 years of tax fraud? No. I, trust me, I am very scared of taxes. My plan was to become a tax person. That was like my my plan out of uh, high school, going into college, and I was going to buy somebody's tax office from them, uh, family friends. But then TurboTax decided to exist. I have Brig and Croza. Who do I need you use for Wyvern? Use Brig. Brig is amazing. But yeah, that was something I, I I thought could be really cool is do like a bulking winter serious irs open up no i'm I, like last year i did my taxes myself and i think i did it wrong and i paid the irs too much money so this year i'm definitely paying somebody else to do it for me i'm because i know i didn't claim a bunch of stuff that i forgot about because i did like some donations and stuff that i didn't claim but i ended up paying a lot more than i planned on taxes last year so i'm pretty sure i messed up somewhere which whenever you pay the irs more money than you're supposed to they don't care so that's always the strategy. Just give them more than you actually owe them and then you're safe. But this year I'm definitely having somebody do them for me. So then that way the blame goes on them if it's wrong. <laughs> oh, it's fine the other guy not pay your taxes. Uh oh, my hero inventory is full. There's a small chance they carry over overpayment to an extra tax liability. Uh, well, I mean, the money in my, in my mind, that money's already gone, so. Like I don't plan to ever see that money again. So even if even if they kept all of it, it is what it is. Alright, let's do a little bit of inventory management. We need to lock Inos. Yeah, but just do it right the first time, no offense. Well last year you probably have to call them, but good luck to get a lot of calls during the day, yeah. No, I I am not worried about it. Uh, you got a Taiwan on new player account already? Yeah, I got him yesterday. I'm not gonna use him though. Hi, Deity. Yo, what's up, Lynn? Uh, I should use Freer's or Mui for Cigarette plus SSV plus V for best auto. Why am I 13? Use Brig, Cigarette, Mui, Furious, I think. Brig, Cigarette, Mui, Furious. SSB is not that great in Wyvern anymore. SSB is just not that great in general anymore. SSB is great for one shotting Wyvern, but anything up to one shotting Wyvern, I don't think SSB is very good. Mui just made it way, way better to use him over SSB. SSB is just really not that great in anything anymore. $1,500 gaming laptops can always fall into business expenses. Oh, I mean, my Epic 7 purchases. When I spend money in game, like when I spend money on Star Rail earlier this year, I'm claiming it because I stream Star Rail. It was part of my content. What's Tamron's skill upgrade priority? Um, her S3 cooldown and then her S2 you can do a little bit. But no, I claim everything. Anything that you spend money on that you're making money from doing, 
you can claim that so like admitting to tax fraud on stream it's i mean no i i spent money on i spent money on something and then made money doing it so it is a, it's a, it's an expense it's not tax fraud every streamer claims their um like in-app purchases that's usually most like gotcha game streamers that's their base business expense every year is their in-game purchases it's not fraud if he overpaid yeah I, I I'm pretty sure I'm okay. I'm pretty sure I I filled everything out correctly. Okay. What I'm worried about is I didn't claim all the stuff that I could have. So I didn't commit tax fraud. You can choose not to claim um, certain things. Like you don't have to claim that you donated stuff. That's an option. But I donated stuff from when I moved, so I just forgot about it. So that's not tax fraud. Is it worth to spend some Skystones for expanding? Yeah, you can spend some Skystones. Get your inventory to at least 100 early on. Uh, 100 is a pretty safe spot. And then once you start feeling like you're getting full again, put it up to like 150. But yeah, expanding hero inventory, I wouldn't max it out. You really don't need it maxed out until you're like really late game. But early game, you can do it a little bit. Y'all get returns in US? You get returns, but I don't pay taxes throughout the year. I pay taxes at one time. So like tax seasons, Tax season starts next month, so I have to make as much money as possible this month because I want to make sure my taxes are paid as fast as I can, and then I just have a clean year. Because last year I didn't pay all my taxes at once; I had to go on like a payment plan for a little bit. Because, like I said, it was more than what I planned, so and I was not taking money out of my uh, like the thing. The thing is not paying your taxes right away. In the United States, the interest rate they charge you is only 5%. So whenever you have money invested and you're getting more than 5%, it's better to leave your money invested and then <laughs> it's better to leave your money invested and not pay them until later. Like the, the IRS actually charges you less interest rate than you would make on most investments. Me when I evade taxes, it's not tax evasion. The, the IRS doesn't care as long as they get paid. If you don't pay them on time, they're just gonna charge you late fees. It's whenever you plan to not pay them, when you're trying to trick the system to not pay them. But if, as long as you plan on paying them, they don't care. Couldn't ship the IRS, dude, they don't care. I'm going to pay my taxes. I'm gonna pay them every penny I owe them. I might pay them a little late, but they're getting interest on it. They should be happy. I'm giving them more money, technically. Lakari got fucked at one point apparently because you forgot to pay. Yeah, I mean, being a streamer, it's, it's, it's. If you don't do it in January or February, you're going to forget. Last year I did it literally two days before the cutoff, and then I realized I had to pay more. So, <laughs> I did my taxes two days before the last day you're supposed to do taxes. But no, I, I, I try my best. The thing, the IRS is not as mean as everyone thinks they are. Everyone thinks they're mean because they're trying to take money from people that don't have the money to pay them. So they they always get painted as a villain, which they are the villain. But because taxes are uh, taxes are a scam. But the, if you call the IRS and are actually trying to pay, they are very yeah taxation is theft agreed. But like they they will walk you through and help you the best that they can. Like they're not just if you if you make a mistake, they're not just like go to jail. They're like, okay, let's fix this error and figure out what the solution is to it. It's not just like immediately, you're going to jail. It's whenever you intentionally try to get out of, you weasel your way out of it. All right, it's not as scary as everyone thinks it is. Like I'm, I'm gonna be calling the IRS at the end of this month to make sure my balance is nothing. Like, they're not as scary as you think they are. They're scary if you're doing something illegal. Like almost all streamers have their story of they forgot to pay taxes. And look, none of them are in jail, right? Look, like Ludwig, Lakari, like all the big streamers, they almost all tell you, oh, I didn't do my taxes last two years. And then are they in jail? No, they get it fixed eventually and pay a bunch of fees, but they don't go to jail. It's the people that are doing some sketchy stuff that are owning businesses and, and usually you don't even go to jail anyway, you just get fined. They still have to uh, distinguish internal fraud or honest mistakes, yeah. 
When you have a clean history of no law breaking, that also helps. Tax evasion is when you haven't paid in years. Tax evasion isn't when you haven't paid in years. Tax evasion is when you give a false return, grossly underestimating the income you made that year. So if you don't, tax evasion isn't not paying for a few years. It's, it's, it's submitting false information to show that you made less money than you actually did. That's when it's a problem. I could go three years without paying taxes or do, filing my taxes. Oh, no, I meant uh, you only go to jail, yeah. Yeah, it's, I could go three years and they'll probably be calling me like, yo, dude, where's where's our money? But like, it's not, <laughs> it's not as scary as people make it sound. I'm saying all this and watch, I'll be in jail in three months. But from my understanding, it's not as scary as... Dude, if you could if you could go to jail but stream from jail, like you don't have to pay rent anymore, right? Is that actually genius? You know I would not survive two days in jail. I would go there and I would I would be murdered. Immediately. Especially United States jail, I'd be cooked. There's no shot. I'd be gone. If you ever hear about me going to jail, just know that's the last time you'll ever see me. Like Luckily, my parents would do everything possible to keep me out. But, like, whenever I went there, bail would be paid immediately. And I would be as far away from the, the thing as possible until the court date. But, be careful, IRS doesn't let people know this. They will silence you. No. They don't like being painted as a villain either. I pull every diamond on banner custom. It doesn't matter. Um, how many sums have you done? My dad is with the IRS. It's time. Wait, now that you take the day off work or it's time to go to work? Wait, it's 7.30. You would have already left for work. Wait, so you're off today, Nava? Nava, I have like 8 billion things I have to do today. If I play Apex, it's going to be for like 2 hours at most. Or I'm going to be having to work on the side. Actually, I can maybe play a little bit while I'm farming. But it's going to be very little. Decide to be a bum and stay home and game. That's how to do it. Staying home staying home and gaming takes more courage than going to work. I abuse you feeding RTA for free wins. <laughs> Wait, did you guys see the court case? with? It was like Young Thug or somebody. And he had a, a, whoever made the song Push and Pee. You guys know the song Push and P or ever heard of it or heard the saying Push and P? So he was in a court case and his lawyer tried to say that pushing P was pushing positivity. <laughs> they were trying to say that he was making a song to push positivity around the world. <laughs> that was the, dude, we live in the most ridiculous times ever. It, <laughs> young, tr young truly humble under God. Oh my god, when I saw that, I immediately started laughing. The Pushing P song was about pushing positivity. And his name meant truly humble under God. Yeah, that whole court case is just a perfect example of the times we live in. They brought up a bleach filler arc, did they really? <laughs> I didn't see everything about the court case, but oh my god, is it funny. Did you hear the One Piece girl? No, it was a it was a bleach thing, but I, I didn't hear that part. But Lindsay, watching these helps you get back in the game. Let's go. Think I'm, I'm glad that's that's the whole point of this. It's the same trial plaintiff lawyer was making comparison to the worst bleach arc. What was a court case about? Who knows. I have no idea. They did something illegal, I'm sure, obviously, and then they're trying to defend him, and it is just a disaster. Oh, it was about the Rico case? Yeah. So funny. <laughs> Racketeering, okay. Yeah, I, I didn't... Okay, so I have a base understanding of everything going on, but... <laughs> it's just so funny. How should I build Elena? Uh, like 200 effect resist, 190 speed to 220 speed, preferably 220. Um, but depending on the speed, you go different artifact. 
so you're probably going to be on um mega mega is that the cr push four star artifact i don't know i have not built an l elena in a long time but you just build bulky with a decent amount of effect res like 1500 hp minimum smile gate needs to cut the early game down this uh is just selling e7 short i know i agree but hey, I'm making a guide series to give you every step you need to do to get through the early game. All they have to do is give more free gear. That's literally all they have to do. Give a couple more free gear sets and it'll speed up all the early game progress immediately. I have 1.8k Mystic Medals and 30 pools. Let's go. I have like 50 pools for Ludwig right now. You need more charms? Yeah, the early game charms they need to adjust to. What's up, DD? Any conspiracies today? No, we're. I mean, we've been talking about some some stuff, but no conspiracies. So we talked about this that conspiracy nonsense on, uh, I think it was day two of the guide series, and I was like, no one's gonna watch this far into the stream. These streams are getting a lot of views past when I upload them. Like, I think these streams are actually all gonna hit a ton of views over time, and somebody watched that far and they're like they were like i i heard the conversation i don't remember what they say but they were laughing about it i didn't expect anyone on youtube to watch two hours into the stream but they did it's just like that right there showed me though that doing these live streams for the new player content is super worth it just i think just people having something always that's like at the same point of the game they are to just play along with is is really valuable because it's easy to have in the background people playing, yeah. Just having having a long, long form video and just chilling. I wish they could see Twitch chat, but I think most people just listen to it and just look up occasionally as to what's going on. They don't like truly watch, watch it. They just have it as like background noise and then they pick up on certain things that get, get said, which is cool. I mean, I'm <clears throat> I'm really glad that I, I'm streaming all of it this time. I just watched the stream while working, uh, working from home is lonely. Just me, I mean, I work from home and I know. Um, like eventually I'm gonna have to move out of here probably relatively soon but when I move out of here and be living alone it's gonna suck I I'm not looking forward to it at all like there's just something about knowing like I don't even see my roommates most days I see them like a couple times a week just because I'm always working but or they're working but just knowing that someone else is around is it's just so nice I know some of you guys are are good at living by yourselves, but for me, I lived by myself for like half a year and just that one half a year, I was like, this is, I don't like this. Like, yes, I have the freedom, the place is my own, I can do whatever I want, but there's just something about maybe if those of you that live by yourself, but actually go to a job and don't work from home, that helps a lot. Bring a fan home. Oh, like a, <laughs> I was thinking like a, a ceiling fan or like a cooling fan. I was like, why? But you mean like bring one of you guys home? No, the only person I would consider doing some kind of thing with is Jinazad. Like if he wanted, like depending on how his living situation is in a year, if he's going to continue to live there, because I'm sure he signed a one-year lease, he's the only person I'd consider, but I don't think he's going to want to move out of California. And I don't want to move out of California. Get a dog. I have a cat. What about Shogs and Shuffles? Shog Shogun has his own house. Shogun's done really well, like with everything he's done. So I would go live in Shogun's basement. That sounds weird. Plus Shogun lives in the middle of nowhere and has very sketchy internet and I cannot do very sketchy internet. Having a spouse at home while both are working is a hard counter to that. Wait, is that annoying or good? Basements are cool. I'm in the I'm in a basement right now. My room in this basement though is huge. It is like the my room is like half the size of my old apartment, like the full size of it. And my old apartment was a two bedroom. Isn't Shogun done with E7? He played it like a couple weeks ago on stream. Good. Well, depends your spouse, I guess. Yeah. I was gonna say I can see that being kind of bad. Like my last girlfriend, if if she worked from home, and we ended up getting married and living together. I think that would have been the most annoying experience of my entire existence. Like she had, she had some cool feats, but my goodness, if I had to deal with her 24 seven, look, I need to answer. I need you to answer a question. Baited gamers. This is a no question stream. What's your work? This is my work. This is what I do for a living. I play video games. This is what I've been doing for four years. I used to work in an accounting job, but then playing video games 
started eventually paying more than going to work, so this is what I ended up doing. I crave human interaction. Everyone's supposed to. That like those of you guys that see me like begging for sponsor downloads and and Twitch Prime subs. If I don't do that, I don't get to eat. Okay. So those of you guys get a, get annoyed by content creators doing that stuff, like we gotta eat something. Like I have a cat as a backup resort. I, I, I have some cat food I can eat. See, you guys thought I was going to say I was going to eat the cat. Yeah, see? You guys thought you guys thought I was going to say I was going to eat the cat, but no, I'm going to eat his cat food, meaning that he's going to starve. So if you care about my cat at all, then definitely should think about using your Twitch Prime sub here. Get a rich baby mama? I'm good. I don't think I'm in a position where I want a kid. That's a lot of protein. How much protein's in cat food? Oh, you're talking about the cat would be a lot of protein. No. Dude, that cat is the highlight of my life. There's nothing, there's nothing in my life better than that cat. My parents are a close second, but that cat deserves everything. Last year when I was completely broke, like I was buying him cat food while I literally couldn't afford to buy food for myself without taking money out of my retirement accounts. So I just didn't eat last year. <laughs> if if I use it, would you answer my deepest question for you, Fady Gamers? Yeah, where's the Twitch Prime sub at? Show it. Where is it at? You're about to get scammed so hard and we're all going to laugh at you. But still do it. Bro, can you confirm my account? No. I can give you a guide series to where you can look and compare your account to it, but I do not have the time to go into individual people's accounts anymore. Eventually I'll get back to doing like in-game account work for people or like doing doing work for people who are like getting into the game and need help with gearing and crafting and stuff, but for right now I don't have the time. I love my cat so much. Me too. Like, if there's ever an apocalypse or anything, like, my cat is number one priority. Like, I am doing everything I can to make sure he's safe. That's that's what I care about most. Like, over keeping myself safe, it is keeping my cat safe. Like, some of the most heartbreaking things that's coming out of, like, the Israel-Palestine stuff going on is the people that are losing their houses and, like, carrying their cats and pets with them, trying to make sure that they... Their, their animals are still good because they care about their animals so much and that just it, like seeing that just humanizes them so much for me because that's exactly how I would be I, I don't know if that's the right way to put it or word it but it just makes me like feel for those people which we're not going to talk about like politics or anything within that please do not bring any of that up but and seeing those videos with those people with their pets any any war going on in the world seeing people put their pets first I relate to that so much and I feel so bad for those people. It's all they want to do is make sure their most valuable friend in life is safe and taken care of. Emergency food? No. I've never loved a pet that much. You just haven't had the right pet, I guess. My cat has an insane personality. Like, I... I never knew an animal could be like this. Like he is so fun. He like he he's like a drama actor. If I go and start like squishing his belt, like his stomach, and playing with him, he starts screaming and going crazy, acting like he's dying. And then I'll like get away from him. He'll jump up, back up, and come up and boot me, and then run away again. He loves it. And he, he like hides and waits for me to come chase him. He'll chase me. Like I could run like a quarter mile. He would chase me the whole way just to boot me once and then run away. <laughs> I want to have a pet, but I can't because it's too, uh, have too much machine here. Yeah. It's always, don't get a pet if you can't give them like a safe, good environment. But once you can give them a safe, good environment, super worth it. Stage. This stage is chapter two, chapter two stage, or chapter two story seven, or well story. Ch I don't know how to phrase it. I'm sorry, I'm failing at phrasing here. 
We already cleared all unrecorded history, right? Pretty sure we did. Waiting for the day we can exchange Paimon for the Knight of Bunny from the story. That will never happen. Paimon is... Oh, wait. It was a Labyrinth stage. That's why that was harder. So Labyrinth stages, we kind of have to manual. It would probably beat it on auto, but I'm just trying to speed it up a little bit. So what stage is this? How many cats is too many? I don't think there's ever an amount that's too many. But the more cats you have, the less nice your house is going to be, probably. Uh, we're on chapter 6. Story 2, 6-8. That's where we are. Story 2, 6-8. Yo, are you going to heal? I, I personally don't want... I wouldn't want more than two cats. If I had a big house, I could do three. But... The problem is any extra, I don't want to get another cat because I don't want to give any more, any, I don't want to split up my attention. My cat loves attention and I don't want to like take attention away from him. Like I want him to have like the most fulfilled, fun life possible. Do you know who to use in season two summon? We usually do shoe, uh, blue shoe for that. So the little, little rat girl is who we do for selective summon season two. I actually don't know where my cat is. I'm gonna I'm gonna investigate. Give me one second while the stage is clearing. I gotta hit auto. I'll be right back. So my cat too. My cat weighs like 25 pounds. He's a big old kitty. He's not even fat. He's just a big cat. I went and looked for him because he wasn't on my bed. Usually he lays on my bed. And he is in my closet. I have boxes for like when I moved in. And he finds ways, like I have a really skinny box that would like a TV would fit in. He And it's set sideways. He will climb up into that box and it's sideways. It's, I don't know how he gets in there. How he, and, but he loves it in there. He just sits in there he's like squished inside of it loves it he is always finding a random spot to lay in cats love boxes like that cats just love boxes in general if i give him a box he's entertained for an entire day cat picks i can share some in discord but i have so many videos and pictures of my cat because i know he won't live forever and whenever whenever he does eventually not cease to exist or yeah whenever he eventually isn't around i'm going to need those videos and stuff because he is everything in my life but he's he's like seven right now i think he's about seven so cats can live all the way up to 20 so there's a good chance he'll be around for cats are actually liquid i know like has a tattoo where his cat scratched him yeah that's a that's a really cool tattoo actually if I tattooed all the places my cat would scratch me, I would have like a full sleeve on both arms. I would have like 7% body left to uh, not tattoo. <laughs> but no, uh, he's... It's crazy. I never... The only pet I had before him was a chicken that lived outside that I would see once a day when I went to feed him. And maybe play with him if I let him out on a nice day. But he's the first pet I've ever had. And my goodness, like the mental health boost from having a pet is unbelievable. Like, I can't imagine not having a pet at this point. Because anytime, anytime you're feeling, like, stressed, like, sad, like, for one, my cat knows when I'm having a bad day. If I am, like, stressing out, he, like, senses it, and he he's trying to be on me the entire time. I don't know how they do it, but he always knows. But anytime I'm stressed out, I just go over and pet him, and immediately he's better. My ex took uh, my cat, so my new man got me a cat. Let's go. We both love him. He's allergic to dogs. Now we have seven cats. Oh my god. Having having kids with pets, well, at first it's kind of kind of rough, but I think having pets for kids is huge too, because it it helps them always have something something or feel like something or somebody's around. Your cats have enhanced hearing. Yeah, he hears he hears me talking about him right now, and he's he's like cheesing in there. He's like, "Oh yeah, I'm the best." Your cats have healing powers. Might be true. A girl said she has like 21 cats because she's saving strays with holy. That is wild. Like if you have a farm or something. But the problem is, 
like i guess if you're saving the cat's life it's good but if you're not giving a cat the cats like attention so i guess the more cats you have they're playing with each other so i guess that's not bad but like the idea of having multiple indoor cats that all like attention but don't like each other that's kind of crappy for the cat but i don't know it just depends but like my cat i don't want to get a second cat because i don't want to take any attention away from him because he like if i am usually he's trying to lay on me while i'm streaming if i lay in bed he's laying on top of me like he wants to be around me 24 7. i always have enough points to force ad breaks so next time dude giving y'all advice all the free-to-play viewers getting cooked I actually had to refund a couple ad breaks. So this month on Twitch, I'm doing a different ad thing. Normally, I don't do ads during the stream, but if you click into the stream, you get hit with like multiple ads. You have to pick one way or the other. So I'm testing in December, playing ads middle of the stream, because that's what all the other like E7 streamers do. They all play ads middle of the stream. So I'm just going to do it this way for this month and just I'm compare the two months and see what was better. But I know, I know it's guys, you got to remember on YouTube, Twitch, everything. This is the holiday season. If you are going to be watching any content, you're going to have infinite more ads because this is a time that YouTube, Twitch, any service like this makes their money for the year. So like there are going to be infinite ads on anything that you go to. Even if you're watching like free Crunchyroll, any service that can do ads, they're spamming them right now because it's holiday season. This is when people spend money. This is when advertisers usually have a yearly advertisement budget. We're currently in fourth quarter or are we in fourth quarter? I don't know. It just depends on how they do their calendar year, but they have to spend the rest of their money that they set aside for advertisement for the year within the segment. So always November, December, usually January is when it fades out. But who got money for holiday season? Nobody. That's the thing. Every, like everyone's spending the money to advertise stuff, but everyone's like, I can't afford that. I just spent $600 at Walmart yesterday on food for two weeks. Like I can't imagine having kids right now. How the hell do you, so how do you afford that? How can you afford to have kids? Like I'm, I'm doing okay right now because we've had so many sponsors and I don't even think I could afford to have kids. Like our population try to manage try to make my kid get a job <laughs> dude have them have your kid become a streamer and then steal all the money they make that's the perfect perfect strategy steal all the money they make put it in their college tuition fund and then buy their buy their food with it there you go you're never financially ready for kids but i'm, I'm happy yeah i know they give you like a sense of happiness and a sense of uh like a reason oh my gosh i'm getting cooked all right so this is a stage that we have to back away from and start leveling stuff it's always the first straight stage. Yeah, this is a stage we need to go level. We cannot cheese our way through this one. So loss of PVE, this is you 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 do until you fail, okay? So it's stage six ten is like the first true um, roadblock. But it's easy to get past, so you just have to level up some stuff. Like I all my characters still have like plus zero gear on basically. But I just didn't remember what stage. You can use Kyrus on the stage. Well, you just use a regular story team, you just have to level up your gear. I mean, building Kyrus isn't a bad thing, but I don't even know if I have a Kyrus, to be honest. Okay, so let's go ahead. Can we awaken Raz one more time? We just have to do a few like awakenings and little things like this and we'll be fine. Okay. Remote Raz to five star. Our government is in panic right now because people are not buying as much as they would. Yeah, I mean, I mean, the government put us in this position. They're the ones, they're the reason our inflation rate is so high. They're the ones that did it to themselves. All right, so Moonlight Blessing, what all do we need to do for this? Cleared Wyvern 13 today? Yo, let's go, Moo. What playlist is this? It's a Nikki playlist. Nikki playlist is always good. Reach level 60 with two heroes. That allows me to six star promote her. Awaken three, three star or higher heroes to five star. We're almost done with that too. So awaken three, three star heroes or higher to five star. Okay, so Tyria will get level 60. That'll finish that one. Um, wait, what are two six stars? Cigarette and her. Let's just level her up to finish that. Get that done. And then we can six star our spec 10A now. I'm starting to play now. Is that a good thing? Yes. The Epic 7 is like starting it now is 
I mean, the best time to start a big seven is the day you're thinking about starting it. So, all right, so we six star promoter, awaken three, three star higher heroes to five star. So we technically have a second potion, so we could just six star Stenia right now. Um, should I do it that way? Because I have no other promotion stuff. Let's just go ahead and use our second potion on her. It does not matter how you use your potions. As long as you have potions, just use them. Like, yes, you can use them on three star and save a total of, what, 8,000 stamina? Or not 8,000 stamina, 8,000 8, stigma. Whatever the amount that you save from doing this is, it's, I don't care. Not a big deal. So go ahead and get her done. Okay, so now we need to five star awaken one more character. And then that's gonna unlock us five star promotion. And we gotta hit gold, um, gold five league and arena. So what do we have to do for the grace of growth? Um, own, a, own a level 60 hero. So we need to get one more level 60 hero with Spectre Tenebria, and we need to upgrade our Sigrid to plus 15 and our Stene to plus 15. But we, any one of those will do. That'll give us six star of her, and all of this stuff is what we're trying to do before tomorrow. So now we're at a spot where we can go claim some stuff. Let's go ahead and slap a thing into Headhunt real quick. Big hype now and get to Golem another. Yeah, once you start the snowballing of the... Um, once you start the snowballing of the hunt challenges, it feels really good. All right, so we claimed all day three, so we are technically on day four. Let's claim this stuff. You get double Moonlight character select, like this one and the other one from Moonlight Story. Um, you're gonna get two, okay, I'll show. You're gonna get two different Moonlights from the Moonlight Blessing, and then you're gonna have this Headhunt event, which will give you another Moonlight. So technically you can get three Moonlight Fives right now. Is it all right if I had Grace of Growth my cigarette? Yeah, so if you're doing the Grace of Growth cigarette method, you're following the 2023 guide, that's perfectly fine. We're just adjusting it for this one um, because we're going to be changing how we do Zio. So if you're following the 2023 guide, just go with it. And this one, the things that I'm doing might end up failing at the end and we might have to revert back um, to the old way of doing Zio, but we're just doing things slightly different uh, because I think I'm pretty confident I can like, just change this to be a little bit more streamlined, but if you're following the 2023 one, just keep following it, it's perfect. Perfectly fine. Um, but this one will have a better gear guide, like the 2024 guide will have the, the banger gear guide that will make you understand everything. So if you get to the gearing part, hopefully I'll have that gear guide by the time you get to there. Because the gear guide and that one, I, I tried to just show me doing everything, but I need to put like base information in your head before I do like a crafting video. So I have, I already know how I'm gonna do the video, but all right, so we're gonna have all of our promotion events now too. This is gonna give us a bunch of penguins. So we'll claim all of these real quick. So we did all three of our six stars on the same day, really. That's unfortunate. All right, Mulligore challenge, what can we claim from this? some molas we need to do a little bit more spirit altar to finish this up we can go do that yeah so let's go do a little bit of spirit altar on auto battle and then for our hunt challenges for the spirit altar i think we need to get um some more big water runes okay let's go get some more big water runes but we got to claim 100 billion things real quick here I'm, I'm, I'm manually, I have to manually claim this stuff so I don't accidentally claim the stuff at the bottom. So I'm sorry that that takes so long, but all right, I'll get back to chat in just a second. Ooh, we unlocked all the trials. So we'll mess with that. Actually, also there was one more thing I didn't do, wasn't there? Arky seven day growth guide. Yeah, we didn't click Arky seven day growth guide. So, oh, that's only five Molagoras. Okay, we already did claim that. All right, so let's go in. We are going to do spirit altar. We're gonna finish this up. How many big runes do I have? Zero, yeah. So let's go ahead and just go in with this. This team should beat it, I think. We'll beat it one time, but all right. Fumira's a great character. She can be fun, but sadly not meta. She's Fumira's kind of meta. I use I can use Fumira at the highest level. It's just a lot of the time there's better picks than her, but she's she's still really good. I, I mean, I, I usually win like one or two games a day with her. It's just she's not a character you think to pick much. That's the whole thing with her. 
Is it speed set the go to for DDR now? You can still do counter, but it depends on how you want to use them. If you're going to use DDR in like a standard comp, you can go counter, it's fine. If you're going to use the thing is, counter DDR doesn't really do that much though. Um, Celestine counter DDR might be okay for sustainability for your team. But if you're going, most people are using DDR and aggro right now though, which you want, if you're going to use DDR in like an aggro style, so like you're going CEO DDR, you're going to want him on. Uh, speed set and you're gonna want them at least like 240 250 speed 240 is like probably the lower end you can go a little bit slower if you want and put more bulk but Fumir requires some shenanigans not really I, I was having games where I would pick Fumir without any other activators and she would still just win the game the urge to click receive all I know I have to fight it every time you removed cigarette from grace and crows is six star and she isn't but I want to swap since she's only uh he's only a wyvern tank wait your crows is already six star you can use your grace of growth. You're going to use it on a bunch of different stuff going through the game. So it really doesn't matter how you use that. You can just six star the characters. The only reason we do it on our Wyvern team is just for speeding up the process of it. Dog, do you tell chat at least me how your day has been and what are some goals you're placing for yourself? Um, well, I woke up an hour ago. Well, whenever I started stream, I was awake for five minutes before starting stream, so two hours ago. Um, goals for myself, get new player guide 2024 finished today for the first episode second goal finish abyss 91 or 90 through 94 video guide done today third my goals past this though is x amount of videos done every day then for big goals i want to reach 20k on youtube before the end of the year i think we're only 400 away we'll probably hit that by the end of the week or by the end of next week second twitch i want to hit 19,000 followers on twitch before the end of the year i think we're only like 200 away from that um i want to get my second youtube channel up to 4,000 watch hours what else what other goals we got well, that's all my consecration goals past that i want to pay off my car as fast as i can i am as of the end as of the end of december i think i am debt free except for my car i'm going to be paying off the rest of my student loans you guys got me out of debt this year so i will seriously thank you for any of the sponsors you guys downloaded any of the things you did help me like, I actually am going to be out of debt besides my car. I, just, I still own my car. But my goal early next year is I'm going to be paying extra on my car and trying to get my car paid off. Because if I can get my car paid off before I move out, that's going to be, I'll have a lot more options and more higher chance of getting accepted for a house loan if I may be able to get a house if interest rates drop. Interest rates drop. Um, what other things are going on in my life? Uh, I would like to start dating again early next year, but I need to get a couple things finished. Subbed, thank you. I kind of did it before you told us to put Wyvern Tank in. It's all good. Guys, it, it doesn't matter. You, if you're following my 2023 guide, if you sick or did cigarette, just keep going with that. It's fine. The way that you do your grace of growth doesn't matter. Um, I'll get my application ready. Um, but what, what else? But yeah, I kind of, I want to start dating again early next year. Because I feel like if I don't, then, I mean, if you don't, like, I'm not in a rush to try to find a lifelong partner, but I know if I don't start trying, then I'm missing out on opportunities of finding someone awesome. So even though I might not put the most time into it, I would still like to at least have the opportunity to potentially meet somebody. So my last couple years of dating haven't been the greatest experiences, but... Who knows? Houses are for banks, not for people. I know if you're down, I'm down. If your girl doesn't play E7, she's not it. I don't want my girl to play E7. The last girl I dated was, she was, uh, she was a doctor. She didn't know anything about any video games. She watched the only, she had watched anime. Um, she had watched Naruto. That was it. I actually watched the end of Naruto with her because I think she didn't finish it and she ended up finishing it. Uh, but no, she was like a gym head. That's all she did was go to the gym. That was like her entire pastime. I told my girlfriend I didn't want her to stream. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't want, like my girlfriend, I don't want them to be at all into, like you guys gotta remember, this is my job. I don't want my girlfriend to be part of my job, really. Bro pulled a doctor, yeah. I, 
I was very, I, I bring it up all the time. I always flex. I was like, yeah, I dated a, a doctor last year. Yep. Yeah, we dated for, it was about a year, but didn't work out in the long term. But that's the thing like she, she i don't understand i i still never understand how i date some of the girls i do because she like she was a doctor and she was a super gym nerd and like that's her only hobby and all of her ex-boyfriends were like like high high class people like one was a radiologist he made like 300 400 a year um and then the other guys she dated were all like they were like models like they were models. How did I pull? She did. Okay, she dated. Hold on. Okay, you guys know the band 30 Seconds to Mars? She dated the lead singer of that band for uh, like a short period. Like she went to like some of his shows and stuff and like went around in like his limousine. Like I dated someone who dated the Joker. <laughs> so if she if she kissed him at all, then that means that I have Joker DNA in my body now. I bet a lot of girls say that guy, I know, but still, still funny. So I technically dated the Joker too by proxy. Crazy, right? But again, how am I in the same caliber in somebody's eyes as that person? That's what's crazy to me. Like someone who can date that far up, why would they ever date me? <laughs> It doesn't make sense, and it never will make sense. More like Morbius DNA? Let's go. Wait. So when I say it's Morbin time, it really is Morbin time. Because you're human, so are they? I know. I know. I, I know if you take a step back and look at it, but like from a just a quick thought perspective, it's like, what the hell? It's trippy. Because you make a banger E7 guide. Well, I didn't make the E7 guide before I dated her. The E7 guide is a direct result of getting out of that relationship and trying to find something to completely take up all of my time. Because I was used to spending all my time with her. Every day, all day I spent with her. So I was trying to find something to like get me used to not having her around and just being super busy so that's the whole reason the e7 guide is this yeah the e7 guide was like rebound sex exactly because <laughs> she wanted to test how it was to be someone below those men maybe she learned really quickly it wasn't it <laughs> it's not about material status but personality i know that's the thing about like being a streamer is I'm the same always. So when I go on a date, like when you heard me talking about lizard people um, ate all the pigeons, that's the kind of shit I say on first dates. Like if, if especially if there's any drinking at all, I will say the dumbest shit. I'm very good at making, if once I learn a person, like after I talk to them for like 10 minutes, I can usually make them laugh very fast. And then it, I, I figure out where their boundaries are and how they think. And I am usually pretty good at making people laugh especially in one-on-one -on -one scenarios. I think that's like my superpower for dating people I should never date. You play RTA in front of them? Dude, if I played RTA in front of them, they're gone. They're like, what the hell? Why are you picking Benevolent Roman into seven cleansers and an Aiden? Okay, so what was I doing next? We are farming runes. And then we are going to farm and tax. I'm not a tax evader. We don't evade taxes in the stream. We love paying taxes. I wake up every day to think, nice, I'm gonna make $200 today and 60 of it's going to the government. Like I love that aspect of life. It's my favorite part. All right, let's go do some of this stuff actually. me when I evade taxes. Because <sighs> Broman is life, see? Try to tell that to them. They they don't understand. Okay. 
Acquire five spear. Pray to God, such a clear stage two dash three on it. If uh, they they leave at their Bromatic, they aren't worth it. Agreed. But. Dude, I won so many games with Broman this season. Like, I actually think he's he is he's high risk, high reward. There are characters in Epic Seven, like Remnant Violet, that depending on how you pick them, they are high risk, high reward characters. And Broman is like the highest risk, highest reward character. Because if he goes, you win. If he doesn't go, you lose. It's simple as that. It's literally you click S3 and either win or lose. I spent 10 years with the wrong person and met my current on Final Fantasy XIV. Dude, the amount of people that meet their significant other on Final Fantasy XIV is so cool. Met in 2017, but officially been a couple since 2019, and now in 2023, got two kids. That's so cool. Like, people meeting their significant other, like, if I met a girl who played Apex, I could maybe do it. Like, I, I, think, I think someone who plays Apex or, like, is into first-person shooters, because that's, like, far enough away from my normal streaming stuff. If they were into Apex, that means they'll probably be into anime and, and be like more open-minded to stuff like that. I wouldn't mind that, but I think last time I went too far out of my like current interest zone. We had, we had literally nothing in common. What team do you use for episode three to nine like a fight? I just use the same Tamarin, um, Tamarin, Ares, Spectre, Tenubria, and usually it's Blue Shoe or Oh, yeah, it's going to be Blue Shoe for that. Blue Shoe doesn't do too much for that fight, but that's the team I use for it. You just have to manual it. I'll show myself beating it. Um, what? We'll be there in like a couple days. Uh, I don't think I have a way to show how to beat it before that with the actual the same characters you would have at the current time, but that's how I, that's how I beat it every time. I don't think I change anything for it. It's a little annoying. You just have to spam Arkies and attack the correct things. All right, so we need five spears of mirror. Where does this take me? All right, that's fine. Oh wait, my rune farming quit. Clearly you evade taxes. You guys are gonna get me arrested, okay? You know the IRS has like a monitor on every, every time the word tax evasion gets put into YouTube and Twitch chat. And now my my stream is very susceptible to them being like, all right, let's investigate this guy. I think I'm pretty confident I'm fine, but if you guys cause me to go to jail, I'm never streaming again. Maybe you can date the IRS agent. Ooh, I'll see if I can make the IRS agent laugh on the phone when they're talking to me. Dude, how do you audit someone who makes $25,000 a year? Like, okay, last year I made a little bit more than that, but like, I don't make that much money. I, I lowballed there, but how do you audit someone who makes that little money? Like, what are you looking through? You're looking through nine receipts. I could have, there's no money I could have spent. What are they auditing? I'm almost, like, there were a couple years I was at the edge of almost not having to pay taxes because <laughs> I made so little. Like, my first couple years of streaming, like, I was at the edge of probably to even, I think if I would have took my deductions off how much I made, I probably wouldn't even have to pay taxes. <laughs> But I still did. Like last year, last year I did pretty good. This year I didn't do too good though. At the end of the year I did really good, but at the beginning of the year, you guys know I didn't stream. I was with her all the time. I didn't stream. I didn't do anything. So like this year I didn't make shit. I was living off the money I made last year, just balling out, living like an idiot. So this year I didn't. I, I'm, I shouldn't have to pay that much in taxes this year either. Next year though, if we continue at the current pace, it's gonna suck. But it's gonna be awesome, but it's gonna suck come tax time. Last year I evaded my taxes. All right, so now they're gonna investigate you. Thank you for taking the uh, attention away from me. This expedition pass is worth it. Technically is, but as a new player, I wouldn't suggest buying it. It doesn't give you more gear. So I'd rather, if you spent the 1500 sky stones into farming and account progression, I think it would do more for you. But after, like, if you wanted to buy it, I never buy it on my main account though. Um, but your boy Jim, 2k attack, 1.3k defense, 23k HP, 87. Yeah, I mean, that shoe sounds fine. If, as long as you're above 85 career rate, your shoe's probably fine. What's an IRS? Why do they want money? It's it's the United States tax people. They want, they want to take all your money. 
I didn't pay anything to IRC there, but I don't live in the US. I'm dude, they're gonna be after you then. You buy a house next year? If 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 I can buy a house next year, guys. So I have a sponsor. I'm going to have sponsors. And my sponsors usually take legitimately five minutes to do. If with if like so I have a sponsor starting the 15th. If we got 5,000 downloads on that sponsor, which there are 5,000 people throughout the time that I do something, if 5,000 people took a simple three minutes, I would make, how much would I make from that? If we had 5,000 dollars, I don't think they'd pay me if I got that many. It would be like $40,000. That's a big down payment on a house, and that's one sponsor. Usually we get like 100, so obviously I don't make anywhere near that. But if we got 5,000 downloads on a single sponsor, it'd be like 40 grand, and it's very possible. And that would be that would change my life forever off a two, one week sponsor that's insane but i guarantee they would not pay me for <laughs> that many downloads to be like all right we got to make a limit here but that's the thing like i could i could probably buy a house with cash if you guys are willing to support me over the next like 10 month period and you see me doing a sponsor and you're willing to take four minutes to download it like we probably could swing it but the chance of you guys doing that is kind of low some of you guys i know will but I'm happy for those of you that do, but if we somehow were able to do that, my life would be insane next year. Get the alt accounts ready, we're gonna get those 5k downloads, but no. Like, when you see streamers doing sponsors, if they're easy to do and only take you a few minutes, like, it helps their lives so much. But, I mean, getting 100 downloads on the sponsors is still really awesome. Like, that's it. I mean, it's given me my dream life, but the thing is, I mean, you always have the greedy thought of wow look this is what could be possible but i'm still very happy so try to get tamer with the free bookmarks i get yes Ta you try to only use your free bookmarks on someone so we just finish both of them i think we did but pull to side on karen waiting his kid he seems like he's really good anti-cleave he can be good anti-cleave but um the problem is if they have soul burn at all they're going to strip you so I use him in anti-cleave occasionally, but it's hard to get enough effect rows. Still with that, he's, he's hard to build. Let's just put it that way. 1500 gems are 75 wire and 13 runs. It's more than that because you get stamina return and skystone return. So 1500 skystones on a wyvern is actually like 1700 skystones value. It's how many you actually get, so. Wait, air pack? Air support pack seven and eight, what is that? What is air support pack? This is a free to play guide, by the way. $100 for this? Oh my God. Are they serious? This might be the worst pack I've ever seen. Oh my God. If anyone's ever spent money on this, I am so sorry. Holy shit. 605 is pity, right? Yeah. This might be the worst pack in the history of Epic 7. Hey, uh, YouTube stream. Also, if you're willing to like the stream, if you ever see me streaming and, and remember to like it, it helps out a ton. If any of you are willing to like the like the stream. I have an elf major by that. Dude, this is easily the worst pack I've ever seen in my life on any video game ever. All of these new player packs are pretty, I mean, 30 bucks for, I mean, this is technically actually okay value in comparison to other packs, but this one is like a potion of ascension. Guys, you can six star a character on a new account in like three hours of playing. That is wild. Three days, day, this pack is worth it. I did buy this on my main. The welcome pack is worth it. The new adventures pack is worth it. Um, this isn't worth it, is it though? I wouldn't, no, nah, no, it's not. Where's the pack that it told me about? This pack is... Hey, this pack isn't the worst. 20 bucks for this many charms isn't that bad. And a million gold. This pack is actually not bad for new players. 20 bucks for... That's a lot of right side charms. It's under event pack, is it? Oh, this one. Uh, I mean, this isn't terrible value either. It's not the greatest, but it's not bad. It's nothing like that other pack. That other pack makes every other pack in the game seem decent. 
But yeah, this isn't too bad for new players. It's 20 bucks, but the amount of right side charms that you get is going to give you a ton of progression. Like this is almost, this is like almost a whole half a week. I would say it's like half a week of progression of right side charms, if not more. This might be close to a full week of right side charm progression. Getting him out of Ken over Senny is really that bad. I don't like Senny. Ken is so cool. Yes, it's pretty bad. You're not going to be able to clear Abyss floors as easily. So you're just putting yourself at a huge disadvantage for getting some insanely good stuff. So the main reason we're still taking Senny over ML Ken is this right here. Bro, how fast level up? I mean, you're going to level up fast. But the rewards in this, Spectre Tibia is going to hard carry you all the way up to 4 100 and the Force Pass 100. And the rewards in here are just insane. So, like, your ML Ken would work well for you up until floor, like, 80. And then I think that's where Sten A just becomes, like, must pick. And look at these rewards past 80. 30 leaves, 30. That's really big. 20 Molagoros, 500 Mystics, 150 Powder, 2,000 Sky Stones. Uh, a actual really good set. This is like the first good free set you get. Another 150 powder. But yeah, not taking in another. This is going to give you a lot of mystics toward an ML5. So I, I know it sucks because ML Ken, trust me, ML Ken is so cool. He's one of the reasons I started the game. But not taking Stenny, you're just hard handicapping yourself, sadly. It feels bad. We really need like a new like Stenny that could be used in. Um... All right, let's just do low end spirit altar of some type. Or I don't know. Let's just click around on spirit altar for a while and clear all of them. Your second floor fifty five, you'll get past it very quick. But it's just you literally just play the game. You'll level up. not like any special thing you have to do hey we have 304 subs wait did people sub wait we've had nine subs today how do we get jump up to 304 i don't know how we jump to 304 subs but thank you guys uh do you recommend taking the characters level up uh on runs or taking everyone to max level it doesn't matter whichever one you do it's basically the same It, it, it doesn't matter. Either you get more stigma overflow to make more penguins, or you get less stigma overflow and your penguin XP just goes straight to your character. Like there is like there is one way that's technically more efficient, but any of the small efficiency things like that, like you don't need to be max efficient in Epic Seven for little little things like that. It's not gonna make a big difference. Like or if you're following my guide at least, those little max efficiency things don't matter. They're just like time. They just take extra time. That our goal is to get as much done in 30 days as possible. So taking more time to do things that aren't going to help you that much in the long run, in my opinion, aren't worth it. I kind of second floor 55 and I don't know what to do. You're definitely not following my God series then either. Like this, this team on my screen right now, switching here, this team on my screen right now will carry you all the way up to floor. Um, what's this says floor? It's floor 63. It'll carry you all the way up to floor 63. You'll have to switch one character out. And then from floor 64 to 80, this team will just work all the way to floor 80, I think. You don't have to change anything. What'd you miss? Nothing important. We've just been chilling today. How soon would you recommend new players to attempt the Euphine Nixie thingy? Especially in terms of scares. If you have all the characters, you, the thing is you probably won't have the gear. You got to 82 full auto. Yeah, I know it's around 80. This team works all the way up to 480. Except preferably Tamarin over Destina. You're stuck on 92. Yeah, 92 is the first like hard, hard floor. Like I would say there's probably thousands of people who follow my guide series that are stuck on 92 waiting for me to make the video, which I'm trying to get it done. Hopefully it's done today. It's just that is second priority over the first one. 102 is just a super RNG shit show. Floor, floor 102. Floor 102 is the perfect example of why I'm not going to make guides past floor 100. There are already guides out there for you to use and I, I just pass floor 100. I'm not going through that headache again. And the thing is, we're probably going to get more Abyss Floors in not too long. We haven't had an Abyss update in a long time, so.
Yeah, if you have Stene, Tama, Brig, well, Tenny, Sama, Destiny, and Brig probably clears everything in the game safely. But you focus Roman the Tywin. Yeah, Stenny is all you need for floor 92. With floor 92, you, you just might need to put a little bit of effectiveness on Stenny. So switch out some of your attack pieces for ones with effectiveness, even if it has lower damage. As long as you land your poisons on Stenny, you're going to win. And it might take a couple RNG chances, but you'll, you'll be able to beat it. I think I beat it first try whenever I went into it. Uh, 92, you can argue twice to break time and shield if you kill Roman first. Yeah, I, I'll, I'll show, I'll show the easy, easy way to beat it. Uh oh. Okay, so this floor is too hard for us. So we want to awaken my Spectene, though. Or yeah, we want to awaken Spectene. So let's just farm this one. Made an old and got Brig. I must say, Brig animation is such a troll. He just dashed in S3. Brig is such a cool. Lost a rune altar. My, my, none of my gear is leveled, okay? I have a bunch of charms and just trying not to level my gear at all. I guess if I went level my gear, we'd farm everything faster. I just want to, I mean, if people are watching this and seeing me failing stages, they're going to feel a lot better if they're failing stages too. So. Um, I don't know our, what's our main goal for today? I don't remember what our main goal for today is. It's to get our Wyvern team set up for tomorrow. Everything but our Wyvern front tank set up for tomorrow. Other than that though, I don't think, I don't think we're pushing to Faustus yet. I think Faustus might be day six. Technically we could maybe just level up gear and go finish him faster. Our teacher is failing. Yes. Uh, so I watched your first uh, guide. I saw you got a five-star selector. How do you get that? You don't get the five-star selector. Your first day's guide. The first, you're not going to get the five-star selector. That's why I just took a Destina. You're not going to get the five-star selector anymore. It went away last Wednesday. So they get free rewards like that out all the time, though. So if you start your account now, you'll eventually end up getting those free rewards at different times. But no, that five-star selector is gone. That's why I didn't claim it or didn't use it on anything that helped me progress more in my guide. I just took a character I already had just so that it was out of my mailbox. So don't feel bad you didn't get it. It's fine. It sucks. I'm sure this, it would be nice to have an extra five star character, but it's not like game breaking that you don't get that. There's not even that many good characters you can get out of it. You usually just get uh, Tamarin and then it, it saves you bookmarks is all it does. Important question for me, would you say it's worth to forego the next collab so I can get the Cena Story Summon? No. I mean, are you too RTA yet? If you're to the point where you're playing RTA and you're realizing that Stene, or uh, sorry, that the Cena would be really good, then yeah. But if you're not to RTA yet, then don't worry about it. That's all the Cena's for is RTA. So you can play RTA without Destina. The only reason I have you get her is because it makes it to where you can get champion arena faster for more Skystones per week. You can win more Guild War fights and then it's easier to get into RTA. But Spacey Pancake, what you doing? You getting to a point where I'm thinking about doing it? Yeah, so build up your teams, go try it and see if Destina is needed. But the thing is using any of your summons right now, guys, we have a bunch of stuff coming. But Lindsay, is Arya easy to build for a new account? She's not really easy to get for a new account. She's, she's, I don't know. I would say she's, she's not easy to gear for a new account, but she's nice to have because you're going to get gear that rolls high, but weird. And she is like the best use for the weird rolled gear, like the gear with effect resist and damage stats. She's the best. Are you going to build crowd for front take? No, I'm using Angelica on this account. I'm going to build crowd for RTA once I get there. But yeah, we have possibly, we have possibly more than two limiteds. We're going to get a rerun of full metal and then a uh, new limited Lydica. So there's a good chance we're getting multiple limited soon. But now we're just going to do uh, Angelica. Do you recommend new players to pull on collabs? I will always tell you what's worth pulling as a new player. So if you are subscribed to my YouTube channel, I will tell you. You just watch for the video when the thing's coming and I'll tell you whether or not I think they're worth pulling for. Both for like mid game players and um, new players. So you kind of just have to wait and see because the thing is they might change what the characters are now. So we're getting another Breeze of Hawkeye. Yeah, we will. 
um, but they might change how some of the characters work. Like last time that the Rimuru slime collab came, we got uh, exclusive equipments for some of the Rimuru characters, or for some of the slime characters. So if they do that for this, it could change whether or not I think they're worth pulling or not. So that's why I don't want to tell you yes or no now, and then you not hear me say that it's actually worth pulling later. Just wait for the video when I can give an actual accurate answer on it. You got Simple Angelica, is she for one shot Wyvern? Could you use her to tank in a new account? No, you Angelica is only for one shot Wyvern. You cannot use her as a general Wyvern front tank. Sinful Angelica, she can be used in some like Guild War fights, but I wouldn't focus on building her too too early. She's like a after you played for a month character. Also I've been rerolling my account because of the free five star five star artifact, but I've just been rerolling mindlessly so I need specific five stars, Brig. Uh, just get Brig. If you get Brig, it's going to be really beneficial for your account. It's going to make almost all content like twice as easy. All PvE content, I should say. Generally saying your bookmarks for limited is the way to go, but of course wait a bit. Yeah, you will always want to wait to see how the limited is before you pull it. So the day a limited comes out, even if someone says they're good on a video before the character comes out, give it a couple days and see. I already have Tamasaria and Destiny, so I'm going to wait for the FMA collabs for sure, yeah. Tamasaria and Destiny, that's the, that's the banger start. You cover both worlds. You cover the PvE and the PvP start. You hoping we get an armored Edward? That'd be cool. I'd be down for that. How many more of these do I have to do? I don't remember. I needed like, it was like 17. I think we've done 10, maybe. I'll check. Now I can reroll again. Made a mistake spending all my diamonds on a custom banner. I mean, I always suggest making a second account um, if you feel like you messed up. Like the, from what you learned from your first account, your second account, you're going to fly through everything because you already have a general understanding of the menus. You're going to spend your resources smartly. Restarting your Epic 7 account a lot of the time will be the best thing you could have ever done because your new account in a month is going to be miles above an account that you probably played for three months if you know what you're doing the second time. Is Moonlight Angelica worth or better normal Angelica? Which Moonlight Angelica? There's two. There's a light and dark one. The light one is insane. Light one is very good. Is Mort worth to build early? No, Mort is a pretty bad character. I know he looks good, but Mort is not very good. He is, especially for new players, there's no way you're going to be able to use him effectively. I try to use him on my main account just for memes because he's known as being one of the worst characters possible, and he doesn't work very much. Spirit Eye speed set for Spirit Eye Slain just goes speed set. She got a buff to where she heals now. So anyone who's still on the lifestyle side, it's kind of not needed. She heals a ton as long as you build a ride on speed set. Uh, is this legendary for percent win rate streamer online again, Keebly? It is. Actually, we're we're like 49.7% win rate. We finally got like consistently below 50%. I lost like eight games in a row the other day. It was perfect. I got Tam, Shrewd, Benevolent Roman on free summons. Don't try to use Benevolent Roman. I'll just tell you right now, don't try to use him. I use him, but I also have like very specific drafting strategies with him. As a new player trying to use him, you're just going to be very disappointed. Or even not even new player, as a less than one year player trying to use Benevolent Roman, you will not have a good time. Yeah, if you're using Angel of Light Angelica, you just build her around 200, 220 speed, as much bulk as possible with like 100 effectiveness. So I pulled two Lilies, should I feed one to the other? Yes, you can. You can either feed the Lilies into each other, or if you want to save one for Conqueror Lilius, you can feed one into the Conqueror Lilius. Is Arya good? She's okay. She's not as good as she used to be, but she, she can still be really strong. It's just we're currently in a debuff meta right now wouldn't know how yeah Brunevo roman is like a most people would say he's terrible i think he's actually pretty good with how i play but he is just high like i said earlier high risk high reward either broman works and you win the game or he doesn't work and you lose the game so you literally just your entire game banks on does he work and most of the time he will not work 
It's got Brig. Should I use him for Ivan 13 instead of other things? Yes, Brig is the best Wyvern front tank. And he's the best expedition front tank for all but one expedition. That is the grass one. If anyone still needs a guild to get used in this guide as a spot, if you guys need guilds, join the Discord for sure. But Thinus, eventually you'll end up just recruiting out of the Discord to fill up. And uh, do you know our guild rules? If someone doesn't log in for two days, uh, you can kick them. And what else? Does min maxing gear really necessary in this game with low high roll subs? Maybe PvP is needed? No, PvE doesn't matter. PvE is super, super easy. That's if you're playing, but again, if you're playing this game only for PvE, um, you're only going to be able to play it for a certain amount of time before you get bored. So I do not suggest this game to anyone who only cares about PvE. Discord has them set up. Okay. Okay. But yeah, there's, if you just read like the guild leader rules and I need to give you the guild leader role in discord because you don't have it. I don't think that way you can see the guild leader chat speed set on Jelka. Yeah. And yes, I know the rules. Okay. You're already a co-captain in a guild, aren't you? Another guild? Or I might be confusing you for somebody else right now. Any other gacha games you play? I play Star Rail a little bit, but lately I just haven't had any time. I either play like shooter games with friends or I play Epic 7. That's my only two games. What artifact should I use for Brig? Whatever you have, it really doesn't matter. Early game, you're not going to really have any good artifact options for him. If you want to use like Adamant, Aureus, uh, Step S Gatekeeper, any of those are fine. Generally, when you're a tank, you use speed set? No, not always, but every character in the game can essentially use speed set. That's why Wyvern's so nice to farm. Any character can just use speed set, whereas not every character can use counter and things like that, so. Speed set is just always usually the safest go-to thing to farm and just build your early characters on. It's like even Blue Shoe, ML Landy, they technically can use speed sets, it just won't be as good. So, speed set, or, uh, switching certain characters to counter set is just making them slightly better but almost all counter set characters can be used on speed set just fine so you set them all on it i mean you technically could have i tried outer plane it's uh it looked weird to me for d7 no i never tried outer plane i usually don't play like new gotchas that come out anymore i used to play every single one but I just got to a point where it just felt like a waste of time. They're all bad. Almost all other games. It's not that they're bad. They're just not Epic 7. Epic 7, guys, I've played, like, I don't know, 50 gacha games. Nothing can compare to E7. Like, no other game has has the content. Because Epic's the difference between Epic 7 and any PvE gacha is you have PvP, so it gives you a reason to play the PvE. The problem with like Honkai Star Rail, I can already beat all the content in the game easily. So what am I farming for? Like I'm farming artifacts to make my character stronger to beat stuff even easier. Like there's no hard content in any PvE game. And that's the nice thing is Epic 7 has the PvP portion to where you're farming the PvE to get stronger in PvP. Without PvP in Epic 7, this game would be one of the worst games ever. Did you play Arknights? No. I, I played it for like two days. My boy won't believe the summon. Vicky, what'd you get? Vicky, what is that link? You linked a channel. It's not even a picture. Vicky, I, I'm i really upset that you didn't know how to link a picture from Discord. You linked me a channel in Discord. My bad, I'm ass agreed. Skill issue. Isn't effectiveness good for her to provoke? Effectiveness good for who? Hold on, sorry. Could the returning counter set work on Bellion for starters? It could. Your effectiveness is it's usually a wasted stat. Like Bellion doesn't really Bellion doesn't really need it at all. My favorite is seven deadly sins green cross. Um, hold on. Seven deadly sins green cross is great, besides the fact that they charge money for skins, they give you power-ups. So if you don't buy the skins, oh my god, there's a raid shadow legend campaign. There's no guaranteed money for a raid Shadow Legends campaign though. Cringe. All right, what are the goals? Main goal, get 15 viewers to and complete level 12? Hell nah. Dude, this raid sponsor pays up to $4,000.
I wouldn't. All right, but it's I get thirty dollars for each first ten blue shards opened. Okay, that no one's gonna get ten blue shards if they don't play very far. Um, I earn twenty dollars for every level twenty-five, so it would take fifty people reaching level twenty-five to get that. And then the main goal is level twelve. Level twelve takes what? It's like level twelve is like 10, 10 minutes, fifteen minutes, probably fifteen minutes. Level twenty can be done in one hour. So one hour, I would, I would, you guys would have to play for one hour speed farming to reach this. I don't think I'm gonna take it. There's no like guaranteed payout on it. Plus, if uh, so many people do raid sponsors that I don't know any of you guys that try to do it on your phone, it probably wouldn't even count. So, our blue shards, the three star summons, yes. And getting ten of them kind of takes a little bit, I think. Maybe ten isn't too hard. I don't know. I'll let it sit, but. I was hoping there'd be like a guaranteed pay thing for it plus some different incentive but i just don't see 50 of you guys playing raid for an hour to reach the thingy all right what'd you get you got ml laney commander pavel in the same 10 pool what the hell that's so lucky congrats on that that's exciting Raid is so scarce with summoning resources, crazy until you're in game. I know. Like looking at that, they're they're trying to get people to spend money on it. So, okay, we finished this. All right, next Mulligora challenge. That happened in the guild. Oh, was it in the guild? Oh, you had to reach level 51 before you can even start the next Mulligora challenge. Didn't know that. Okay. All right, what's the adventure for new heirs thing? Oh, I never use these. Whoops. All right, let's go do that real quick. That was me. You're too cracked for you to play. Okay, let me look at it. Is it in guild chat? You instantly made your profile pick ML Andy, I'm guessing. Oh, there it is. That's wild. Yo, Thinus. My, I have an account in the guild. Wait, did you kick him? Hold on, I need to go into the guild. That's that's super cool though. Okay, let me make sure you didn't kick my, I have another account that I'm playing for the guide series. Um, that's gonna be in the guild. It needs to be in the guild for today. After today, it's not a big deal. But I need it in the guild for at least today. Let me make sure you didn't kick me. It's this, or I think it's this one right here. The LP15Q1. That's my other guide account. Do not kick this one. Because it's three hours ago. That's like when I started streaming. Do not kick this this account. Because this is the account I'm playing to like make a couple of guide videos. And I'm getting ready to do the guild portion on it. So I need to be in the guild for whenever I do the guild portion. So please do not kick me before uh, I do that. PV Farmer and ML Landy, I know. That's like, those are two juiced ML fives. Okay, so the bad thing with this is I think I have to redo beating that one stage now, which is annoying. What are these boxes even? I don't even know what those boxes are. Okay. So I have to beat stage one, one of run record history. I've already beat stage 1-1 one, one of Unrecorded History, though. Does Guild War really important? Yes, you want to go at least lose all your Guild War fights. You want to at least use your attacks. If you don't use your attacks, you're putting yourself way behind. Thoughts on Kane? Was he bad? Kane was good for uh, uh, Rift, but if you pull Kane now, he's useless. Because Rift is going away, so Kane will be really bad. But yo, Tarek, what's up? But yes, Guild War is very important. I hear not many people like to do it. No one likes to do it, but you can literally just go in and lose your fights and it doesn't doesn't matter. It's the rewards you get from Guild War are very important. Those chests are fire runes? Okay, good. I could use more fire runes for Rose. How often should you farm expeditions? Make sure you clear it every month. Every time you're farming Wyvern 13, it drops an expedition. You need to be activating it, entering it, then 
uh, requesting help. Even if you do level ones, you can do level one expos and it's fine. Wait, are Rift like six months long? Yes. So Rift has been out for three months now, two months, three months. So they said Rift is going to last from four to six months. So if you pull Kane now, by the time you get your Rift set up, it's going to be changing to a new element Rift. Got 14 pulls till guaranteed stun A. Should you go for it? Um, are you like a mid late game player that didn't get stun A? Or where are you at? To not have gotten stun A? I mean, stun A is really good to get. And I don't know how useful ML Ludwig's gonna be for newer players. I think ML Ludwig might not be too bad for new players because he his best artifact's Taga Hells. But the bang the thing is if people don't have max Taga Hells, it's probably not too good. I don't know. We'll we'll see, but I do not think you should pull on ML Ludwig at first. Definitely wait. For according to AP acquired and unrecorded history. Really? Because I didn't start this, it didn't start counting. I have to go clear these stages again? I have to clear stage 12, 20, and 29. So we need to go clear stages 12, 20, and 29 real quick. That's unfortunate. I mean, it's fine. I'm going to be farming so much on record history. It doesn't matter. But 12, 20, 29. So stage 12. Do that first. Oops. What three summon shakes like for group banner? Landy, Cerise, and then Asaria. If you already have Asaria, then do any other of the limited characters. Those That banner should be used on limited characters. As much as possible. Yes, you're mid-late. All right, so if you're mid-late, getting stunning depends on if you can see yourself using her, but I couldn't imagine playing an account without Spectre Tabria, playing RTA, or even a lot of PvE content. I could, or Abyss and stuff. I could not imagine an account without Spectre Tabria. I don't. I don't see how I'd beat half my stuff, but yo, good morning, Baka. But Thinus, when should I be setting up the guild for guild wars? I can't remember the requirements. Uh, we should have enough people. If you go to try to set towers, see how many people's towers you can set. But yeah, the game, I can't imagine playing through the game without Stene at this point. Like, it would just make everything so much harder. What do you think of the best sets uh, to farm from Rift when you're not lacking anything in particular? I mean, I do speed set, destruction set. Uh, immunity set and I usually switch like between torrent pen set kind of just depends on like what you need at the time sometimes I'll throw lifesteal on there just I kind of mix up mix it up but I almost always just have speed set on there just because I mean speed set speed speed set you have your chances so I always have speed set on there but other than that, it's just kind of what what do you really need? Look at your characters. What could you get upgrades for? I'm seven day uh, seven days in, and you're catching up like crazy. I'm barely even playing too. What do you mean? Now I've done this so many times. So. I will catch up very very quickly. I could stream all day today. Just kidding. I have to finish that video. If I don't finish that video, I'm going... I I feel so stressed with that video. Sitting for eight hours yesterday and then watching it and saying, just in my mind, I'm just like, this isn't as good. That was one of the worst feelings I've had as a content creator in a long time. Putting that much work into something to feel. Ready to join one of your guilds? Go to Discord. X, or join the Discord. Then type in whichever server need to join a guild from we're going to be getting new captains we need more guild leaders so any new players that are willing to be guild leaders we need some volunteers to step forward um because we are with this new player guide coming out we're going to need quite a few new guilds i think we made like five how many new guilds did we make yesterday it was a lot mm, new recruits we made one two three f i think we made multiple new guilds yesterday and we, I mean, and we need to add the guild we made today, which is full. What's my second YouTube channel? If you type in Deity Rerolled, I don't have a command for it, but just type this into YouTube, it should pop up. I can step up for a guild leader. Yeah, if we need volunteers, but the thing is, if you're going to commit to being a guild leader, please do your best to do the stuff needed. And if you aren't going to do the stuff needed, if you find out like life comes up, you don't want to mess with anymore please be sure to transfer leadership of the guild to somebody else before you just disappear 
that is one thing we ran into in the past. We haven't been running into it much anymore, but if you're gonna if you're gonna take on the responsibility, please. Then I have a second channel. Yep, I have a second YouTube channel. I, I was I'm trying to come up with exactly how I want to do it. It's gonna be like heavy Epic Seven for this new player guide. I'm gonna put like my RTA climbs on the new account and stuff like that. But then I'm also going to start playing other games on it as well. So that is one of my goals this month is to get the second channel. Um, I need 1,000 more watch hours on it. So I need to, people to watch the videos that are on it. I've got 3,000 watch hours. I need 1,000 more. Then I can monetize it. And once it's monetized, then I'll start spamming videos on it. But hey, yo, what's up, Sorocco? Thank you for using your Prime. What are we at? 10 subs for the day? Let's go. All right. Quick Twitch Prime check, boys. If anybody has a Twitch Prime that you're willing to use, I want to try to hit like a... It's the last month of the year, so I want to try to hit whatever sub count we can the highest possible i would appreciate it if any of you are on youtube and would be willing to check if you have a twitch prime sub over on twitch be awesome but we've already got 10 that's plenty for one day so i'm happy i figured i would ask but yeah kane kane might become useful in something else later but as of right now i think getting kane kind of sucks because by the time you get them ready, you're not going to be able to do much. But yo, Endeavor, thanks for follow. So I don't have Tamo to be a good idea to choose her in custom banner. You can, and then if you get lucky in summoner. But I wouldn't use your resources on getting her. Kane is only good in one, I think. Yeah. I. Uh, is there an efficient way to complete my theater? Just spend a few mil every day? Yeah, you just have to spend a lot of gold. That's the only way. It's either you have to wait 30 weeks or you have to spend a good amount of gold. But spending 20 million gold for an ML5 is not bad or well 20 million gold to get an ml5 faster that's going to be a really good ml5 super worth it for Brieg, why weren't 13 frontline would prove for steadfast gatekeeper would be better they're about the same i think you'd want to put steadfast gatekeeper and use proof for like one of your pvp units because proof is a really good artifact for pvp so i think kane can work in nightmare raid he probably can so if you need a nightmare raid character you might be able to use him but that that's up to you if you want to force a way to use kane but the thing is like once this rift ends there's going to be a new rift where my kane gear is going straight to whatever new rift character is going to be the heavy damage dealer because the mechanics are all going to be different it's really fun to figure out raid when it first comes out or rift when it first comes out like the last time rift came out that was probably the most fun i had for epic 7 pve in a long time but the bad thing is all PVE is solved within like two or three days. So Rift was solved in two to three days and then it was just easy from there. Everybody could just, uh... wait, what was the last four? 20, was it 29? 12, 20, 29, I think it was. But where is 29? Was this Ravi? No, it's Cigarette. All right, let's take Mort. Mort obliterate Cigarette. But yeah, there's no efficient way to do it. It's just spending gold, sadly. Yo, these streams have been so chill. Those of you guys have been hanging out with me. Thank you. Like, we have 200 people in here on Twitch. And... Oh, wait, so we have, like, 300 total people between Twitch and YouTube. Just chilling, watching a new player account. Do nothing. <laughs> That's awesome. Thank you, guys. Maybe these consistent stream things are uh, actually going to pay off. So far, I love this game. I hope to play for many more years. It, sh it should be around for at least five years. I got up early just to join, was on YouTube, finally got on my PC. Well, welcome out, Draconis. We're here for the Peepo Talk content. We're not even talking about anything. There's no there's no robot pigeon talk today. We've been talking about dodging the IRS. What's a, what's a good topic? Your streams are the best. Thank you, Tarek. Someone, someone give me a topic. What's hot right now? But not, like, cancelable. Don't make me give, like, my political opinions. Well, it's a hot topic. We talk so much today. I know. Just learning from veteran player, including chapter one right now. Not feet again. Wait, you don't want to talk about feet? Wait. What's wrong with feet? I actually, guys, I hate feet. Like last stream was a, a joke, but I hate feet. Like that's one of my biggest fears is feet. Feet are so gross. 
if like there was so i watch golf videos on youtube right there was a golf video where they were golfing barefoot i clicked off the video okay yeah i must did some naughty things in new york times interview i saw that that was pretty i mean that was pretty uh boss but yeah feet are gross and chop your own off my my i wear shoes 24 7. like look anytime i'm streaming i wear i have a pair of shoes that i wear in the house bang i always have shoes on if i'm streaming i'm wearing shoes i have a clean pair of shoes for the house because that way i don't have to see my feet feet are nasty i even clean my feet a lot what's your favorite tags are you talking about for like in hentai.com what are you talking about for tags i really like the incest one your feet need to breathe my feet can suffocate and fall off you're gonna ruin your feet why is that gonna ruin my feet how is that ruining my feet the shoes are loose i wear i wear jeans 24 7 and i wear shoes i wear jeans to bed like i either wear a robe or jeans sometimes i wear jeans and a robe because it's always cold i never understood the feet thing people developed i don't know it's out of their control Wearing socks is mandatory. I mean, if you don't wear socks, I don't know. Some of you guys just don't get cold. If you're always cold, you gotta wear, you gotta wear socks. Why do Americans measure height and feet? I don't know. I didn't form America. If I formed America, we would have probably died off a long time ago. I'm not the, I'm not the one who decided on the feet thing. I hate jeans, so uncomfy. I love jeans. Jeans are my favorite thing to wear. I wear jeans 24-7. It's probably part because I'm so skinny, too. So I'm always cold, and jeans hold heat in very, very well. Pick Landy because I have the artifact. That's good or not. Landy's artifact is not really good on her. Landy's, Landy's artifact isn't very good for her. Landy's artifact just really isn't that good in general. Landy's best used on Cerise's limited artifact. That's why I tell everybody to get guiding lights because you need like a thousand of them. What's your thoughts, NTR? I don't even know what NTR stands for. What does NTR stand for? Nito rare? Is that like the old dudes? What does NTR stand for? Wearing jeans in Asia feels stuffy and restricted. Maybe it's hotter there for you guys. Oh, okay. Thanks, brother. It's up to you now. Thanks. I have three guiding lights and still not enough. I have seven. I think, I think with seven, I've done a pretty good job of not needing more. But I have seven and I use all of them just crazy old dudes is ugly bastard what if it's an old dude but not an ugly guy non-relationship cheating how does that mean ntr you wear wait you stream for hours wearing jeans yeah plus 30 oh no my guy lights are all plus 15 i have one plus 30 all the rest are plus plus or one's plus 30 one's plus all the rest are 15. sweats over jeans all day all right guys do you want the real reason i don't wear jeans do you do you want the real reason and if you say yes you cannot judge me for saying what i'm about to say no legs that ain't it well actually that is part of it i it's better that i don't say what i'm about to say no promises Okay, I'm going to go ahead and say it just so you guys understand. You know the thing that skinny people have um, bigger thingamajigs? So when I wear anything that isn't jeans, my thing, since my legs are so skinny, it sticks out really far. You can see a outline no matter what I do. So if I go to the grocery store, there's just a huge cock outline no matter what I do. And that is why I don't do it. 
I know you guys think this is a joke, but that is seriously why I do not wear sweatpants. If I go anywhere, I can't, I can't do it. Man's glazing himself. I told you, I didn't want to have to say it, but I want you guys to understand. I do not, very unique problem. It's not even that it's that big. It's that my legs are so skinny that it makes it stick out. And it looks like I'm walking around with half boner all the time. Okay. So I'm sorry. Now you understand. Hopefully the gene problem is now, I'm not saying I have a massive thingy. I'm just saying because of my body shape and everything, it, it just doesn't work for me. Nothing I can do besides wear jeans. Like I, guys, I already have, I already have too many dates. I already have too many issues. Sometimes you gotta, you gotta protect yourself. So you have more free time. <laughs> that was a joke, but the first part is not a joke. That's actually why I wear jeans all the time. Work out your skinny legs. But, but if you work out, doesn't your thing get bigger too? If my thing gets bigger and my legs get bigger, then I have an even worse problem. What levels should autoplay be at? Level 25. You'll unlock autoplay. So where's the proof, Mr. Streamer? I could... Pr that's one thing... Okay. That's really funny you say that. That's one reason I switched to doing it because I didn't want to stream with the imprint there. Or with that, like, imprint. I didn't want to stream and have someone click it. That's why I will never wear sweatpants on stream. I didn't want someone... I didn't want to get up and, like, walk and someone clip it and, like, then have that picture all over the internet. That is legitimately why I do not wear sweatpants when then that, that was like one of the main things to switch me to wearing jeans 24 seven was because I became a streamer and I did not want that to end up happening. That's not how it works. I know I'm kidding, but that is, that is legitimately why I started doing that. I know your thing doesn't grow with exercise. That's a joke boys, but that is legitimately why I started wearing jeans all the time at home. Because if I, I never wanted to stream and end up getting up and be like, look, he has a boner. Like, no, nope, that's not how that works. But sorry to tell you. Um, but yeah, so that's my life. Hope you understand. You become famous if that happens. Stand up right now to prove I'm in jeans. I don't know if I'm a mid to end game player, but I have Stenny now and I'm considering taking Stenny from Headhunt. Oh, you don't have Stenny. Yes, taking Stenny from Headhunt's always good. Can you show me where you get the free 70 health set? I can't seem to find it. Yeah. Free 70 health set's going to be from here. You're going to go down. You're going to go to your Hunt Expert Challenge. You should have cleared the first part. You'll be in where it has the five different, six different things you can do. If you click Adventure, you get it for buying an Epic Catalyst two times. So with Unrecorded History, you buy two Epic Catalysts. So. This, once you buy two, you get the set, and it's a full HP set. You're going to end up getting three of these for doing each of the challenges. Should I do Automaton Tower? Use all energy on record history? You, you can do Automaton Tower. Does Penetration Set work in Rift? Um, No. Pen, pen Set does not work in Rift. In order for streamer to get bon bonus for Twitch Primes? I... Okay, let's move the conversation. But now, any of you guys... That's probably not something you would normally think about, but I wanted you to know the real reason as to why I do this. I'm not some weirdo that's just wearing jeans all the time, because I actually think it's super comfortable. I don't think it's the most comfortable thing in the world. I don't mind it because I've been doing it for so long, but that is the underlying reason as to why I do what I do. Everyone in life has their own problems. All right, I'm sure you guys have some weird problems too. We're sponsored by Levi. Actually, we've been sponsored by American Eagle a lot, which is cool. Do you sleep in your jeans? Sometimes I do just because I forget that I'm wearing them. But not always. A lot of I have I wear robes a lot. So I I got a robe last year, and I will tell you if you're not a robe person right now, get a robe and try it. You can get them for like $30, $20. They are game changers. You get out of the shower, put a robe on, holy moly. Your life is just, is your, uh, is your cock imprint triple S or just B? Um, ask your mom, your mom, your mom will give a better answer than me for that. Actually. I don't, I don't know. <laughs> Jokes aside, it is the hardest, especially mind your own business. You're going to say you're and wait, 
well, yeah, you're gonna say you're an offender. That's also a thing. Imagine I'm wearing sweatpants and I go to next to a school. It's over. Like now, dude, my entire life's over from that moment. I can't. They're they're gonna think something that isn't happening. Like too far my mom died three years ago how can i contact her have you not heard of ouija boards ouija boards are a very nice thing for contacting dead ones or demons you never know what you're gonna get but yeah no there trust me this is a very unique weird problem that i've had for since i was like 17. someone pointed it out to me when i was in high school and i started realizing and i was like okay I should probably fix this. Fuck is a Luigi board. So you know Mario. So you know Mario and and he like kidnapped Princess Peach, right? You know the whole story with Mario. When Mario's going to save Princess Peach, he ends up ripping off Bowser's tail when he's like spinning him around to throw him, okay? So the tail ends up coming off at some point. Then we actually find out that Luigi really likes um, uh, dinosaur tails. So with Luigi liking dinosaur tails, they set up a trade to where Mario traded Bowser's tail and Luigi, because he went to like the Luigi Mansion ghost things all the time, like Luigi Mansion had all those ghosts, he actually found a board that you can contact the dead in there. So then Luigi named the board after himself because he's a narcissistic asshole. But he's like, I will trade you this board in trade for the dinosaur tail so i can have good dinner tonight and that is how or what a luigi board is you cannot tell me that was the best um what is it called improv improv answer to that question i think that was actually quite genius i don't know how i thought about the luigi's mansion ghost thing but Damn, I'm proud of myself on that one. I know to the, a lot of you are like, what the fuck is he talking about? But in my head, I'm a genius right now. I'll save Prophetic Candlestick. We sell all the other arties. Or oh, you're trying to hint the fact that you want to fuck Linky Kong. I don't even know who Linky Kong is. Who is Linky Kong? 68 powder? Sheesh. Sign me up. Oh no, he's regarded. <laughs> uh, that was pretty good though. I'm proud of that one. Oh, I already beat this. Whoops, get me out. I didn't realize I already beat that. Luigi's uh, mansion board bestseller. Yeah. Like, I'm. I've been trying to. When someone says something, I try to think of as many things that I can create a story out of it ever. And I think that was like one of the best things I've ever done. For that i'm very proud on that one as a woman women something similar to that would be camel toe i hate leggings because that yes i know girls struggle with that sometimes too so you have to not wear certain things as well but the the main the main underlying issue is just because my like i'm just skinny and i'm skinny and super tall so it's just the way it goes but i did oh no he's regarded Maybe dead relatives that became demons? Win-win scenario? I don't know if that's a win-win. You could have gotten so many more girlfriends if you didn't fix it. I've never had a lack of... Guys... Well, currently I have a lack of... Having a girlfriend all the time is a bad thing if it's not the right one. You are aware of that, right? I'm really good at picking terrible people for relationships. Really good at it. How do, can I talk to girlfriends more confidently? Or girls more confidently treat them as a dude if you legit go to on a date with a girl and you just talk to them like a dude like i'm really bad at talking to people that are like friends with the people that i know so like there's a girl that i like like i like my roommate's sister so i like my roommate's sister and i my brain shuts down when i'm around her like she is like the prettiest person in my mind i've ever seen but when I'm around her for some reason, because I know anything I say is going to get, if I say anything too stupid, it's going to get like relayed to them. And I still find the way to say the dumbest things possible. But like I try 
to or that's the only case is when they know the people around that's when i struggle but if i'm talking to someone i've never met before you literally just treat them like a dude you just they're they're the homie like you're just going out to lunch or dinner for the first time when it's somebody that just treat them like it's your best friend that's all you have to do and that's it's over like if it's like i don't know how else to describe it once you do that they you're gonna come off as confident because just they're just a person they're just another person they're just probably into a lot of the same stuff you are give them some apex call outs and they're gonna be like damn i didn't know you had aim assist and then you're good to go When my guy first met me, we were in the airport and ran screaming at me. I was just like, nope, and turned away. Oh boy. So in short, date your homies? Like, yeah. Or just treat, like the thing, most people are into the same stuff or know about the same culture you love and things. So like we've been talking about uh, like the Elon Musk thing that happened or whatever like culture you love and stuff is. Like anything that you find funny, bring it up and they've probably seen it. If they haven't seen it, tell them about it. They'll look it up later, laugh at it, bang. like. Super easy. Now, all the time, will it not work? Yeah, obviously. But just if you just go, I mean, the biggest thing is just go on a bunch of dates and fail miserably. I think that's the best thing. Just find a way to weasel your way into some dates. Your first couple will go terrible, but you're never going to see that person again. So, like, if it goes bad, you don't really care. That's how you got to look at it. Those people are going to forget you and... They're going to forget most things about you very quickly. So. Why does Rav have so many of those little music things come out when Stenny says her foot line? Because Staz, I mean, because Raz loves feet. What if she makes fun of you on Twitter? Then sue her. I don't know. Don't use Twitter? I don't know. She makes fun of you on Twitter? Did you say you have a BBC? A big black cat? Yeah, I do have a big black cat. He weighs 25 pounds. My cat is big chonkus. Just dropped some 2015 pickup lines. I think, so different people have different cringe levels, okay? Like, some people have a tolerance for cringe and they love it. Like, if you say some of the cheesiest things in the universe that are so stupid in your mind, some people like that. And it's very hard to find out what a person's cringe level is. I think that is an underrated thing that no one talks about. Because if someone says some corny pickup line to me, like I, in my mind, I'm just like, what is wrong with you? But no, I don't actually think that, but I'm like, do you actually think this is funny? Like, I, it's like, I think about them differently. Like my, per my perspective of that person changes because of my, my cringe tolerance level. But like, I hate that I have that. If you don't have a cringe tire, like nothing makes you cringe, then you're living a superpower. But there are some things that I'm just like, why? Why are you, why is that actually funny to you? Like my last girlfriend said a couple of things or like reacted to certain things that I was like, you are like when you're on Facebook and you get those like motivational thingies and read them, it's like, no shit. That's like common sense. Do you not think about that when you normally think about whatever situation? It's I, I hate that I have that like wall up it's i guess it's like an ego thing and i wish i didn't have it but once you find what the other person's level of that is it also helps a lot because you can be corny as hell and you know they don't care but it depends on how cringe you're willing to allow yourself to be too i'm depressed so i don't feel anything see that would be a, that would be a superpower I don't understand about the five-star headhunting event. So the five-star headhunting event, you can pick almost any ML5 character in the game. You need to play the game for uh, 20 days and use 800 points for 20 days in a row. And then once you do that, you are able to get the character. So well, it makes sense. Just keep playing and keep using 800 points every every day. Do I miss RTA? Uh, I mean, I, I still play RTA every day at the end of my streams. Usually I end the YouTube stream and we play like an hour of RTA. I actually have a... Um, what is it? I have a um, tournament coming up. I have a tournament coming up for draft mode. So I've been doing like draft mode lobbies at the end of every stream. I end the YouTube stream and then we play it. Please play Unwelcome School on YouTube. I have to listen to uncopyrighted music, so I don't know what that is, but 
on YouTube is very picky about the music you listen to, and it sucks. So we are currently listening to uncopyrighted music, and that is in the form of Nikki playlist. So I apologize, but that's that's all we got, boys. It's not copyrighted. Well, I'm gonna have to go listen to whatever that is, then find a song after. When I could just click this video, and now we don't have to worry about music music for an hour, fifty three minutes, and ten seconds. Hey buddy, what should I pick for Abyss 90? I do not know. I'd have to go look at it. I'm going to be making that video. I know I promised the video yesterday. I didn't even finish the new player guide because I had to. I didn't, wasn't happy with it and I had to redo it. I'm going to have those videos up soon. I use the same team through all of Abyss though. I use Croza, Tamarin. It was Croza, Tamarin, Spec 10A, and like Shu for almost all of Abyss. I maybe changed one character. What's my type? Oh god, we got... To is it Toji? Isn't it Toji the one that asked that and beats up Megami? Are you going to beat me up if I don't answer properly? I've been obsessed with Jujutsu Kaisen, by the way. I know I just say this every day, but Jujutsu Kaisen, it's Toto, not Toji. Okay, well, Toto. But, oh my god, I, I, I think it's my favorite show of all time. It, it, oh, I, I can't spoil anything, but there's like every day there's something else that comes out about it that's so good. So good. Would make you sweet, tender, rough to kick her at V3? Wait, what happened to kick her at V2? I wasn't done with him yet. But you've not seen Freyren? I have not. But dude, I love all anime. Like, I, I'm not even, I never am going to compare one anime to another. They're, they're complete own things. Like, saying that this show isn't as good as the show, I don't give a fuck. I do not care if X show is better than the other show. If I'm enjoying a certain show, I'm going to enjoy it to its fullest, then I'll go watch the next show and enjoy it to its fullest. I don't need to compare two shows together. It's like, I don't know. I don't I don't understand that. When Especially when the storyline is completely different. They're not even like the same genre, essentially. Like, why are you comparing two shows? You're just comparing two animes. I watch like 100 anime a year. I don't care. If the show is above average, I'm happy. But I am going to watch Fairy and I've heard really good things about it. But because Frarian is good, or however you say it, does not mean Jujutsu Kaisen is any worse. Another show being better does not mean another show is worse. It means that show is still the same while you still think the other show is better. But either way, I am in love with Jujutsu Kaisen right now. Okay, but you asked what my type of girl is. I really only care about their face. Like, there's... The face is the only thing I care about. I mean, personality, whatever. I, I want them to be a, a cool, genuine, nice, not evil person. But in terms of, like, big butt, big boobs, big anything else, I just care about the face. Stop capping. That's all I care about. When I wake up, there was a moment last year that I woke up next to... Um, I fell asleep on the couch, and I woke up, and the first thing I saw was the girl I was talking about earlier's face that I think is, like, the prettiest girl in the world. That moment, there's a feeling I got that I probably will never get the rest of my life. Like, that feeling, I don't know what it was, but I was just like, what in the world? This is not real life. I was just like, it was the best feeling in the universe. And I probably will never get to experience it again, but to me, someone with a, like, seeing a face that you think is, like, perfection, is there's probably nothing that's going to compare to that. All you guys are like horn dogs in chat and all you care about is boobs, butt, whatever. Like, you gotta appreciate like beautiful things, dude. Like, there are certain things that are just beautiful. It doesn't have to be sexual, but you can just see it and you're like, holy cow, this person is like a work of art. My dude, you are in love, love. I, I'm not in love with them as a person. I'm in love with what they are i don't know how to describe it like i have no like feelings toward how they are as a person but like in i don't know how to describe it but they are they are um they I basically should put it as they made me like interested in dating again even though they were not going to be the one for me it made me it's, it's like it's basically like i'm trying to find the one piece now it doesn't exist it's not out there but i'm, I'm just aimlessly searching the ocean for something that I'm never going to find. I just care about if my mans will have a nice beard. 
I care about face and boobs. <laughs> okay, don't get me wrong. I still like boobs, okay? But no, that's my One Piece is real though, is it? I thought the One Piece was the friends you made along the way. Aren't you in a relationship already? No, I uh, that relationship ended a couple months ago. You just need your cat, dude. My the cat is a it's actually a um, like a negative thing because it limits it limits your pool of people that you can tits or ass. Important question. I like boobs. One piece creator confirmed. One piece is an actual tangible thing. Isn't friendship tangible? Yo, what's up, my Maya? Maya, welcome out. All I care about is money. Okay, understandable. I love my cats. They mean the world. I love my cat too. But I know, like that person, for example, would I be able to actually date them? Because they hate cats. So that immediately makes it to where there's probably never going to be a chance there, because they're going to try to make me get rid of my cat, and my cat will always be number one in my life. So. There's not a single person in the world that would make me get rid of my cat. They hate cats. I don't know. There's some people out there that don't like cats. So like that right there, like there's not like as much as I think that person is like the prettiest person in the world. I still wouldn't. I wouldn't give up my cat for it. I couldn't do it. I will, I'll, I'll sacrifice a lifetime of happiness for 10, 10 years of giving my cat the best life he could ever have. Same. I like commitment. I committed to my cat first. Sorry. Exactly. I am a big commitment guy. If I commit to somebody in a relationship, I will not even like talk to anybody else. If they, if I find someone that like, I feel like they're flirting with me, I will drop the conversation immediately. If they want to talk about whatever random stuff, but the minute it gets like any flirty at all, I will never text them again. If I am in a relationship, that is what I'm in. And that is same as my cat. If I have my cat. We're done. I've kicked a girl out for kicking my cat. Oh my god, if somebody kicked my cat, I would I press charges on them. I would get them an anal abuse charge. If I had a if I had a girl kick my cat, I would I would call the police and I guess it might be hard to prove it. But if they kicked it hard enough, I'd take my cat to the vet to look for bruising on it to prove that. And I would I would spend I'd spend five grand to get them anal abuse charges. Like I would I if you if you did something to my cat, dude, no. I don't care who you are. I, I don't want just a restraining order against them. I want them to have a crime on their on their record. I want them to when they try to get a job, they see the, the employer will see that they abused an animal. Like and the animal they abused was the number one animal in my life. Like I I want the rest of their life to have a little bit more like normally I'm not spiteful, but if you hurt something or somebody that I like, then yes, I'm going to be spiteful. Like if you were to kick me, I'd just be like, okay, whatever. Punch me in the face. Be like, okay, you know, it'll heal. I'll go back to whatever. But if you hurt like something I care about, hell no. That's when I get like vindictive or whatever the word is. Because if they if they go to college and go to apply for a certain job and they look up their criminal record and see an anal abuse charge, they are not getting most jobs. I accomplished a lot out of spite. Spite is one of the best motivators. Like. I, that's one very true thing. I got Tamarin. Does her side story go away after a week? Yes. So wait, you already got Tamarin. Oh wait, no. Her side story goes away whenever you start the next side story. So you can leave that side story up for kind of as long as you want, but it'll go away once you start a new one. I like your skinny legs, all three of them. <laughs> Runs away with Riz. That might be the best comment of the day. Runs away with Riz. I think the hate on cats is just uneducated people. Cats can be just as loyal, loving, smart as dogs, and just as dumb too. Some people just don't like animals and find them gross. And I understand that. Like, my cat takes a shit, and then he gets out of his shit box with shitty paws because he tried to push it or, like, tried to cover it up, and he got poop on his paws, and then he's jumping on stuff. Like, some people are, like, extremely grossed out by that. And I understand. I can get that. Like my cat is extremely clean and have never had a poop incident with them, but some people have poop incidents with their cats where they get it on their paws and end up smearing it around the house. So I can see it as like a cleanly thing. And, but the thing is I love my cat so much. He could have the biggest poop like hanging out of him. He could poop on me and I wouldn't even be mad at him. I'd be frustrated, but I would, it, it would be okay. I'd understand.
Like, I like any animal. Any animal is that's cool. Wait, do I have to be both bosses? I already beat this, right? My cat threw it for the first time last night. My cat throws up all the time. Wait, how do I get to chat area four? Oh, I didn't go out the right portal. I'm so bad at this game. I just realized I didn't go out the right portal. I see my mistake. So guys, whenever you're going through Labyrinth, you need to make sure the portal you leave out of is the portal that says the next area. Oh, what if your cat kills someone? You would be mad. Dude, my cat can't kill anyone except a newborn baby. And it would struggle to do that. Well, that sucks. Okay, whatever. We'll beat the other boss. Except kept telling me to get rid of all my cats out of my first because you got used to going cleaning after him. I can say some cats are better than others, just some are straight up assholes. Yes, yeah, some cats are just straight up assholes, but usually, usually cats are straight up assholes, but they have their one person. It's like my cat is not the same to everybody else than me. My cat treats me like, well, he gives me, my cat shows me respect, which is kind of hard to get cats to do, but, or some cats to do, but my, my cat shows me respect. Like if I tell him no, he knows to stop doing what he's doing. If I snap my fingers, he immediately stops whatever he's doing. Um, well, he goes and does it again five minutes later, but he, he knows he's in trouble, but he shows me respect. He won't, he will not scratch my face. He scratched my face when he was little and I like booped him in the head, just gave him a little tap on the head and he hates that. Like don't, not hitting him, but just like letting him know that that's no good. And ever since then, he, he, no matter what I do, I shove my face right into his stomach and he'll just be screaming. And then I take my face away. He will never smack my face, but he'll scratch my, or like he'll attack my arms, not like mean, but like playing, but he will never put his paws on my face. Cause he knows that that can hurt people, I guess, or just is scared to do it, which is good. It's normal cats. It, they'll just out of nowhere just scratch your face. My cat's seven, and he did it one time as a kitten. Never again. What the fuck? I'm calling Peta. You, you cannot give the little the little two finger boop on the head. The monkey paw curls. Your cat shits in your mouth. Okay. I don't know what you're saying there. You're going a little too far with whatever in the world you're saying. Ever showed your cat on stream? Yeah, I mean, he's in like all my YouTube videos too. The official Epic 7 stream, my cat is in any tournament I've ever played in. My cat's like a big part of the tournaments because he's always on the camera when we're playing the tournament. But yeah, I, sh I show my cat all the time. Oh, I'm, see, and my cat knows what I'm talking about him too. If I, he knows, he knows he's a cat. He knows his name, but he just showed up here. You guys want to see him? He's going to try to hop up on me. Buddy. Oh, he's, he's so cute. Okay, you guys ready? Cat reveal. Oh. Hi. Look up. Oh my. <laughs> he's so tired. <laughs> Bro is not impressed. <laughs> he just heard me saying the word cat, and he's like, "All right, I gotta go see what." Gotta go see what's going on out there. He might be giving me food. But okay, yeah, he's so cute. He weighs 25 pounds though. He's not that fat either. <laughs> You're struggling, dude. Oh. Wait, wrong one. Bro's majestic? Yes, he is. Now you guys see why I'm so obsessed with my cat? Again, like I say, I appreciate beautiful things. My cat is one of those things. He is so handsome. Hey, did I just got back to and ML Summon? Yeah, you can change your Moonlight Blessing to Moonlight Ken now. Moonlight Ken is very, very good. That's actually super lucky and congrats that you got that. Now you have two insane tier characters to start your account with. Add him to the bathtub stream. If I put my cat in the bathtub, that's the only time he might murder me. He might kill me at that point. Yo, Slack Jr., what is that? Uber. I got Tamarind to just do it. Yeah, I read that. Why Anger Rager best motivators? What about... 
Like, okay, what's the what's the emotion like? So we were talking about this yesterday. When you get out of a relationship, and you like try to better yourself, what is that? Is that spite? I guess that might be spite. You want to like become the best version of yourself out of spite? I guess that's probably spite. Where was the abyss recommended team section? Is there one in the game that shows? Yes, there's one in the game. You can go to. I think it says recommendation on it. It's not motivation. It's what what is the best motivating like emotions? Or trying to what I'm trying to say like what what emotions like give you the most motivation to get stuff done I'm going to leave the correct way this time trust me uh I want to use up all my morale at least so we'll go over here depression so hope for the future I don't think those are strong motivators because if if depression and hope for the future were strong motivators people who are depressed could use hope to get out of depression so I don't think hope is like that great I think you have to have some underlying thing to help you push to the, the level. If hope was that easy, we'd have a lot less depressed people. Next stage is showcase your progressing like how units are built right now. Yeah, I mean, I could, yeah. Anger, I think anger is the best. Like any any of the anger, anger slash things, I think those are insane motivation. Maybe, but I be, uh, I was becoming an angry person because of being with an angry person and leaving was the best thing for me. That is one thing, is I was in a living situation with someone who would get angry often. And ever since I haven't been in a living situation, my life has been just flatlined. Like, other than the relationship, like, my life has just been, like, there's no drama, there's no stress, really. Like, the only stress I had was because of that relationship, but other than that, like, Getting yourself out of a spot where there's something causing you some stress, it your life is just easy sailing. So uh, that that was a game changer for me over the last little bit. Like the last year, look how much I've accomplished in the last year as a content creator. Like because I don't have like the, I just have a consistent life. And surrounding yourself with motivated people is also the second best thing you can do with, with your life. So. Like I live with two doctors right now who are always doing stuff, whether it's work, whether it's like their extracurricular stuff, like they have a band, any of that stuff, it's insane. Like then seeing them always doing more and being just around people who are just always, always doing stuff motivates you to be like, I didn't do anything today. I should probably go get, go get some stuff done. Like I, it makes me not want to take any days off. And like, especially like if you have other content creator friends who are also grinding, like it helps a lot too. Just surrounding yourself in your regular life and your online life with people who are, even if it comes down to like Epic Seven or like the people you meet through that, like what they're doing in life, it helps so much. I note, send photo of cat, all the pet channels, so you can put a face, put a face to my giant loaf. Wait, you want to see if your cat attacks my cat? I have Abigail, um, pick the artifact Abigail or pick Landy, pick Landy. Wait, I have Abigail pick the artifact or pick Landy? I would pick Landy. Do you... What were your three characters for that? But I'm not saying pick Landy artifact. I'm saying pick Landy. But you are saying you already had Landy, didn't you? As someone who's in the military for six years, you need people around you who are the positive to move forward in life. Negative energy makes it stagnant and you give up on wanting to do better. Exactly. I was in that spot for so long. I kept getting so close to doing good and then it would spiral down. You have a uh, make a pet channel Discord? I have one. There is a... It's all the pets. It's in Discord. There's like like a thousand pet pictures in that discord channel as someone clinically uh diagnosed with depression for a point yeah. if, if hope was an easy way out of depression there'd be a lot less depressed people but the problem is when you're depressed you can't even really get that angry a lot of the time it's i mean some people maybe it's different but it's like when you're truly depressed you don't care enough about anything to actually get angry like you're maybe you're upset but you're not truly angry but maybe I'm wrong. Maybe other people have a different thing. But I feel I feel like depression just it lowers how you feel on everything. But it makes but you're all I don't know. I don't know how to put what I'm trying to say. Like I've never been diagnosed with depression. I'm pretty sure there was a long period where I was, but I've never been diagnosed with this, so I shouldn't speak on it. Let's just put it that way. Let's just let's just move on from that. <laughs> whatever I'm trying to say there. Play it safe here. I don't want to. I don't want to step on anyone's toes. Because if you are actually depressed, I don't, and you've been like um, actually diagnosed with it, I don't want to say anything that's gonna make you feel bad. So, I don't know if I actually was. 
when I was in my worst, the only thing I felt was anger at myself. Yeah, it's, I guess that's kind of what I was trying to say is that like, it's hard to feel angry at other people. You, like a lot of it's going to be anger towards yourself and the decisions you made that helped you get to that spot. If you even know what it is that caused you to get there. Some people just don't know why they're in that position too. So I don't know. Um, I invited us ADHD. My hobby is like anxiety, depression, but it can be rough. I try to be happy go lucky yeah i mean you can't be happy go lucky all the time it's just whenever you have a consistent negative person or someone who isn't trying to really do anything extra with their life like even if it's just a hobby picking up a hobby but if you surround yourself with people that all they do is go to work come home watch tv even getting into a game getting like really into a game like epic seven you're still doing something it gives you something like motivating to talk about and like you have motivation towards something it's like when you watch people that lost all motivation for everything like they don't really want to get into a game they just play the same game for five years they're not trying to accomplish anything they're just doing it to waste their day until they go to work again that is so hard to be around and sometimes they can't help it i mean it sucks and they can't help it but if it's hurting your overall life then you have to make decisions best for you and get out of that situation Yo, G Foxy, thanks for follow. I've been on Paxo for years, so it makes me almost impossible to feel anger. Okay, so maybe maybe what I'm saying does hold value, but I didn't want to say a general statement and have people who are depressed and also suffer from like being angry a lot. But I, I I just don't want to I don't want to say something that was not anywhere near correct. So I just will just stop it at that point. All right, I'm going to go hide again. You saw my cat. I will be back. I'm going to eat some donuts, actually. I said 7 o'clock for donuts. It's now 9 o'clock, so I'm two hours late on eating. All right, so we go ahead and... Oh, no, we didn't make it there. Can we beat this? I think this is the one that sucks. I think I die. Mm, maybe I don't die. Oh, you want to see the progression of my account? I will I will show you what everything looks like. I'm sorry. I didn't go do that. Kiki Rat? Oh my god, it's Kiki Rat. Charmander is wet in chat right now. Get water too? Well, I'm, I'm going to drink some milk with my donuts. I have I always have water bottles next to my desk. All right. We have souls. I'm going to manual this because I do not want to fail this. Okay, good. All right, so I'm going to S3 Giga Chat here. I feel so lazy today. It's so, it's good to take lazy days. Okay, don't get me wrong when I was saying, like, talking about people not being motivated. But you definitely need lazy days. So if, you're, if you haven't taken a lazy day in a while, take a lazy day. Weekends are for being lazy, exactly. Well, okay, one day, I, I won't say all weekends are for being lazy. Like, maybe Friday afternoon and Sunday. But I really think if you take the whole, we re or whole weekend to be lazy, you're going to fall behind in life. If you're not already established. Like, if I could go back and, and utilize all my Saturdays for more, like, I would be in such a better spot. I think you should take the should take Saturdays or whatever if you have two days off. You should take one of those days to start pursuing a hobby or something that you really like and don't be lazy on that day the other days be lazy whether it's learning a new skill something that you always want to learn um like anime figure painting uh, getting a 3d printer making things like just something that you find enjoyable it could be anything writing some people like writing i don't know but i really think that's weekend hobby and sports day uh weekend is hobby and sports day yes hobby but I, if you don't have a hobby and you spend your whole weekend watching sports, I don't like, I, I think that over time is going to eat away at you. Because that's what I did for a long time. I legit watched anime every weekend for like five years. I would get off work. I'd watch anime from start, start until I went back to, went back to work. It was really bad. All right, let me show characters. You want to see characters? But you need a hobby. Don't just like anime can be a hobby, but do something like learn something. If you're going to watch anime, start an anime podcast or write about anime. Do something with it. You don't have to make money from it, but like do something. 
My goal is to get back into glass blowing. Glass blowing's sick. I wanna make some E7 stuff, IRL with energy, lease some runes. Ooh, dude. Making, um, I mean, the energy thing would be pretty cool. It's just a chess piece though, isn't it? The energy thing's just a knight from uh, like a chess board. But the runes could be cool. The runes, dude, a glass rune would be sick, actually. Should I put a returning player counter set on shoe? Yes. I got Tamarin for five star ticket. Do I pick Destiny for selective summon? Yes, they're completely different characters. We are Tamarin. We're still getting Tamarin, even though we have Destina. Like, Destina is for PvP. If you're watching the guide, can I see your Wyvern team? We're working on the Wyvern team right now. This is what I'm going to be using for this guide. You, you, There are better characters. If you have any Knight, like Croza, Tywin, Blue Crow, any of those are better than Angelica, but we're using Angelica for the guide just in case people don't have those Knights. Angelica, everyone can have. If you have any of those characters, it's better. Also, Alexa should be traded out for Mui. If you have Mui, the three-star uh, assassin, Mui is better than Alexa. Now, Furious, you can use Terranor Guard instead of Furious, but because you're going to be building Terranor Guard anyway, but by building Furious, your team's going to be way more consistent. So in this guide series, I'm just going to show Furious from the get-go, just so, honestly, the F7 official Discord stops complaining. They think that building your Wyvern team is actually an important, like, the things you use. You add time to resub. Wait, Holmes, you already subbed. What do you mean? Oh, wait, you have to refresh the stream and click share. Just share your sub. But thank you for resubbing. But yeah, this is the Wyvern team. I don't have the gear yet. We're working. That is what we're working on today. Day five is clearing Wyvern. So if you want to see what my characters look like, though, here you go. There it is. But Holmes, thank you for using your prime. just resubscribed for two months. There we go. Much better XD. I can feel the pain. Hold on. Uh, I can feel the pain of that team. I still don't have a tank from Wyvern team, nor did I pull it. Yeah, that's why I'm doing it this way. So those of you guys that didn't get it can see me suffer through doing it and not feel too bad. I haven't watched anime in so long recently. Binge you, dude, you is really good, Lulu. Uh, kids make any uh, make watching anything but Bluey impossible. That's I want kids, but I know kids take a, a lot away from uh, your peaceful time, but they add so much to your life. But I, I mean, the main reason I want kids is because my parents. I I know they, my parents would be probably very happy to have a grandkid in their life before they're too old. But I also don't want to rush having a kid when. There's still so much I want to do in life without having to take a kid around with me. So, and I don't want to like it, neglect the kid trying to do the things that I want to do. It's just hard to find a balance as to when to do that. Cause I'm 29. So I'm getting close to a point where I think by like 35 was probably like the cutoff is for me as to when to have one. Like, I mean, you always have one later, but I think, I think 35 is like my, is winking a hobby. I mean, you should be doing that all week anyway. The best scene is on the free gear that you get from Hunt Challenge, and then Raz is just on free gear that's not upgraded literally at all. <laughs> You're always going to be busy. More important thing is making sure the kids, or you have kids with the one, yeah, so that way you have a partner that'll actually do the kids with you. I feel, uh, are we running Mui? We actually have not pulled a Mui. So even if I pull Mui from this point, I'm not going to use them until I show how to beat it with Alexa. But no matter what, we're going to be swapping Alexa for Mui once you end up getting lucky and pulling him. So it is going to be Mui and Alexa spot eventually. If you get Mui early, skip building Alexa. But I'm showing Alexa for those people that are like me. Because last time in the guide, most people got Mui, but there's some. When is your birthday, if you don't mind me asking? And do you do uh, stuff on stream to celebrate? Yeah. My birthday just happened. Well, it was August, so four months ago. Yeah, my birthday's in August. And like stuff on stream to celebrate. Um, like I usually just stream. I don't know if we really celebrate. Last August, I don't know if I streamed last August. I was making the new player guide last August. I'm pretty sure. No, I wasn't making the player guide yet. Was I? No, I was doing the challenge, the 30 day account challenge. Can you welcome me in the jungle, XQCL? No. Someone in chat rolled ML Ken, did they? I didn't see it. Okay, this is the one super, uh, whatever song. You were, yeah, it was in August. August is when I was doing it because I had, uh, uh, Lulukar. Uh, green Lulika. 
think day eight or, eight or nine in the new player guide you mentioned it was delayed because your birthday was the day before. Okay, maybe I was doing the guide. That makes sense. But yeah. I don't know. My like I got out of the relationship right before my birthday last year. So I was like I was in a terrible spot mentally, so I probably didn't want to do a whole lot on stream. I just wanted to stream so I had everybody and then I I know I just stayed in and, and played the new player account. Because I was um, trying to crank out the guide series for everybody. Keeping myself distracted. I got invited out to a concert that day, but I, I decided not to go. Okay, so what is next? Yo, just hit Masters, Pog, congrats. Wait, Masters Arena or RTA? Um, we have to do Wyvern 8 so many times. 8 or higher 10 times. I could move my gear and just do that real quick. Or actually, let's level up this gear. We're going to need to level it up anyway. Let's level this up plus 9. Or instead of leveling up Wyvern stuff today, I should have, shouldn't have did that. Instead of, oh wait, we've already upgraded boots though. Instead of leveling up Wyvern stuff today, let's try to clear all of story. So let's level up our, um, this gear. But uh, I don't want to level that to plus 15 because you don't get the challenge stuff for it. I want to do these to plus 15 first. Let's, let's just do Stanny to plus 15 first. Will you stream another game in the future? Yeah, eventually. Right now it's going to be all Epic 7 though as we're trying to complete the uh, new player guide. I used all of it there. Did I have any of these left? I have one, one powder. Noise. How many of these? And plus 15 this. This isn't the best piece of plus 15, but I want to do... Yeah, that was weird. Okay, I want to get the uh, challenges done for upgrading X amount of things plus 15. The problem is... I guess these are what I'll upgrade to plus 15 first. Just feed everything into here. Have you tried Star Rail? Yeah, I actually have a pretty pretty good Star Rail account. I just I haven't been playing it very good. Arena, not so pog. I mean, Masters Arena is still good. It's a good good showcase or uh, uh, whatever point. Okay, so hmm, let's not do Wyvern yet. Raz. Like, this is a point where I kind of need to just farm unrecorded history, isn't it? It's funny how my arena defense has a 50 run rate because people don't expect 260 Lethe with an MO raw on it. Wait, that's hilarious. Okay. So we were working on hunt challenge. Did we not complete any hunt challenge stuff? We haven't. So we want epic spirit blooms. Let's look at epic spirit blooms real quick. How many can we make? Oh, we can make quite a bit. Okay, we can do a ton. Yeah, there's 10 epic spirit blooms. It's big. So that'll give us the attack set, right? Yep, there we go. The attack set is good. But yeah, we need to farm a ton of unrecorded history. Okay, so we got that attack set. I can't level it up at all right now, but we can go ahead and claim it. Uh, I guess I'll go back to clearing this. Yeah, let's go back to doing more um, of those. So I will lock the attack set though, so I don't forget about it. Actually, let's sell all this stuff too. Let's do a little inventory management. Like yesterday I only streamed for two hours, so there wasn't like much on the stream. So I kind of wanted to go for a little bit longer today to get as much of this done as possible. And I also saw that those the live streams were actually getting a good amount of views from people following along. So I want to make sure if people are playing that they have like a decent amount of guide to watch to follow along. I hit Masters RTA right now using 270 Lua. I thought it was 1500 to get Masters. You know, 1600? Yeah. Yep. I, it's always been 1600, but they changed like the higher ones. I think it's like 1900 for Challenger now. And then it's... uh. Wait, the gear I leveled up on Stenny is 275, right? Oh, actually, do some Olegors too. This will be really big for damage. And the stream is more fun. What do you mean the stream is more fun? Is the stream more fun? 
Yesterday's stream was popping though. Was it actually no? Yesterday's stream was pretty, pretty, pretty snooze. I didn't do a whole lot. How's the Black Clover game? Any of you guys try that? Huh, do the Golem or the Banshee next? Uh, Banshee, Banshee is easier. Banshee is easier, but I, I push everyone to do Golem first just to get it done, because you finish Golem, it's hard, and then you go and do Banshee, and it's easy. So, I enjoy the conversations though today. Combos though. Well, I appreciate it. What all we talk about today? Just dating? <laughs> now the lizard stream was popping. Dude, that lizard stream, I wish never happened. All right, let's just go back and do some more labyrinth. But while we're doing labyrinth, let's farm a little unrecord history. That's what we'll do. Oh, actually, we could farm a little bit of tamarin because I can get a couple of uh, bookmarks from this. So let's go and slap this on auto. I think I'm just going to farm the lowest stage of this. It's fine. Yeah, let's just farm the lowest stage. It'll be fast. And then set so this 15, and we'll go do some lab while that's going. Black Clover is okay. Can you see it like lasting long term or not? I would say you need to try it for yourself. Okay. I don't I don't know if I'll have the time to even try it, sadly. You got S10. Wait, so I'm two weeks in the game. I kind of not bad. I could have been more efficient. Would you recommend starting a new one? Or what do you do better? Stay with this one? Just depends on like looking at your account in comparison to uh, like the guide account. And just, I mean, if you follow the guide account, you're going to be at the same point I am. So if you feel like your account could be better to restart. I always tell people this. I started Epic 7 and played for two months and then I made a new account. And within two weeks, my account was insanely better than my two month account. So if you feel like your account could be better, then you can start a new one. No reason not to, besides, unless you like spent money on the first one. I tried Black Clover uh, for a bit, but Honkai Star Rail was my main game. I played E7 on the side. Yeah, that's fair. I love Honkai Star Rail. But my problem with Honkai Star Rail right now, though, is there's no... It's just too easy. I struggle so hard with PvE gotchas because I just feel like I'm farming for no reason. Like, I don't want to log in and farm every day to build characters I already have built and make them slightly better. Like, I like I've, I've spent a decent amount on Star Rail when it first came out because I loved the game. But then over time, I'm just like, eh... I had every character for the longest time. Like, I'm only still missing three characters. Movie five star? Yeah, for uh, for Wyvern, your movie and your figures can be left at five star. You don't need to six star either of those. Not gonna last long term, yeah. Those games are usually cash grabs. Any game that is an IP IP gotcha based game, they're always cash grabs. BV Century Gotcha should always be pushing harder content, but there's no harder content. That's the problem. They need a leaderboard system. All Genshin needs instead of PvP, they need a leaderboard system. Like what can you accomplish on the leaderboard? And like, yes, if you're not paid to win, you can't compete on that leaderboard as much, but they need a leaderboard system. To where you can do a certain thing and try to score as many points as possible. That's all they need and it would make the game way more fun. Because then you're always trying to better yourself to get higher on that, that leaderboard. That's really all it would take. The only thing that stops that is the constellations. The pay to win players will always have infinite more damage on the leaderboard. COVID is why Genshin's so big. I think Genshin's so big. One, because they advertise correctly. Two... I mean, Genshin came out before COVID. Genshin came out before COVID. What do you mean? COVID wasn't a thing when Genshin came out. COVID, Co Genshin came out and COVID started. Even COVID started. COVID started the year after Genshin. So Genshin was already insanely popular before COVID. Like Genshin was the most popular video game to ever be released, basically. At that time. Mm mm. No, it came out before COVID because I played it with Cafe Kaz. Kaz wasn't around uh, for COVID. So I played it with Kaz. So that means it started before. That was like my first memories of playing Genshin Impact were with him. So it, it came out the year, like uh, like six months before COVID started at least. But Genshin, Genshin was the first of its kind to do what it was doing and it was free and the marketing team went crazy you know how much money they spent to market that game they knew they had a banger game that was unique and they fully capitalized on it like genshin the people who made genshin were geniuses 
in terms of everything. Too many features to keep track of? Okay. I'm currently grinding unrecorded history to 6 stars 10 8. After that, I'm probably going to grind hunt again to get her to 100, 220 with a bit of speed. You don't need to worry about farming for gear for Stenny. You just put her on whatever free set. If you are... Or wait, where, wait, are you not a... You weren't a new player, were you? Like, if you're a newer player, you don't need to farm Wyvern. Like, near Stenny will just work on free attack set. Came out during COVID, I know, because my school was closed at the time. That's false. I mean, you can say whatever you want. That's not true. It came out before COVID. It came out, it came out at least six months before COVID. So maybe you started the game late, but it came out in like... It came out near my birthday. So it came out about six months before COVID started. It came out about six months before COVID started. I'm a content creator. Yes, it did. You guys are just being turds. I know some of you guys are being turds in chat. Came out before COVID started. Confirmed case of COVID-19 was January 2020. Yeah, and it came out in 2019. Okay, the first confirmed cases. Oh my God. COVID, no one even knew what COVID was until... Hold on, what's Genshin really say? Guys, it was not out during that time. I will tell you right now, because I was working a regular job, wasn't I? COVID hit the US in 2020? Was COVID out during Genshin? Hold on, now I'm starting to second guess everything in my life. Was it? Okay, maybe, maybe I'm second guessing everything in my life. Genshin? What, yo, what's up, Alan? Dude, I'm starting to, I'm starting to second guess everything. COVID started in 2019? Oh, wait, was I streaming full time? I was streaming full time when COVID was already started. That's right. No, you're right. You're right. You're right. You're right. You're right. Maybe he was around. Oh, I'm so stupid. Okay. Sorry. Sorry. My bad. Guys, it's been so many years. All right. Because I, 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 okay. I lost my job to COVID and I was streaming full time. That was, that's my bad. Taking your cock imprint into account. Yes. Yeah, that's my bad. I was, I was already streaming full time because I lost my job to COVID. That's why I was even playing video games at the time. That makes a lot more sense. My bad. Tried to flex the content creator job to convince us he was right. I mean, that's okay. But it's that's the I mean, maybe you're right. Maybe it was because of COVID. COVID helped it. But no, I think they just did anything. Hubby lost his job to everyone went remote in IT world. Yeah. All right. My bad. I, I am sorry. You are 1000% right. It came out 2020 and COVID was a thing. I know. I, I know. Now that I think about it, now that I think about my life at the time, I, I get it. I was wrong. Chat is never wrong. You guys are wrong all the time. I'm so used to you guys being wrong. COVID is pretty comfy for me. You work as a trucker. <laughs> Wait, that's actually sick. Working as a trucker, there's probably way less people on the road during that time. So you're just driving around, not dealing with nearly as many drivers. Gen Genshin was a genuinely good game overall. Like Genshin, when it first released the original content, it had so much to do. Just exploring the world as a one of a kind game. But now everything's copied it and the game got old. Like they didn't they didn't update. I mean, some people still love it, but it's not as good as it used to be. I was Domino's delivery driver in COVID, so it's nice for you. Hell yeah. You just drop their stuff at the, at the door, move on. COVID appeared 2024. Yeah, it was a good game. But the thing is they just didn't do anything to spice the game up. The game has just been the same game. But for a base concept of a game, it was um, unbelievably different and amazing. Uh, Genshin is still a Breath of the Wild copy. Okay, it's a Breath of the Wild copy that's free. Okay, most people didn't buy Breath of the Wild because they didn't have a Nintendo Switch and everything else. But the thing with Genshin, you could download on your phone, you could download it on your computer, it's free. And that way everybody gets to try it and gets to experience an amazing game for free. That's crazy. Breath of the Wild is a minimum $200 or $360 investment. So yes, it might be a copy of it, but hey, they brought that awesome game of Breath of the Wild to everyone for free. Free at subpar? I mean, maybe. I I don't know. I Breath of the Wild, I never played it, so I can't compare it, but I don't care. I thought Genshin was awesome. Wait, you're, you're the person that was talking about Frarian earlier. Why do you keep comparing everything to each other? Everything in life does not have to be compared to another thing. You need to get out of that habit and your life will be so much better. I think you're the one that was comparing that earlier. 
Stop comparing everything to everything else. The moment you stop doing that, your life, you'll see life differently. It's just pretty comfy. When you start enjoying things for what they are instead of what they could have been in comparison to something else, life gets way better. What's kind of clunky now? What's the new Zelda game? Isn't it good? People try to make D4 and MMORP OE. We get these bad games comparison. Yeah. But like, I'm, I'm guilty of it too. Like, I compare new Call of Duty to old Call of Duty, but that's comparing the same game franchise to the same game franchise. Like, it's hard for me to enjoy something when I signed up for one thing and received another thing. But like if something isn't marketed as a clone of whatever, then it's I don't I don't like comparing the things. Newer CODs are legit garbage, I know. <laughs> like that is the one thing I'm guilty of. I will compare COD to oh wait, I did the wrong one. I did the wrong one, I'm so stupid. Okay. Okay, I did the wrong side memory. Whoops. But yeah, that's that's one thing I'm guilty of, but overall, once I started not comparing stuff to each other and just enjoying it for what it is my life i start enjoying everything so much more that's just small advice by like comparing trust me try it. just try it next time you start playing something and you think about comparing it to something else dude I, I don't remember who was the who was the person that like taught me this in life i think it was one of my old bosses and i don't remember what it what the context of it was but by stopping getting yourself to stop comparing whenever your brain starts doing it just just try to try to ignore it and eventually it'll stop happening and then you just start enjoying everything like i can watch any show on tv and enjoy it like i i just don't care anymore as long as it's somewhat entertaining i'm chill like yes you might watch a lot of bad shows and like be entertained by them and then people stop respecting your opinion but for me my life is so much better like, I can sit and watch the worst anime in the world, and I'm just like, oh, yeah, that's pretty good. <laughs> I'm entertained. Overpriced DLC, but for Call of Duty? Yes, I agree. Newest Call of Duty might be the worst, not even Call of Duty, but the worst game in history, in my opinion. I, I did the newest, I refunded the newest Call of Duty. That's how bad it was. Oh, uh, Tower of the Kingdoms just overpriced DLC. Tower of the Kingdom looked funny. I hope a Raz will be the effort, so I'm trying my best to unlock him. a Raz is good. Adventure Raz is... Uh, you're going to be happy you have him. He's really good for a lot of PvE. I even DLC, just a graphics update. Really? See, that's fair to compare two, two Zelda games to each other because they're the same genre. You expect one thing going in. That's fair. Newest COD campaign is literally just copy-pasted Warzone. Is it really? Like, open world. Oh, wow. What else? Literally no endgame at all besides Abyss. Oh, for Genshin, yeah. And the, they never updated Abyss, really. They just, like, slightly change it. It's, like, barely harder, even though everybody has God Gear now. Wait, I'm going to die here. I haven't played a Call of Duty campaign since I was, like, 14 years old, so... IDK, how making cars, mechs, and whatever you can think of is considered overpriced DLC? I... I from what I've seen, people loved Tower of the Kingdom. Like, it was, like, super... Last COD you played was Black Ops 2. So I was a Call of Duty, like, content creator long ago. That's, like, where my roots came from. I got partnered on Twitch for playing Pokemon. But before that, I played Call of Duty. Well, I, I played Call of Duty and Pokemon. It was when I got partnered. You love... Uh, it's your favorite game now? Yeah, I, I, think, I think the game... There's a lot of people that enjoy it. But it is fair to compare the game to the other thing, if you want to. That that comparison makes sense, because you're expecting the same quality of game, and if you're not getting it, then... That one makes sense. Which Pokemon you played? The thing I got partnered on was Pokemon Sun and Moon, but I did, like, shiny hunting, and I did some, uh... Uh, comp. I went and competed in a couple tournaments that year. $60 games is insane to me. Dude, all games, all games should be free now with microtransactions. Games always make more with microtransactions. Like, if you just make a couple good microtransactions, your game is going to do well. Uh-oh. Like, I don't see why every... Like, if Call of Duty just made a arena... Hell no. I mean, all games could be free with microtransactions. Not Nintendo games. Nintendo games couldn't really do that. But most other games definitely could. 
Man, I can't make it that far. Why did they make this one so long? All right, well, I know I can't make it that far. Let's just go ahead. Because there's a boss right here. Yeah, there's a boss right there. We can't make it that far. I quit MMOs because I just don't have time to, uh, to pay for a sub and FOMO is the worst. Yeah. E Epic 7 is like a budget MMO that you can just play on your phone and get your dailies done so you never really miss anything. Is Breathe worth getting for Character Selector on a new account for Wyvern? Yes. Breathe I means he's more than just Wyvern. He'll clear like all of this for you. Breathe is number one for that. Do you think they'll do animation updates in E7? They already do sometimes. I don't think they'll update the already existing characters, but I mean, Epic 7's animations are some of the best animations out there. I don't think they really need to. Uh... Keyword is good and that for microtransactions. I'm okay. I don't know. Some games, like if I play a game and there's something cool and it's a free game, I always buy it. Like. That's just how I am. If I enjoy a game, I will give them a little money. Even like gotchas, if they're free to play gotchas. Usually if I play a game, like if I play it for more than a day, I'll at least buy like the welcome pack and give them five bucks. Cause to me it was worth it. They're bringing out a game that I got to play for free, got some enjoyment out of, so it was worth money. And that way I can, I can pay a little bit of money. That way the people who maybe just play it and can't afford to give, it kind of balances us out. Not everyone's playing it for free, but they can still continue to deliver fun games. And like, I'm wanting to keep this free game idea alive because like Epic seven game, perfect. A game that gets updated every two weeks. You don't have to pay money, but you can. Like, I love this, this system. Now, if the game is pay to win, hell no, I'm not giving them a penny. Like if Epic seven had like skins that gave extra stats and stuff like that, no, I'd never give them a penny. But when a game design feels good, I like it. I will give them a little bit of money every month. Granted, I'm a very low spender, but because I don't pay for games anymore, then I don't mind giving them a little bit to keep a game that I love alive. Bro, has not seen FGO Nova Phantasms? Yes, I have. I played FGO. That's where I came from. FGO is my first gotcha game. Back in the day, I went a lot on BDO. I think everybody, not everybody, but a lot of people have their game that they wailed on. For me, it's sadly multiple games. I spent a lot on Fate Grand Order. I spent a decent amount on Epic Seven. Brown Dust 2 is pretty pay to win. I don't know anything about Brown Dust 2. I've heard of it. What do you think E7 needs to add to help the longevity of the game? I, for me, I think the only thing they need is a better intro player experience. Cause once you get past six months, you either enjoy the game or you don't and you either play it or you quit. So if you don't enjoy the PVP of Epic seven, you're probably going to quit the game, right? Like you're not going to keep playing Epic seven except for as a character collector. Maybe some people will do that. But if you actually are truly playing the game to its fullest and you're not into PVP. So what they need to do is make the barrier to entry to PVP better. Whether it's Guild War, RTA, whatever the PvP is, like they need to they need to give a little bit more gear sets at the beginning for free. That will help you get into that. Plus, they need to give you more right side charms. By just making the new player experience better to get to the actual content in the game faster, to where you can truly experience the game, that's what would be better for longevity of the game. But there's no like other content they could add. There's no way to make like challenging PvE in this game with the current mechanics. Like there's, I don't see any, any good PV coming out of this ever. Nikki is very pay to win. So this is an idle game. You can pay for time. Yeah. I guess sorry. gave me a rush, uh, pulling for characters, but Hey, what's up? Pucifer. Pucifer. Yeah. Thanks for the five gifted subs. How have you been? Have you been here? Have I not said hi to you? Well, welcome out guys. We are getting so many subs. Let's go. This is going to be a good month. This is going to be the month to start my next year off banger. 2024 is my year, not just for Epic 7. We'll have the 2024 Epic 7 player guide, but next year, if I can hit a like hundred thousand subs next year on YouTube somehow, I'd have to, I'd have to do more than Epic 7 though, but that would be the greatest, the greatest year. Cause I'd get like a plaque I could put on my wall and then I'd go out on dates and be like, yo, you want to come back to my place? And then I'll bring it back to my place and I'll point at the thing on the wall and be like, yeah, that's me instantly i'll be married with four kids by 2024 26 yeah we're looking up from here i definitely watch you play apex i stream apex very rarely on stream 
but sometimes, sometimes it will. I'm probably gonna, a lot of the time when I play Apex, so here's the thing with Apex. Apex is my for fun, rel kind of relax thing that I do with my friends. So that's the time I wanna be able to just not really think about streaming, just have fun with some friends. And why is Stene so into feet? I don't know. Do YouTube vids maybe of Apex? I mean, dude, I could make like 80 YouTube channels. I can make a golf YouTube channel. I can make a first person shooter YouTube channel. I already have my side channel. So the idea for my YouTube right now is my main channel. This one is just gonna stick with Epic 7. Okay, my main channel, it's about 20K subs. I'm just gonna stick to Epic 7 on it. It's the safest route. But my second channel, I'm gonna start going into other things. Four kids in three years, I feel so sorry for you. Why you feel sorry for me? She feel sorry for her. She doesn't know what she's about to go through. Uh, <laughs> what's it saying? <laughs> oh, okay. Um, oh, uh, my second channel that we currently are putting Epic Seven vids on, that's going to be the channel that I'll try out some other like gotcha style games. And then I don't think I'm going to have the time to make more YouTube channels. Like if I grow more, I could end up paying for an editor. And if I can pay for an editor, that's going to free me up to literally do everything I dream of doing with content creation. Like that would be the next step next year. If I can get to a point where we can actually afford an editor, dude, the sky's the limit at that point. We can do anything. We're too poor now, but maybe next year, we'll see if we can grow to a point where it's feasible. Cause I would, I mean, I could do everything. Apex videos on one channel. I could make a whole entire golf thing. I could play, I mean, do I play MOBAs? Uh, I play, the only MOBA I really played was Smite. Does, does the Pokemon game count as a MOBA? I played that a little bit. I barely played League, but no, I don't have any MOBAs that I currently play, but I would love to try TFT. Two under two has been fun. I don't, has been fun, I don't suggest. <laughs> okay, well, I'm joking. I, I don't think I want that many kids. Like if anything, I want two kids. If I have more than that, it's okay. Oh my gosh, this stage sucks. This is where you kind of want to have more morale. Yeah, this this is kind of hard. Two is a good number, yeah. I think two is a safe number, because I don't want to have an only kid, because then I think having an only kid, your life's a little bit harder, but at least you don't get bullied. But I think being an only kid and being alone all the time, if you don't make friends, you're going to have a really hard childhood. But if you have two, do I play any TCG? I love TCG. I play Pokemon. I played Magic. I'm a little bit out of touch on all of them. What other TCGs do I play? TCGs were like my childhood. That's like all I all I ever wanted to do is play different card games. I love competing at card games. I just like competing in general, I guess is the way to put it. But competing in card games was always... You ever play LOR? Wait, what's LOR? Lord of the Rings is what I'm thinking. What's LOR? Hold on. Is that a magic? That's a magic term. Wait, that's League of... Oh, League of... Ru or Legends of Ruterra. There we go. Um, have you played Elden Ring? No, I did not play Elden Ring. No, I have not tried that. Is it good? Once you have more than two, they outnumber you. Don't do it. Yu-Gi-Oh! I played Yu-Gi-Oh! when I was a kid, but Yu-Gi-Oh! I just can't get myself to do it because it's literally like people just win in one turn. It's like if you, it's all just, you get a early hand and you just, <laughs> you watch your opponent play. Whoever goes first, you just watch your opponent play for most games. Hey, yo, what's up, Vesper? Quick question. I recently did Challenger and Arena. I was wondering if you demote if you don't play. Um, Challenger Arena, demote if you don't play. What, do you just plan on trying to maintain it for weekly rewards? Oh, in arena? No. If you're in arena, then you can decay if you get attacked enough, but you most likely won't. So all you have to do is check on on uh, Sunday if you've been attacked, and if you haven't, you won't you won't demote, even if you don't um, do attacks. It just all depends on how many times your defense gets attacked. All right, but Pucifer, what'd you say? Sorry, let me scroll up because I think I, I think I saw a message and I skipped it. But Pucifer, thank you so much for five gifted. Wait, Pucifer didn't even say anything. It is through money, and and ran. But either way, if you're still chilling, you don't have to say anything, but thank you for that. If I was playing video games was a job, I don't think you do. There are a lot of days that I wish I was still just working regular job. The only benefit to this, like I'm way more stressed doing this 
than I was at my old jobs. But the only thing that helps manage that is I get to make my own schedule. Because guys, if think about think about when you're playing video games for a living, you're relying on that as your income. If you fall off, like if you guys just all stop watching me, I'm screwed. So like if I look at my viewer count, I see like we have 80 viewers. Like I need to be, I, sh I, I wish I could just be happy with that. And I really appreciate it if like you guys, but looking at it, I know at that point that I have to do something to figure out how to get back on track. That's how it used to be. Now with YouTube and everything else I'm doing, it's kind of fine. I could average way less viewers and be okay, but it's very stressful. It's like you have performance quotas at your jobs that if you don't hit them, you get fired immediately, which I guess jobs kind of work like that. But the thing is you can control your performance quotas at work by just doing what you need to do. But in content creation, you do everything you need to do and still fail miserably. So like it's, I don't know, there's a lot of stress that comes into this. And you don't get health insurance and <laughs> you don't get 401k matching. So any company that actually gives benefits, you don't get any of that. LOR is a free to play. Oh, I played Hearthstone like crazy. I played a lot of Hearthstone. You want me to try Outer Plane? I don't think I'll ever play Outer Plane. Outer Plane is just Epic 7, but worse version, right? All right, I was going to go into Side Story. I don't know. I'm sorry if I say that and that's not what it is, but from what I've heard, Outer Plane just wasn't. If you already played 7, Outer Plane was like pointless to get into. Outer Plane was supposed to be like a, a way to play E7, a budget E7 if you were too late to get into E7. This is how it was described to me from other people that played it. You thought it wasn't as free to play friendly? Yeah, people call it like Epic 4 and like this. It's like just not Epic 7. But the game looked cool. I downloaded it. Do you play FPS? Yeah, that's all I usually play. I play Apex. I used to play Call of Duty for like 10 years. Um, pretty much any FPS game that comes out, that's what I usually gravitate toward. Alright, no, we bought summons. Let's go summon a little bit. Wait, so do you do you guys that are talking about like Flint Spike, you you love League of Legends World. Do you like the um the show that they made? The League of Legends show? But yo, who cares? Thanks for follow. Arcane? Yeah, Arcane. I couldn't think of what it's called. Here's the show is really good. Oop. No. Alright, is it gonna be back-to-back -back pities on Tamron for the guides? It's like I play accounts until I pity Tamron for the guide series. Will E7 ever get PC client? They said no, but I think there's enough people pushing that there's still a slight chance we could get it. But they originally said no. So hard to tell. Okay, let's receive all our stuff here. Oh wow, we have a ton of stuff we can receive. There's another potion vial. There's some bookmarks. You pity Tamer too at the start. It's actually a good thing if I pity Tamer for the guide series though, because it looks better. Why are you doing the challenge again? Because the UI is updated, you can't feed gear into gear, and there's a bunch of like things like that within the guide um, that a lot of people are getting confused on. So I'm just redoing one with the everything updated. Good morning. Is the goal today Labyrinth Progression Spirit Altar for Awakening on Wyvern Team? Story Progression too? You, yeah, basically all of that. Everything you just said and Story Progression just as far as you can get. So we're going to be finishing Wyvern tomorrow. Uh, we'll, or we'll be setting up our Wyvern Team today. We'll be finishing Wyvern tomorrow because uh, in tomorrow's check-in you get the HP boots. So farming AP is so ass with IP buff. Yeah, I mean for a new player though. Oh wait, you're not a new or. I mean, even without AP buff, you're still getting the, amount of, or the right amount of stigma. It's like... Do a couple more summons. You're on day three, yeah. It took me a second. But, I mean, it's still... I mean, it's not as bad as you think it is. But yeah, so with AP buff, it's way better, obviously. This is exactly where I was on the first um, guide series, though. So. I was exactly here. I didn't have Tamarin. I ended up having to beat Strays without Tamarin, which felt awful because I didn't have a strip. Dang. We're actually going to pity it again. All right. We got a Moonlight Summon, though. Any guesses? What are we getting from our Moonlight Summon? Should I follow your new Billy Guide and playlist or just follow this live stream? It's up to you. 
um, depending on when you're starting. If you want to follow this one, you can. If you want to follow the old one, it still works fine. Three star, duh. We don't summon three stars on this stream. We only summon five stars. That wasn't clean. Okay, we summoned a three star. That would have been cool if that was stunning. All right, we summon a three star. I don't think I've got a single ML four star yet, have I? Pretty sure I haven't. Use Suthon. Oh, wait, two more? Hold on, here's Tamarin right here. I want to get Tamarin just so I can actually get her outside of pity on one of these guides. Because the thing is, most people do not pity her. Majority of people get her before pity. No. Godmother? You misclicked, so you got a three star. I know. That was my bad. All right, so that's not happening. Let's do a little inventory cleanup real quick. Uh, we're gonna go to name, scroll through, find duplicate characters. Actually, let's transmit all of our two stars. Okay, and then we'll feed our Claudia. Wait, not awaken. You think Smilegate is smart or nice enough to give you Tamarin non-pity? No. Last time I got Tamarin and then I got her immediately after from the Wyvern challenges. Like legit within like a four hour period. Guess it's better for a video that you get worse scotch like possible. Yeah, that's what I said last time. And I got unbelievably unlucky the entire time I played that account. And it's still, it turned out fine, which was good. So I was like, if you get any luck at all, your account's gonna be way better than this one is. Which is hopefully how this one goes too, honestly. I will tell you right now, getting into RTA in 30 days in the current meta is going to be extremely hard. I pulled Tamron a lot on these accounts. I thought it was it was just supposed to happen. No, I always pity her on new accounts. How many SSS do you need for max achievement? Like 50? Around 50, I think. For some reason, that number sounds accurate. When does this RTA season end? Probably mid-January. I'm gonna guess mid-January. We still have over a month for this RTA season. So technically, this account could hit masters before the RTA season ends, I think. Epic 7 new player guide, hard mode win. You can't make a guide series in hard mode because no one wants to play the game first getting into the game on hard mode. Like making an account with only two star or three star characters when doing a guide series, it's just, it's not helping anybody. <laughs> like doing it as a challenge is one thing, but doing a guide for it, that's not helping nobody. They want to actually use the characters they pulled. They, they don't want You got 75 triple S and achievement are still going. Really? Okay, never mind. Then maybe at 100. It's 85. So thank you, critics. I do qualifiers a few days before it ends for the Bellion skin. Well, you got to get to Masters for the Bellion skin. You can't just do... You got to actually climb to Masters for it. Mm, what were we doing next? So we did some Tamarin side story. We think this team will beat Wyvern 8. Let's just go see if we can beat Wyvern 8 because I would like to progress this a little bit. I'm not going to try my Wyvern team yet. I know my Wyvern team would beat it if I just moved gear over. But let's just see if this team can beat it for us. I don't know how hard Wyvern 8 is. Dang, you pulled a Tywin, easy Lua counter. A Tywin doesn't counter Lua, <laughs> what do you mean? A Tywin doesn't counter Lua, he gets reset and then you're just cooked. A Tywin's kind of a knock while counter a little bit because it'll cleanse the the um, other thing, like immunity A Tywin can counter knock wall, but A Tywin doesn't counter Lua at all. <laughs> I use Lua into him all day. What unit should I pull for now? I got Shu, Tam, and Senya. Uh, save your resources for right now because we're about to be getting some announcements for new stuff tomorrow, or not tomorrow, next Wednesday. So just hold on to your stuff for now until we see what's coming. So your, sh uh, yo, your stream as Tenny and mine are on auto sync that with their ults is cool. See, I think that right there, we just said one spark, is gonna be really big because people can pull up and play alongside and they'll have those moments. Oh yeah, this should be the... Ooh, and attack down too. Dude, Destina and Wyvern underrated. 
Agreed. ML Ken or ML Bologna for your head hunt? ML Ken. ML Bologna is not as good. I mean, ML Bologna is really good, but I think ML Ken, at least for RTA, is going to be much, much better for you. The thing is, ML Ken is built on Effectras. ML Ken is a little bit harder to build, though. But my problem with Bologna is you have to find ways to keep her from getting controlled. Okay? Finding ways to keep her from getting controlled can be quite hard. Oh, we unlocked Expeditions. All right, we're just going to auto this because I want to complete this challenge. We could wait and be more efficient, but the efficiency is not that important for me right now. I don't care. I'll try to catch the streams as much as I can, but we're in different time zones. You're good, Goober. You don't have to watch every stream. I stream so that if you are available, you can watch, but I don't mind if you watch or not. I mean, we're playing a new player guide, so... Like this, I'm always gonna have lower viewership doing the near player guide than if I would just go play RTA. So technically my Twitch channel's kind of taking a hit over the next like little bit doing this, but in the long term it's gonna help. So like we're gonna have a lower average viewership for the next two weeks doing this, which means sponsors are gonna pay me less and stuff, but I'm doing this to try to benefit the E7 community. And also I wanna try to win $5,000 from the video competition. And I think having all these resources, it's going to be hard for them to say I didn't at least place in the top top four. Because if I if I win, I get five grand. If I get in uh, second, third, or fourth, it's one thousand dollars. An extra one thousand dollars for doing something I already uh, plan on doing. Yeah, there's a competition for creators right now. Ooh, I do have a sponsor going. Or would any of you guys be willing to help with a uh, sponsor? I forgot about that actually. I have a sponsor going, but it's for U.S. only. Is there anyone in the U.S. that has a little bit of free time? Oh, you're defo winning? I hope. I mean, I don't see how anyone's going to be able to compete with what I'm about to, or like, releasing. But is anyone in the U.S. willing to help? If so, I'll give you all the info. I mean, I'm going to go over it anyway. You can do sponsor stuff. Are you from U.S.? U.S. only? I know. I'm sorry, guys. It's still early. Okay, well, this here. Let, let me do once. Well, give, let's let's wait till I have to swipe and run, but I'll, I'll show it off. So it's about filling out surveys, and each survey takes like a minute. And the more surveys that get completed, once you enter it, you're entered into a giveaway. And there's currently like 12, 12 or fifteen people in there, so you have like a twelve and fifteen or one in twelve or one in fifteen chance right now of winning like a hundred and twenty dollars or something if we get two fifty. But if we get a thousand surveys completed, someone's gonna win. $500, I think. Yeah, 1,000 surveys, someone's 500 bucks, which I think we do. It's a two-week sponsor. Um, if we get 10,000 surveys, someone wins five grand, so it's pretty cool. If any of you guys want a chance to win some money for a tiny bit of your time, like if you're willing to give 30 minutes of your time, that would be amazing, but you don't have to do it all in one day either. It's two weeks. So you do like five minutes a day, five minutes another day. My game crashed on Abyss 97. If I had 10 HP left, get wrecked, nerd. There's another E7 content creator doing Rush to Rift for a uh, new account. Yeah, that's that's kind of. Which I, I think that's a good idea. I actually, I mean, we talked about doing that last month, but I was like, no, that's I'm not going to take my time to do it. But yeah, I think it's a good idea. Probably your own. Oh, no, there's other contenders. The videos aren't due until next week or what emulator you're running. I use LD player. If you want a link to LD player, I have a, I have like a promo link. So if you download it, it supports me. Let me grab you the link. So I use LD Player 9. So if you click this link, if any of you guys want LD Player, um, I want to try out emulator. Emulate, I need to put that in the new player guide too, because by playing on an emulator, you dramatically lower the chance of ruining your phone. So I highly suggest using emulators. So you don't have to use LD Player. That's just what I use, and I get paid a little bit for each every download. But uh, you don't have to use it. I mean, any emulator is fine. LD is just what works the best for me, so I took a sponsor, not a sponsor, but like a promotion thing through them. Do you think it's coming next coin shop? I have no idea. The coin shop is so random. Remember what you did right when you started day three? No. That's a Mystic Summons Flint. That's not the uh, banner thing. I use BlueStacks 5 because Hyper-V is enabled for Google Play Games beta. You can play E7 on that too. Yeah, the I hate BlueStacks personally. I hate their company. I got I took a sponsor through them and the guy that I had, I just, from that moment, I hated BlueStacks because dealing with that one guy. 
So I refuse to ever tell anyone to download BlueStacks for the rest of my life. So them as, they, them as a company made me very, very mad. So I will never suggest BlueStacks unless they start paying me like two grand a month. But Google Play Games is good. So I just suggest LD Player because the, all the people I've worked with with LD Player for sponsors in the past were amazing. But there was just the the guy I had for BlueStacks, either his, maybe English wasn't his first language, but he was the rudest person I've ever talked to in my life. That's what he just crashed on. Also, BlueStacks crashes LD Player. I've only had it crash like two times in however many years I've been playing the game on it. One of them was recently. And if you get Breeg, it makes 31010 so much easier. Dude, Breeg makes all content easier. Breed can even be used in, um, Breed can be used in, uh, Zeo, even. Because he has a Tensile Sobern, doesn't he? Wait, you're doing new, uh, 2024? Has it changed something already? Um, no, nothing's really changed. They're doing a couple things a little differently, but the old guide still works fine. But the only reason we're redoing is because you can't feed gear into gear anymore, and the UI has changed. So, going through menus and stuff, it all looks different. So, I don't want people thinking that the guide's not relevant, because things look different, so and you can't do the gear into gear you have to sell the gear and that's I've, I've had like a thousand comments about that probably more than a thousand so i'm just trying to uh trying to mitigate that in the future and plus making this guide this way i shouldn't have to i switched from blue stacks to ld player too you got a huge improvement for e7 yeah ld player is for most people better than blue stacks but blue stacks still might be better for some of you it's willing to try them out you said i think likes a lot yeah so it's, it's up to you on um, which one you want to try. I'm using my Great the Gross on Cigarette uh, and uh, Pryo on Wyvern Tank. That's okay, yeah? Yeah, it doesn't matter who, it doesn't matter how you do it. The Great the Growth on Cigarette, that's the old guide way and that's fine. It'll work. Just keep, if the thing is just keep following that guide, if that's what you're doing. Like you can like watch along and maybe see some of the things I suggested here and make adjustments if you want, but it's almost all the same. That's like one of the very few changes we're doing. But yeah, Mosh, so for you, for you, LD works better, but it all depends on your graphics card, depends on every, uh, just what kind of computer you have. So it's different for everyone, but you can always just download them. If they don't work on install them, try a different one. It's not a big deal. Other reason for BlueStacks existence for older games that's not supporting new emulators anymore, really. I mean, BlueStacks has been around forever, so obviously it's good for some people, but for me, I didn't like the emulator when I used it, plus they have ads on the emulator now. Also, the guy was mean to me. He wasn't mean to me, it's just, it's like I was talking to a toddler. Why not just show the upgrading interface and edit out the old upgrading interface and replace? Because you can't edit already uploaded YouTube videos. You can only take things out of... So if you have an already uploaded YouTube video, you cannot add stuff to that video. You have to, you can only remove things from that video. So I have no way to add things to the old guide. So the way YouTube editor works, you cannot add, you can only remove. How do you customize LD player uh, to spacebar scroll secret shop? Do you know? Um, I think you use the keyboard command option. I don't, I don't know. I've never done it. I just auto, I do the shop refresh. I just scroll myself. That helps me aim train for shooter games. That's, that's my copium reason for doing it myself. How would you build Mercedes for the RT counter set? You can do speed set, destruction set, counter set. doesn't really matter. Counter set would be good if you have the extra counter gear for her, but it doesn't really matter. Mercedes, as long as she's got gear on, she's going to become a must main character a lot of the time, which is really good. But yeah, I... Sadly, I cannot just go edit the 2023 player guide. Plus, having the name 2024 player guide is... I mean, it's going to be nice because then there's just already a guide up as 2024 starts. So, I'm going to... I would end up having to remake the guide anyway, right? 2025 player guide, Alvi? I... We'll see. If I don't make it out of E7 consecration by then, then yeah. But hopefully by making this guide and grinding next year, I somehow find a bigger game that I can move into. I'll still always play E7, but if I have another game I can focus content creation on, that would be huge. Do you still recommend Mercedes for your old guide and end up not using her basically? I recommend Mercedes for early RTA, yes. Hey Diddy, what speed would you consider making Flitica worth resources? So I'm like 2D1 speed, 140? Yeah, that's really reasonable. Most, most Flitica's are around 270. 
Most people don't go crazy speed Flitikas. They just go like simple 270. 270 to 275. I think 275 is probably like the, the safe number. Mine, I think it's 273. But you don't pick her to contest speed. You pick her to be above characters that are generally around 260 speed. So you would be picking her into like Zeo and things like that. Because she'll be on Guiding Light. Hopefully you have the Guiding Light artifact. The Sinia second sword summon you pull on. We usually pull Shu from that. If you already have Shu, you can pull Sinia. But Shu is Shu is usable in some PvE content, which is why I like getting her, just to get like level three fire exorcisters on. Hey, whoever's doing surveys right now, thank you. I forgot about that. Okay, so let me turn face cam on for just a second. I'm going to go over the sponsor real quick. So if any of you are from the US and want to help me out, um, I'll put the link in both things, but x point giveaway. It's you, done 17, thank you for helping with that. So the sponsor right here, if you open up the sponsor uh, link, I will take the link and post it down here. So if you guys on YouTube are willing to do it or check into it, this is for US only, so keep that in mind. So US only, but if you are willing to help out, I will do just really quick. I don't have the survey thing pulled up, so we'll just do like a quick overview of it. So this is what it looks like. You'll click into it, and these are the prizes we can win if we get 10,000 surveys. Someone wins five grand. Right now we're at 150, so if we get 250, someone's gonna win 100 bucks. I really think we have two weeks for this, though, so I really think we'll be able to get you to 500 or 1,000. So I haven't announced in Discord. Once I make a video explaining how to do it and put it in Discord, we'll probably get 1,000, so someone should win 500 bucks that enters it. That's, that's our goal. If we get higher, though, the prizes just keep going up and up, which is cool. So uh, if we end up getting 2,500, someone gets $1,250. You can either take the prize or the money. All of you guys are gonna take the money. I already know that. So to do it, you click to enter the giveaway and you just enter an email and put whatever your Twitch handle is. So uh, put that, then submit this. It's going to take you to the next thing. You have to sign up, you put your email. It takes very little information from you. So it's gonna ask your email. It doesn't ask your name. It's gonna ask a zip code. It needs to be a valid US zip code. Um, preferably yours or one close to you. Um, if you're scared about giving too much info out, that's literally all it asks. If it gave, if it asked for any more than that, I wouldn't have taken this. And then I'll ask you a couple more questions. Once you finish creating your account, you're gonna go in and um, you'll complete survey. So you'll click, you'll find a survey you wanna do and click through it. You'll see once you do the first one, I don't have it pulled up. I'll have a video going over this soon, um, but it's super, super fast. Every survey takes about a minute. I'm gonna be honest, I've never been uh, to most of these companies. Okay, well, don't tell me that. But it's very, very easy. So if any of you want to try and help out, if maybe you don't want to do it today and wait for me to make the video on explaining how to do it more in depth and showing you the surveys. Um, but for right now, that's just what it is. But it's, it's 100x as a company, obviously, you see here. But just a quick thing if anyone wants to get into that. So right now, if you enter it, you, no matter how many surveys you do, you're going to be entered for a chance to win 50 bucks. But you can do up to 25 surveys a day. So if you want to do, if you're willing to do like five surveys today, maybe five surveys tomorrow, it'd help out. But US only is a problem. The reason I haven't been talking about it too much on streams is because of uh, it's 9 a.m. So who's awake in the United States at 9 a.m. on a on a is today Saturday? Yeah, on a Saturday. Who's awake at 9:42 a.m. on a Saturday? Nobody. So sadly me okay well those of you guys that are if you feel like helping out you can it's super super easy and for every every survey that's completed i get a little bonus for every single one and it adds up if, if 10 of you did five surveys it'd be a pretty good day for me so that's up to you though if you feel like helping not me 3 a.m on australia why are you oh but well i mean 3 a.m is kind of normal or about seven eight oh we had yoga class dude how is yoga i've been Think about it. You've been up since 6 a.m. on Saturday. You've been up since 6 a.m. today. I mean, I woke up at 4 a.m. on a Saturday, so I can't really say much, but I played E7, 3 a.m. is given. Uh, them to play group. Uh, oh, wait, just got my kids breakfast and listening while taking them to play group. Okay, okay, well, that those of you with kids waking up, that makes sense too. But any of you that are like 24 in college, you finally have a day off. Why are you waking up at 6 a.m.? Why are you waking up at anything past or before 10 a.m.? Um, what was I doing next? How many more do we need to do for this? I want to complete this and we have to craft 15 pieces of equipment and steel workshop. So we can go do that right now. Let's go craft 15 pieces while that's farming. 
Let's just do some of the missions past, because I want to get these charms. That's why we're doing this. Oh, wait. Look at this equipment and crafting event piece that I got. Let's, let's goof around on this for a second. I don't know if I'm going to take this piece or not, because it's unfair for people who are starting later. But hey, Zomatsu, thank you for using your prime. Zomatsu just subscribed. 17 subs a day. Hell yeah. I restarted at the beginning of the stream, I'm pretty sure. I think this is 17 all today. Oh my gosh, this piece is... Yeah, they're about the same. Uh, do you do Abyss on these new accounts? Yes, I do do Abyss, but I stop at 100. I refuse to go above Abyss 100. This piece is also... But this is the piece I suggest you guys get for a new account. Like, no matter what, this piece is going to be usable for forever. Even if it rolls into attack, flat attack every single time, it's still going to be usable for a very long time for you. Like, it's going to feel bad if it does, but you can always use a reset stone on it too. Because we're going to be getting this for free. Power yoga is pretty rough. I started uh, out way out of shape and my posture has gotten way better. See, that's what I need is like better posture. Just having good posture just makes you look so more confident when you're doing anything in life. And whenever you sit in a chair all day, which I don't know if you work a desk job or not, but it, I think yoga would be a huge thing. Plus, you get to meet some hot moms. I love hot moms. But yeah, age 30, I work regularly 6 a.m. to 3 p.m. Monday through Friday is a uh, plane mechanic. Wait, but then you're supposed to sleep in on a weekend. I, I always worked early mornings. I love waking up at like 5 a.m., getting ready for work, going to work, getting home before everybody else is off. Like I hated the nine to five job schedule, but I love like the six to three like that. That was always what I tried to push for. But you're the same age as me. You're a little older. I know I look like I'm 12, but I am 29. I am 29, right? What year is it? 2023? Yeah, I'm 29. <laughs> Once you, I think any age past 25, it's really hard to remember how old you are if you don't actually think about it a lot. Like every birthday up till 25 is exciting. And then from there you're like, oh no, I had another birthday. <laughs> this sucks. So old, you don't even know your age. That's just what happens. You don't want to remember that you're older. It's depressing. Every time you think about it, you're like, it's not that you don't remember, you don't want to, it is. I mean, ask Elvmage, he, he knows how it is. I don't, ooh, that, whatever piece that was, I think it was almost completely max rolled, but it was a Fectros. Poor old mage, old mage, Elvmage catches strays from literally any streamer when age comes up. How do you even get reset stone? They come from like events and stuff. You're gonna be getting one from the Midnight Headhunt event. So as you're getting your characters, eventually you're going to get your character and you're going to be able to get it from that. So they come from event, login rewards, they're like really rare items. So anytime you get them, you want to use them on a piece that is highest potential chance to be good. So that's why these pieces that you can craft in like this event are always, you always want to get them the highest base starting sets you can. So that if they don't roll well, you can reset them and they have the best chance again. So you don't want to, you don't want to settle on a piece from this. You want to make sure it is as high as you can without losing your mind from using all your points so like this is almost perfect it's missing one two this is two percent off max but the attack roll can go up to 44 so technically it's missing like three rolls but it's already really good okay so we have to be cl oh wait i need to craft equipment that's right don't you want effectiveness no you do not want effectiveness on almost any damage dealer pieces if it's for pvp you do not want effectiveness effectiveness is a dead stat on almost every single character after 29 you're 29 every year after it's interesting how it works i like that idea my ran wants why does your ran want effectiveness and, and if anything it's bryceria that wants it you want effectiveness on bryceria but most of the time it is safer not to go effectiveness because that's going to be a pvp piece and almost any character that is a damage dealer in PvP. There's like maybe two that would be okay with some effectiveness. Every other one, you want no effectiveness on them. Does DDR want effectiveness? Yes, but he's not a damage dealer. You're not going to give him an, a, an attack, attack, crit chance, crit damage, percent, boot. Okay, yes, DDR wants effectiveness. But no, damage dealers do not want effectiveness generally. It's a very safe way to look at it.
See, this sounds like a Blue Archive song to me every time I hear it. I can't even extract equipment yet. What about Ran for Hell Lab? Okay, if you want to get a piece for PvE, you go right ahead, bucko. But I'm personally not doing that. Breed needs effectiveness for PvE, yeah. If you're not getting that piece for PvE, guys, if you're using that to get a PvE piece, I don't know what to tell you. This is the dream event to get a PvP piece. Never use this for PvE, guys. Never. Hey, whoever's doing surveys, thank you. Didn't we just get like 10 more? Whoever's doing the surveys, thank you. But never use this for a PvE piece, guys. This should be a hard focus PvP piece. PvE fun though, you're gonna... So the way Epic 7 works is you are focusing PvP, you craft for pieces for PvP, and when your pieces fail for PvP, but they still rolled okay, you slap them on PvE, okay? You roll for gear for PvP, you take the gear that rolls bad and puts it on your PvP or PvE characters. That is how Epic 7 works, you never roll gear specifically for PvE. That is how Epic 7 works. I play with PvP so I can't get further in PvE? No. Your junk PvP rolled gear goes to PvE. I speak, I'm in a big trouble for shopping center for digital, I'm gonna use it for PvE. Uh, crit, crit damage and attack percent, right, yeah. I play PvP so I can progress my PvE progress. Respect. Oh my god, I get eight thingies? What all we get here? Get some wyvern claws. Get some of those. Get some of those. If, if you're getting a Rage Set piece, that might be okay. Okay, Rage Set, maybe you need one more piece of Rage Gear, it's okay. I can I can, I can can accept that, that's fine. But if you're doing any uh, Speed Set piece, and you're like, I'll put this on a PvE character. That's crackhead to me. But if that's how you want to play the game, that's all you. Like, I'll judge you, but you just ignore me. That's fine. Alright, so we cannot clear Floor 50. But yo, what's up, Zyro? Um, question regarding the craft event. Can you only make one piece? Yes, only one piece. I got a crit damage, uh, defense percent, attack percent, crit chance boots. So is it, it it's speed main stat? So now do I just try and uh, max the rolls? Yes. You just keep going, save that piece, and just try to get that piece just with the highest rolls you possibly can. Hey, wait, Tristan's here. It burns when I PvP, Tristan. Wait, Tristan, we're not going to be able to fight each other in the tournament, are we? I think you're seed four. I'm seed uh, or, uh, and the thingy. I don't think we can. I was hoping we could. I'm pretty sure you're on the fourth slot. I'm on the third, so we can't. Yeah, yeah that's what I thought. That's sad. I was hoping to fight you. I think I, I fight like Samu, maybe. Would the uh, event be wasted on a nice defense percent destruction ring for Lionheart? No, no. Any piece that you can get that's actually good it's not bad, but hey, more of man. Thank you for the, the sub as well. Subscribe. We're two subs away from 20 for the day. We sh if we actually hit that, I've been streaming five hours. Oh boy. Okay. I oh, it's, I was like, I'm not wearing a robe with my face cam on, am I? It's on the back of my chair. Any pieces that's good for PVE or PVP? Yeah, any piece that's good for PVP. That's all you need. Because it's very hard to max base sets, yeah. Any piece that you know you could use. Side note, Conquest, wait, Conquest gear sets guide do very well. I tried searching for that and that's all that's really out there. One, two years old, not dated. Hopefully do an in-depth one. If you guys have suggestions like that, please put them in the video suggestions Discord. If there's ever something you search for and see nothing for, because actually Tristan could use that too. Tristan could use like that information of stuff that's searched for and there's nothing. Because like a Conquest gear set guide could be really beneficial. If you made a video just going over that, that could do really good. Like I always cover it as part of my guide series, but a dedicated video to that, I do really well. Now that I said that, someone's gonna steal that idea immediately. But that's why you guys need to, video ideas, keep them in my Discord so that other content creators don't go steal them. I've learned. There's one content creator, I don't even know what his name is, but they like started copying my new player guide and then I started like coming up with video ideas on stream and they copied like every single one. Updating my Conquest guide vid now? No, you can't, Tristan. That, 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 that vid's all you. I'm going to be covering that as part of my guide series, but if you want to make a dedicated video to that, I think it'd do pretty good. 
Plus, then I could take that video, and if anyone asks, I could just link them your video instead of mine. Can I have a guide on how to search Pixiv like a pro? I don't even know what that is, so yes, I will start working on it now. It was Tristan? No, I don't even remember the guy's name. It was a smaller U uh, YouTuber, but they like started making a new player guide and then any video I started talking about on stream, I went and looked and they, they made that video like right after. And then I started testing it and then the, they started making more, like anything I said on stream, they would go and make that video. <laughs> it was really funny, but they were a very, very small YouTuber. I, it was just, I. it's so funny, like as a content creator, you start to see, because I got suggested one of their videos. But as a content creator, you like see stuff like that. You're like, "Ooh, this is funny." And then I was like, "Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna come up with another idea." It wasn't even a good idea, and then they went and did. It. I was like, "Yes!" <laughs> it was so funny to me. Is this game not so overwhelming for a new player? No, as long as you have guidance, it's not bad. That's why I'm doing a new player guide. But if you don't have any guidance, yes, this game can be very overwhelming. But more of Van, or sorry, I've said your name wrong. More of Man, thank you for subbing as well, dude. This discounted sub thing. Usually, all I get is Twitch Prime subs, but you guys are, I guess, discounted subs. Work. Okay. Um, what is What was the next challenge? It's Abyss 50. Okay, let's go clear a few more. But Cookie, how you doing? How do I do what DD's doing? I know, I'll just do exactly what he's doing, yeah. Like, even structuring, like, they made, like, a new player guide video and literally structured it exactly like mine. It was really, it was really cute. But hey, I mean, you do you. Try it. The thing is, it's, I mean, from this point, it's going to be kind of hard to compete with my guides because I've just become like the standard. So, but I, I would prefer nobody else try to do it because that means I do better. But I'm hoping no one else does the exact same thing I'm doing. Maybe they do their own version and it's different. Like they don't do like, because if anyone made the same thing as me, it would legit be the same thing. Do X thing during X day. You're going to be making the exact same videos I am. But yeah, yoga has been good. Going to Brazilian, dude, Brazilian Jiu Jitsu. I'm, I'm, I'm too, I'm too pussy to do anything like that. I need to like force myself to, because I know all like a bunch of people get into it that don't know anything about anything or are probably pretty uncoordinated. It's just about a confidence thing because they will teach you and work with you, but I'm just nervous. Describe shoe. Good. Uh, besides a free counter gear, you can do speed such shoe, but um, just that counter gear plus usually two crit chance pieces. I wouldn't call it plagiarism cute. It's not plagiarism. The thing with YouTube, it's everyone just stealing everything that everybody else does. That's all YouTube is. But the thing is, as a small community like Epic 7, if anyone went to go make a new player guide, I guarantee they would be going through their comment section and deleting anything that says deity on it. Like, they would probably... They would probably be watching their guide if anyone says anything about deity in their guide they're gonna be going and deleting it <laughs> they'll delete so many comments what do you think about getting a bis entry with leaf it's it's worth it i do it i do it every day on new accounts at first you don't have to do it though but it just it speeds up your progression so like right now we have to get to abyss 50 so this we're we're walled here we can't do anything until we get abyss 50 if we don't use the the leaves to get the tokens then we're gonna take extra days to get there is there a good way to get Breed? No, there's literally no way to like try to get Breed right now. It sucks. Any game would be overwhelming without help. Yeah, Mario, Nintendo Mario 64 is overwhelming without help. Pokemon is underwhelming without help. Yeah. Wait, I actually I think Mario 64 is kind of overwhelming. I remember playing as a kid and getting lost in some of the stages. But Pokemon though, Pokemon without help? Nah, you can do that. I told, or I tried Breeg in drafts and I want him so bad now. Breeg in draft mode? Breeg's terrible for PvP. He's maybe usable for PvP. When he first came out, I used him and I won a shocking amount of games, but I don't think, especially right now, he'd be any good at all. There's too many um, injury units. To be honest, I didn't really get overwhelmed with these seven. I guess it depends on how you use here to classic RPGs, yeah. But for someone who isn't like a resource management person, it's not gonna be good. Uh, but Mike, you worked that job for 14 years, didn't really exercise at all. I got up to 210 pounds, gained about six pounds over those years. See, why am I not gaining weight? I work in a desk job. Where's my weight? Life isn't fair. Yeah, yoga. Uh, if you're interested in it, it's good. Just don't do what I did and do it four days a week. Oh my god, how do you have time for that? I guess the classes are only like an hour. That would that wouldn't be bad. But the classes are like two hours. You have eight hours a week of Brazilian Jiu Jitsu. That sounds exhausting. Get you in shape though. And get you really confident to where you don't have to, like when you're out in public, 
you can be the superhero. That's the thing. I always feel bad because if anything's going on, like if, if someone's doing something to somebody, I can't really stop them. I couldn't. I couldn't. I couldn't do much about it. I'm not big enough. It, the, the, it's just the biggest thing is the weight difference. Like if I try to stop anyone, I just can't. Weight is so important in fights. There's just no way. I just have to sit there and watch. I I could call the police for you. That's all I could do, and it feels really bad. So. I would like to get to a spot where, in case there's something going on, I could help, but <laughs> in America, if I try to help, I just get shot anyway, so what's that going to help? Let's hit him with your bone. I mean, I got a nasty elbow. I have reach too, so like, maybe I could do a little bit. I could like, my best thing I could do is throw some at him. You're 6'3", 280 pounds, if people think I'm intimidating, I'm just a teddy bear. Dude, I, I couldn't do anything to you. Like, if I punched you, you would heal. Like, like if I punched you, you would, like, gain a year back on your life. You, If you're 29 right now, you'd, like, turn into a 25-year-old. Kind of scared this comp may end up better. I have a lot of PvP units so my mana just can't build right now. I need resources. If this account is a better, just play a new account. Ooh, wait. All right, well, we did that... So that's as far as I can get into this. What am I background farming? Are we still farming Wyvern? I need to stop this. Oh God. Yeah, we farmed a little too much there. All right, let's clean up our inventory. Oh yeah, we farmed way too much. I just wanted to complete that challenge so we can unlock more charms. So the best thing we can do from here is try to upgrade our gear and then push into... Um... Wait, I wanted to save these two pieces, put on Raz. Okay, so we can go ahead and sell this. Technically, we just sell these. We're never going to use these pieces. Any of the T55 stuff, we just sell all of it. We get so much free gear, we don't need any of this. I just sell everything. Dude, my inventory is struggling. All right, just sell everything. We're good. I'm going to put those two pieces on Raz, though. What did you do with the Pegasus boots? I locked them. I haven't put them on anyone yet. I think they're actually maybe on my Alexa. They're right here. I saved them. Because you need your Pegasus boots for Alexa. I'm going to make sure it's covered in this guide. Don't worry. I already covered it during the stream portion of the guide, but in the actual video, I'll make sure no one throws away their Pegasus boots. Stage 10-3. If you don't have them and you don't have Mui, Wyvern is going to be a disaster. Like, there are, we, I, there are ways you can salvage it, and I could show that, but... I mean, you just go craft boots, and you could probably end up getting a boot by this point. But, uh... What is next? For lowest resource spending, it's the best. So we want to upgrade... Wait, it was Raz. I still haven't eaten breakfast. I said I was going to eat breakfast like two hours ago, and I still have not done it. Change. Okay. Do I have a better boot? No. Okay. Uh... Could I do stun A plus 3 damage dealers? I don't think so. I think I'll just get cooked. But I want to plus 15 all this stuff. So let me plus 15 this. Just had coffee for breakfast. That's not good. Could you go Clarissa over Mui? I mean, you could, but I don't I don't suggest doing Clarissa over Mui because once you get Mui, it's always best to put Mui in over whatever it is. So if you do Clarissa over Mui, then you're going to have to do um, skill enhancements on her to get her to do really any damage, any worthwhile damage. Whereas a three star, by using Alexa in that spot, you are going to be able to just get her stuff for stigma. Like You don't have to use Molagor on her, you just use some stigma. So this is just way more cost efficient because you're going to, once you eventually pull Mui, your team is going to be Mui, Furious, Cigarette, plus your front tank. Only Mystic Bump Marks from Hoochie Shop and his boxes. Uh, is it worth to buy the reset stone for 1.4k? No. The reset stone, guys, here, look at look at this real quick. If you aren't doing one shot, it's hard or it's hard to not use Moo exactly. It just you're just wasting wasting potential, I feel like at that point. So these right here, these are not worth buying in my opinion. Even if you're an in-game player, the only way these are worth buying is if you're a spender, like you spend a good amount of money. Because this is 1800 sky stones. Okay? So if you go into here, 1800 sky stones are... Oh, Tristan, look at this pack. Look at this pack real quick. Is this not the worst pack? Hold on, let me hide my face cam so you can see the whole thing. Is this not the worst pack in Epic 7 history? 
you know you can six star like 15 characters in eight days it's a hundred dollars for a six star character this is the worst pack in existence i didn't know this existed like i cannot believe this is a thing like 16 epic catalyst is a decent amount but are you kidding me like it's 30 it's the catalyst are okay like overall if you compare it to other packs maybe it's not the worst value in the universe but never buy this it looks so bad the 20 penguins 45 common runes it gives you enough so the idea of this pack is it gives you exactly enough to fully finish a character for a hundred dollars so you can buy this and but it doesn't give you molas so it gives you enough to fully awaken a character but no skill enhancements so you can fully level them fully awaken them and uh that's it that's what this pack is but no skill ups so for 100 dollars you can finish one character nice great value but yeah that was awful what are we even coming here for oh okay so guys sky stones so look at this the value of sky stones is normally it's a hundred dollars for 3800 that's how they value that the first time you buy it, you get an extra 38 but now imagine you've already bought this so that that stone is 1800 sky stones meaning that stone out of 18 out of 36 that stone is worth 45 dollars to them so if you buy this you're technically buying a thing that costs 45 dollars for a chance for your thing to roll better and there's a good chance it's just gonna roll worse so you're basically spending in-game 45 dollars of value for your or yeah 45 dollars of value for your thing to roll even worse think about that you're paying 45 bucks for a chance at it rolling better and maybe it does but imagine spending 45 bucks and you just rolls worse these stones are such a scam but if you have infinite money in your life maybe it's not too bad you want to get oh wait you won't get the mats you spent to upgrade right no you also lose the mats for it too skin tickets are mandatory i mean if you want to buy skin tickets you can up to you these boxes are the best value possible but I'm not buying any of it because other people will be starting when Hoochie isn't available, so I'm not buying any of that. But yeah, that's that that's insane. All right, what were we doing though? We we're leveling up something. I would like to get her awakenings done. Um, we're thinking about leveling Raz's trash gear. Is there anything I can do to give him better gear to beat Faustus without wasting resources is the question. I don't think so. Like technically Furious's speed set could almost go on him. No, because I didn't buy the other pieces. Um, I don't want to waste anything leveling up Raz at all. Like the best thing to level up on him would be the helmet, I guess. Put this plus six, I think it takes very little charms. That gives him like an extra 200 HP, but no matter, I don't, I just don't want to spend anything on him. Um, this I can level up a little bit. Oh, for Syria banners, it worth pitting the unit. If you're ever going to summon on the banner, you always want to pity the unit. Never summon on a banner without a knowing that you're going to pity the unit. Never do, never do a single summon on a banner if you're not getting the character. Like, never summon on a, a banner to have a chance at an artifact. It is a bad habit to get into, because there's a chance you'll never get that artifact. Dang, these pieces are rolling kind of crazy. 17 crit chance, 12 speed. Not really good for Wyvern, but... I mean, this is kind of good too. 17 crit chance on both pieces. I think I just throw these on stun A. Hold on. At this point, it's not even worth having that. So let's we'll throw this on. 89 gear score, 75 neck. I know. I don't know what's going on here. All right. She's 70 crit chance. I mean, that'll do. So basically today is I just need to farm infinite on record history. That's, that's what it boils down to, but... What's my Destina stats looking like? 14.5? That's almost strazable. Oh, it's not going to level up. Give me a great... Wait, we can buy a bunch of... Uh... We can buy a bunch of stuff. Hold on. We need to level up Destina. And we might put Destina as a front tank for this. So let's go to Labyrinth. 
shop. Yeah, we have 4,000 points. Boys. We're balling. Sheesh. Guess I'll get sent to this. Yeah, they're not too bad. Eventually, catalysts aren't a big deal. Yeah, catalysts, they're not a big deal, but they're annoying. Uh, I got Tame and I have the resource pity, just not sure if it's worth using all that. How many summons did you do on the banner? I guess that's a better question. How many summons did you end up doing on the banner? Oh, mineral, huge. So this is a DPS gear account. Twenty six effect res? Oh no, it's twenty six effectness. Yikes! Oof. Never mind. That was effect res. <laughs> There's twenty six effect res. Hey, that's a juicer. Take that. All right, so she's sixteen hundred. We could put her front tank. Let's unlock self imprint. Huge. Actually, yeah, we'll just self imprint. Should we though? I don't think self imprint really helps the story. Let's we'll do regular. All right. So Stene. If I level up Stene, do I have pengies? I do. But hey, all of you guys that did some surveys this morning, thank you. That's like an extra 36 we got today. Not bad. And the thing is, no one's awake in America. But I'll I'll make a thing for Discord today going over the sponsor. And the next uh, today and tomorrow, we'll push it and just see if we can get up to like 500. Then that way someone's winning a decent amount of money from it. Then we'll maybe aim for like 1,000 next week. Never know. It could go crazy, but... I think a thousand is a pretty pretty safe number to aim for. But if you guys ever have like five free minutes throughout the week, you want to do a couple. You can do them from your phone too. That's one of the big things. If you're ever on your phone, just sitting back chilling, you could you can fill them out on your phone. It's really fast. There's, you just click with your finger instead of your mouse. Um, did you end up using a six star potion on Tyria? Yeah, I did. I I had two six star potions. I used both of them. Or did I have two six star? I'm not sure. For Tamar, I ended up doing it as part of my select three banner. Yeah, that that works too. Um, I mean, getting a little bit of extra healing from this. We're gonna end up mulling her for RT anyway, so she is a fine character to slap mole into. I okay, get that done. Will I be able to clear her? All right, let's find out. It seems like it's more harder to level up gears now. It's not. It's not harder to level up gears. If it, it's like you get a tiny bit less EXP, but you get more gold overall. So technically, we have more gold. Actually, let's go beat this so I can get my bookmark from this. I only two started this stage. You're sitting on 441 bookmarks, setting 400 sky stones. Um, the, I I don't want to. Oop, I don't want to auto repeat the stage. I don't want you to spend all your resources getting a Syria when I really think we might be getting some good stuff. What artifacts are good on Stenny? The best artifact you can get is um, Taga Hells. So Taga Hells is going to be your best, but while you're going through story, you can put her on um, Daydream Joker or Kaladra if you want. Either one is fine. Okay, well, I need to click that back right orb. All right, there we go. Plus 9 rage weapon, 11 speed, 10 crit. Should I keep going? You don't really usually want speed on rage gear. Speed on rage gear doesn't... It, it ends up making your rage gear just less viable. The only thing speed rage gear is okay then. I mean, those stats sound really good. If it's only plus 9 with those stats, that's actually really good. Uh, it means it's high rolling, so you can definitely save it. But I don't know what you're going to use it on besides maybe something for rift later in the game. But yeah, speed on Rage Gear is usually you want to avoid it because that means you're getting less damage. Would you rather wait for better banner, aka non-story, to spam summons into? Yeah, so basically just don't summon until next week when you see if um, what we're getting. So next Wednesday morning, we'll see what new banners and stuff are coming. So I would just wait until then. All right, have I cleared all of this? They're all fully cleared? Yes. Okay, now we go into Sidonia. Start clearing chapter six. All right, so let's see if we can beat the stage or not. Oh, it's a labyrinth stage. Even worse. But let's put Destine in the front instead of Raz. She's our tank at this point. When do we get new new news on stove? It'll be next Wednesday morning. 
Unrecorded history makes it crazy easy. Level gear once you get a few months into the game. Farm hunts for the gear and reforge map. Farm. I mean, you don't even have to be a few months in the game, Tristan. Like with my guide series, I have people farm unrecorded history for like nonstop for ten days since you have the new player buffs. And usually, you, you should have enough charm powder as long as you're actually really farming unrecorded history. You're gonna have to wait a few months, but the further you are, you the faster you can farm it. But yeah, I already have players, like, that's the first thing I tell people to do. We're only beating Wyvern 13 one time, and I'm having them go back to farming Unrecorded History. Like, we're not farming hunts until, like, day 12 to 15 of a new account. I think farming hunts too early on a new account is pointless. Your goal is to get all the free gear, and then stock up on uh, six stars and a bunch of gold and everything. But yeah, that's how my original new player guide went. Like, I, because I, I think I six-starred 20 characters in the first 10 days. I think it was an average of two characters per day or something like that. It was insane. My Skystones are suffering, so my Leafs are gone. That's how it goes. But spending Skystones on early game unrecorded history, you get the most progress you can get from that. Like your account, because you spent Skystones, it's going to go from a... But you'll know, supposed to give me one second. Spending Skystones early on an account is going to take your one month account off to a three month. Cool, well, I'm about to make a new player guide saying that. <laughs> All right, Tristan. All right. Tristan, if we both made a new player guide, the official Epic 7 Discord would drool over yours. They would be spamming it to everyone. Like, you already have a guide for pretty much everything. Like anytime someone's like questioning anything with my guide and needs a different way to do stuff, I always send them just to your guides because you already cover basically everything. You just, so. I feel like you've already basically done one with if you just put all your videos together. <laughs> do you think the next week they'll announce Fullmetal Alchemist Facebook collab? I don't think they'll announce the collab yet. Dude, why does Stray's hits for so much damage? My goodness. That guy's annoying. Do I want extra damage here? I want defense buff. Maybe I should save the defense buff for next time he's gonna S3. You only have to half health him, right? Last time I didn't do any... Oh my god, he gets barrier every turn? This stage sucks. Dude, not having, not having Tamarin for this stuff is so brutal. Is it in-game or dev's website? Uh, where's the official place to check for announcements? Okay, banner. Yeah, it's it's the on stove, or you can just watch in my um, in my Discord server. There's a news channel in there that all the news gets put into it. When, when would they announce what for like all that information? It's always on Wednesday mornings and I always make videos over it. The only time I don't make videos is if there's literally no news. Percent man, close I ever came to do that was do this stuff every day guide. You got a new player stuff covered really well. It's a void, no one is filled, I know. That was why I did it, because I saw so many players, like, I just thought about what I would need getting into the game. But, I this is it, right? We beat it? We haven't beat it? But the biggest thing is I just really hope they take my guide series and put it into the game. That's why I really want to win this video competition. I'm going to burn this. I'm going to regret it probably, aren't I? We have stove chat. I wouldn't go there. <laughs> I wouldn't go to stove chat. All right, we got a new Raz. New Raz surely is the best Raz. Who do you prioritize using potions on? Um, use it on your Tyria, your Stunne. Really doesn't matter. Isn't kind of doing the X and guide as you right now? I hope not. I wouldn't be surprised that he, if anyone were to copy what I'm doing, I said a long time ago, it'd be him. <laughs> but I don't think he is. I think he's doing his own like rift thing. Yeah, I think he's speed running rift. 
I'm going to give Connor the benefit of the doubt that he's not doing what I'm doing. I think he's just doing Rift, but he was the person I said a long time ago that if anybody did what I'm doing, it would be him. <laughs> Yeah, he's he's doing rift. I think I think Kana respects me enough not to do it either. <laughs> Kana, uh, that's 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 just one thing. It's people are just letting me have this. This is like all I have going for me right now. So they're just letting me have my little bit of little bit of Epic Seven fame. Like everybody else, they all have more viewers than me. They all have more everything. So I think people are just like, okay, let's. They're 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 just letting me do it. They don't want to do it, so they'll just let me do it. And then, the thing is, if the more players I get into the game, though, they all they all do better. So the more players I can guide through getting into the game, yeah. Just those of you guys that don't know Tristan Wolf, you're getting into the game. He's going to be the best place to go after you finish my guide series. Like my videos from there are not helpful, really. I would say after my guide series, they're just like RTA playing RTA. Maybe you learn a little RTA stuff. But his videos are where to go to for like clearing Hall of Trials, like any PVE content, especially. Like, I mean, he's known as the PVE god. He's the person everybody, anytime new PVE stuff comes out, everybody's waiting to see how he beats it so they can save all the resources. Like, Tristan Wolf actually costs Smilegate like $100,000 a year because he makes people not waste resources. So, no one buys packs. So, Smile, so technically, Tristan Wolf is a liability to Smilegate taking money directly from their pockets. Because if Tristan didn't exist, everyone would be trying to figure, yeah, sticking it to the man. Everyone would be trying to figure out how to do the stuff themselves and spending way too many resources. Is a net positive? Maybe. It's infinite bitches. I wouldn't be surprised. Tristan, when you were on the official live stream, you look and you look nothing like I expected. I did not expect the long hair. You look like a like you could be a guitarist for any 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 band. Whether it's heavy metal, like you could fit anything. It was, it was very, very shocking. So after a bit of gear shifting, I now have a 100, 300 strays with 3.5k attack, but only 210 speed improvement needed. I need a big PP damage on 90 strays. You'll get a bunch from imprints. So over time, you get more from imprints. I, all right, but hi, Didi. Quick thing. I watched all your videos. Today's my 16th day. By which day should I have RT roster like yours? So if you're watching the guide series, I think day 16, we start talking about it. Loki spent 17k, Wyvern 13 mats, and barely 50% geared. Um, well, keep farming Wyvern. Just keep watching the guide series. As long as you're watching the guide series, it covers literally everything you should be doing with the, and I use the same amount of sky stones you're going to have. So I, I farm into Wyvern. We farm about 10k materials, and then I show you how to decide on your first roster. But Shiraz, Shiraz times three. Thank you for subbing as well. Welcome out. Oh, there's, the, you use the Twitch Prime too. Let's go. Stealing Bezos money. And yo, BKN with the Prime 2. There's our 20 subs for the day. Huge. The most subs we've gotten in a day in the last however long was 26. So we're almost tied with that. That's super cool. Especially since it's a new month. I know a lot of you guys' Primes will be resetting within like the next week too. I'm going to have to beg you guys to remember that it reset. Sure, I haven't bought any of the imprints. Well, I guess I know it's when my transmit stones on next week. I, okay. So personally, I don't think as an early player, early-ish player, you should, if you don't have a lot of ML5s, you should not be spending on that. Is haste good or bad? Both. He's good for Rift, bad for like everything else, I think. You might be able to use him some Labyrinth stuff because he does defense break and heals. But overall, haste was pretty bad until Rift came out. 
He's not usable in PvP. Let's just put it that way. He's not usable in PvP, really, but he's usable in PvE. Weirdly enough, I don't feel like I have a good Wyvern 13 auto farm team, but I have a team that can AFK Golem at 100%. I mean, Golem and Banshee are both pretty easy. Emil Haste now is the worst character. Pretty bad zone entertainment. Okay, well. Uh, Haste is good for Nightmare. Uh, great for Rift, yeah. He's also quite good for general PvE, yeah. Haste, I mean, any character that defense breaks is usually a decent character. They just get outclassed by somebody else. Uh, they've tried to buff like a dozen times. He's just resistant to being usable. Same with ML Haste. I don't know how they could buff him. ML Haste would have to have a full rework. That's the only way. You got two Haste on this account already? Uh-oh. You had Abyss 102 on my ult with Haste being my only healer? Really? Well, Cookie, you come up with the most nonsense stuff, so I'm not... I, I'm pretending i'm surprised but there was one floor of abyss that i didn't have um kitty clarissa built and i used cerise and i was the only person to ever beat it like going through the thing i was the only person to ever use cerise on it there was only one team and it was me <laughs> if you went through like the the thingies for it it was funny it's it's always cool when you come up with something to beat something that no one else has but i don't i would never suggest that team to anyone i played through the most it, it might have been 102 I used Cerise on it. Whatever floor it was, I used a uh, uh, Selene and I had to, I had to RNG the Selene attack to always pull my damage dealer. It was the only way I could be it because I didn't want to build Kate Clarissa at the time. And I, f I played that stage for like four days, 10 hours a day to beat it. And eventually I finally got the RNG run with uh, Cerise always pulling the damage dealer. I think Lorena. I think Shu is great for in both forms. Yeah, Shu is good in both forms. You think slates are worth it? Oh, what I was saying with that is if you don't have a lot of ML5s, it's not worth buying imprints. Um, it's worth trying to get more ML5s. I know the chance is low, but I highly suggest getting more ML5s or trying for more at least. Because having a character slightly stronger versus having more options, especially if you don't have a lot of ML5s, it means you're probably missing a lot of ML4s. And there are quite a bit of good ML4s. Oh my God, Eaton just healed so much. He thinks their slates are worth an arena. Yes, slates slates are always worth it. You always want to get slates. Oh, I need to buy the exclusive equipment for Tiaria. That would help a little bit right now. I spent transit stones on one Bellion imprint, not doing anymore. Yeah, the first imprint's always the best value. But even on my main account, guys, I haven't bought the I haven't bought imprints. This fight was a pain. Okay, if it's a pain, that means I need to hurry up and clear it. Seeing Eaton heal. Wait, I didn't cancel the auto. Uh oh, I was supposed to soul burn there. Oh, never mind. Never mind, my Stenny's a god. What do you mean this fight's a pain? My Stenny basically one shot it. Once I. Take some time and actually get Molagoras into my Stone Age. This will all be so much easier. Which we could go do that right now. Do we want to do that right now? No. Let's we'll just keep going. How does he do it? Crazy. But yeah. So next week when they announce all this stuff, there will be a video on my YouTube. So any anytime there's news, just check my Epic or my YouTube any Wednesday. Or just look in Discord YouTube video or whatever. Discord Epic Seven News. You'll see. You'll see the news. But one thing is the biggest thing my guide have to, has to offer that no other streamer, especially, is going to take the time to set up is that my guild system. I have 150 guilds in my Discord. No one else is going to take the time to do that. And technically, I didn't take the time to do it. I had a moderator do it. But that's the biggest thing that no other creator is going to take the time to manage or like oversee that many guilds and have someone to help them with all that. That I think is my biggest, biggest thing that no one else will be able to offer. I only have like 25. Yeah, we have 150. If the fact that you have 25 is crazy. Still two though. Like car, car has around 20, you have 25. You two are definitely the most. I cross link yours and mine for people too. So Tristan, maybe 
are your if you're willing to do more guilds people from mine as they get stronger could go over to your guilds because mine are basically new player guilds some of them turn into like more experienced guilds i hope, really hope limited Lodoka is a cleave support um in the current meta we're like full of debuffers she's a grass unit i could actually see her cleansing in some capacity it could be wrong but i very i feel like we're gonna see a lot of cleanser characters coming like we're gonna see christy sc that's probably gonna be really good but right now we are in a heavy debuff meta like debuffs are the most powerful thing in the game is charlie a good tank for beginners not really no like she can work. She's more of a damage dealer than a tank. Charlotte, Charlotte's made to deal damage. Pulled last piece Corinne, free comment or free summons my first time. Let's go. Last piece Corinne, you won't be able to build her for a while, but once you can, she she's really nice to have. Is Dizzy gonna make a comeback? I mean, you could always play Dizzy, it's just no one ever thinks to. I never think Dizzy's actually bad. If you ever pick Dizzy and the opponent doesn't have any cleansers, she's probably gonna be really good. But no one thinks to ever play Dizzy. She's just a character that she's not part of the normal meta and she never finds her way back. But if I built a Dizzy, I could probably play her a lot of my games. Last VK has crazy base speed and beginners can make a useful one early, I think. Yeah, as long as you can get her to like 260, 250 even would work for Arena and Guild Wars. Mine range was starter to top to 30. I have 25 friends of guilds, all power levels. Okay, so yours are. And then the 14 bot guilds on top of that, of course, but the new player guides always felt fastest. So having your Discord uh, guild hall's resource would be nice. Get a crosslink table HA, thank you. I uh, I need to make more guilds. The thing is, I say we have 150 guilds, but I think, especially once I release this video today for the first episode of 24 guide, I think we're gonna need to make like five more guilds in the next two days. Cause it's the weekend. The weekend is always like the big boost in people joining guilds too. So that's right after stream, I'm gonna be finishing up the video, but I'm gonna be doing some Discord work too. But Tristan, your pet guide, I'm going to I'm I'm gonna utilize your pet guide. Did your pet guide have the rift pets in it though? Because I don't want new players really pushing up on rifts. Yeah, and holidays coming up a lot. This is going to be a big month for content creators. It did not perfect. Because I don't want new players um building rift pets. Like I, I don't mind them like saving the rift stuff, but I think it did. Okay. Let me check. As long as, as long as you you don't say in the video that Rift is like early priority, then then it's perfect. Which I'm sure you didn't. But I I would rather use your pet guide than do one myself. I'm just gonna be showing people which pets to start with, and then uh, I want to have like I want to have a crossover because I can add your videos to my new player uh, playlist. So like my new player playlist. My uh, 2023 one has like 400,000 views just from people clicking on the playlist total between all the videos. So 400,000 views, but I could add your videos into my playlist. So people will see your video going through my playlist. So it should should help boost like people learning about you too. So there's, there's probably going to be a couple of the videos. I'll ask your permission first, of course, but a um, couple of your videos that I'll like lay out throughout my video and i'll say at that part of the guide uh here or the next video is going to be a video from uh, tristan going over this and then uh that way as they finish that video they'll see your video and then they'll go back to my guide for a few more and then if that's cool with you Actually, Tristan might be listening to his video, so I don't know. Oh, you don't need to ask my videos for everyone, so do what you like. Okay, well, it's going to be putting them technically on my channel. Like, I'm not uploading them. I'm just taking the video from your channel and putting it in my playlist. So, I know it's for everyone, but I don't know. I didn't want, I didn't know if you'd want my, I mean, technically, anyone could do it without permission. You don't have to technically ask permission, but try not to be an asshole. I didn't think you'd care. I mean, it should, it should help more people learn about you, too. Should I gear up Ocean Breeze Luka? Yes, Ocean Breeze Luka is really good. Oh, actually, two release and can guide can be hard unless your opponent picks them first. So the reason we are picking Destina is because if they take hand guy, we are taking Destina in the draft. As an early player, we are taking Destina if they take hand guy, but we are first picking hand guy if they don't first pick him. That is your strategy in RTA, which that is without having Destina as an early account, you're going to struggle. 
an RTA, especially right now with DDR out, you're still going to struggle. But having Destina will kind of help mitigate that. Dude, why does every character just give themselves the fattest barrier in Chapter 2? I don't remember this being annoying. Like, I feel like everything takes so long to beat because of these stupid barriers. Without them, it'd be so nice. How much does this heal? Does it even heal? No, thank goodness. The thing is, I don't think we beat Chapter 3 in the first guide until, like, day, like, 6 or 7. And I might be putting it in Chapter 2, beating in, like, day 4. People at lower ranks can't deal with it, yeah. Summer Lulica is really good. Stray's got barrier? Yeah, Stray's got, like, 9 barriers. Eaton got barrier. Like, everything we're fighting is getting a, like, 20,000 HP barrier. Hey, we at level 40. Nice. We have to get to rank 40 or 51 for the next Mulligora challenge, though. I actually think chapter two is just as annoying as chapter three. Like the enemies aren't as tanky, but they don't get these stupid barriers. Episode three is rough. If they didn't get Rowana, why is episode three rough without Rowana? Rowana's not needed at all. I think Rowana is actually like a, it would make your team worse if you were using Rowana for chapter three. Currently running Sharuna, Malifina, and Moshu defense. That's what, wait, Cookie, that's my defense too. What rank are you? Did I copy your defense? I've been, in, yeah, you're top 20. I think I copied your defense cookie because I looked at people's defenses and uh, now Ron is really good there. I'm surprised. But as a part of the new player guide, we are not building Rwanda. We're clearing it with Tamarin, Tamarin, Raz, Destina, plus one damage dealer. <laughs> We're not going out of our way to build Rwanda for that. We don't need it. It's, it, I mean, chapter three is still easy with this team. It's just annoying, it takes a long time. Is there an easy way of getting S abilities on pets other than summoning them? I think Tristan covers that in, um, in Tristan's guide. So my pet video is made after a rift and mentions the rift pets, but doesn't have recommendation on which pets prioritize first. Okay. Uh, but yeah, if you add that to the video description, that could be good. Cause that's like a, one thing a lot of players question is like, what, what priority, who's the first pet I should put the most focus on, which is probably AP or hunt pet, probably hunt pet. AP pet at level, uh, level 3, level 4 is enough. The first level 5 pet, I think, should be um, Hunt Pet, for new players especially. Because that's what they're mostly going to be farming. And they don't even have to max out the pet. Honestly, having level 4 pets is fine, but... A video covers how to get 3x and make chance to have skills. Yeah, so Tristan, wait, do you have a link to the video? Because that'd be perfect for a couple people in chat right now. There you go. Those of you guys that are curious about pets, there's a perfect guide. Those of you on YouTube, I'm going to send you the link to the video too. So as you guys that don't know who Tristan Wolf is, he's like top PV content creator for Epic 7 by far. And that's because he focuses on PvP. He's actually good at PV or PvE. He's actually good at PvP too. He just fills a niche that no other content creator really does. Yeah, one shot. One shot. I don't recommend building one shots for most new players. Like, wait until you played the game minimum six months before you even really consider doing one shot stuff. If you try to force one shotting, most of my stuff is mid to late game. Yeah. It's basically once they get past my 30 day uh, guide though, Tristan, your guides are perfect. Like they might be lacking characters, but they have their account stabilized enough that they could follow everything. It's got three nice by com uh, combining. Yeah. What is a good use of wisdom gaze? I don't even know what that is. What is wisdom gaze? You got good synergy? Yeah. I, I, I really, I mean, I told you before, I really think if there's some way for you to have like, uh, I don't know how, what you could do for it actually, but just to where when people are done with me, they go to you. I just don't know the best like transition for that. Besides tell people to go to you at the end of my guide series. I need to actually make a final episode of my guide series. Oh, holy child's currency. You're going to be using that for, um, your exclusive equipments for your characters. I don't, I've never even, I don't think I've ever heard Wisdom Gaze. I have no idea. 
I like to do the same so people do you because I get a lot of I, I can't quite do this uh what do I do the problem is if you send them to me and they've already gone without me for so long then they're going to they're, they won't have the same stuff but most people that are watching you probably will have a Seri instead of Destina so they'll be more focused PvE which in my guide I'm gonna be covering where you could use a Seri so maybe maybe it won't go too bad yo Edie what's going on here secret this is a secret stream what are you up to today though wait you dm me i i don't think i checked dm yet we're farming new discord members that's what today is trying to get as many new discord members as possible today thank you dm me i had like five dms oh that was all you asked okay and the answer to that dealing with drama i know the thing is we're getting so big it's just gonna happen every day it's, there's, it's just we're we're just gonna have to pretty much ignore it and if people are dumb like i i filled out a couple tickets the other day myself even but it's usually the person making the ticket is the person that like got extra offended when they were the one offending other people too it's almost every time like the person who makes the ticket is usually the one that's like creating the issue to begin with and they didn't like getting talked back to the way they talked to the other person almost every time <laughs> Damn, if only Eaton's like that in PvP, he is. That's one thing is Eaton is crazy in PvP. Uh, when these, when uh, there are buff events, burning passion packs are the go. Oh, sorry, the spending question. Thank you, Tristan, for answering that. But BK and um, Tristan, Tristan's answer goes for your question. But most of us here are casual spenders too. Please land a poison. Thank you. We should kill. Would a written summary or guide help folks that are looking for it to start? I mean, it would. A written guide would help, but that means I get less YouTube views because people would just go to the written guide instead of the YouTube videos. So I'll be honest, that's actually part of why I didn't do a written guide last time because I'm wanting my YouTube to grow and I didn't want to have people just use a written version when I put a lot of effort into the video version. I know it would help a lot of people, but I'm trying to do this for a living, so... Having people just use the written version feels kind of bad, but I know it'd help. I probably should make one, but I'm, I'm being completely honest here. Like, it's a very greedy thing to say, but like, I'm trying to do this for a living. Less of a written version, more like a table of contents. I mean, that would be probably really nice. I and mean, probably already mentioned what do enemies do with how many economy plays? What? Probably already memorized what every enemy do? No, I don't know what half the stuff does. I beat all the game on auto. <laughs> I know what all the heroes do, but like these fights, I like th these are all Yu-Gi-Oh. Like I ain't reading that. I'll just auto it. If I fail, I'll go level up myself and auto it again. <laughs> I don't know what 90% of the stuff in this game does. For me, I like getting what I pay for. I don't like spending on a chance like buying. Yeah. I. But there you go. There are your there are your answers for your question, BK. Um, I I think the exact same thing. Like buying for su paying for summons is usually pretty rough unless it's like in a bundle pack with guaranteed stuff that's going to be coming in. Wait, the thing keeps cleansing. Wait, he's sucking my souls away too. I haven't soul burned yet. My souls are being sucked. Dude. Kaurik would be the per like the perfect person to invite over for Thanksgiving. I've never bought a gear pack. I have bought one gear pack in my life. Gear packs are pretty insane volume for catch up. Yeah, gear packs are are good value. They are RNG, but they are good value too. Are you supposed to kill the orbs first? Ooh, killing the orbs was actually not bad. I think he's going to steal my souls. I'm just going to burn here. Wait. Oh, I was about to say I got bamboozled. As a Yu-Gi-Oh player, this text ain't enough to stop me because I can't read. <laughs> There's too much text for me. Even on Abyss Floors, I usually don't read this stuff. I just watch what it does and then learn over time. It's almost every Abyss Floor. If you watch my new player like guide, my last Abyss Floor guide, I was like, well, I don't know what these characters really do, but this is what you do to beat it. <laughs> Almost every single one of them.
One pack is basically a buff event. Day and one pack, yeah. Yeah, you're basically you're basically getting like a full hunt buff day of value from buying those packs. For fifty bucks, it's not terrible. Plus you get like fifteen hundred sky stones. Like the the and you get uh equipment change stuff, like and you get reforged mats. The equipment packs are insane value, but they're fifty bucks. But other than that, the only thing I suggest buying are all the cheap packs. Buy all the uh all the cheap packs are good value. All the two dollar, five dollar stuff, that's always a good buy. Rank up packs as a new player though, that's where I would spend all my early money. Cause like 50, you're basically spending 50 bucks for a hundred dollar value on every pack. Actually, I think first rank up packs only 30 bucks for a hundred dollars of sky stones. It's, it's not bad at all. Uh, I remember the Roman floor where you said you can't remember what he did, but was annoying to be fair. Who remembers that from multiple years ago? Yeah. That's the problem up until I did these new player guides is people would ask me, how do I beat X4? And I was like, I don't remember. I beat it like four years ago, <laughs> five years ago for some of these floors. Let it kick your ass so you get stronger. Yep. That's literally how I do every single Abyss floor. Especially to change gyms feel terrible to farm without a booster or pack. Yes. I only remember floors from 102. I don't remember those floors at all. The thing is, most like high-end RTA players paid someone to do their Abyss Force for them too. So like, I remember, I think it was Kenny. I'm pretty sure Kenny paid someone to beat all the Force for him. <laughs> he said it on stream, the reason I'm saying that. But I'm pretty sure a lot of those guys, they just paid someone to beat the Force. They didn't bother with them. Wait, you've done 102 to 120 like five times. Wait, were they? Or were you the one they were paying to beat those? <laughs> I think you were. You're the one making money off these guys. That's the thing with Epic 7. It is so worth it. If Epic 7 is your main game, Epic 7 is so worth it to like give other people money sometimes to do the stuff you don't want to do. It's it's so value. <laughs> I completely understand people that paid me for account work because even when I was doing it, I was like, man, I wish I could pay someone else to do this, this person's account for me. <laughs> You've done them a couple times too. Tristan, do you have videos over all the Abyss floors? I don't remember if you did or not. The thing is, I think when, oh, your Abyss floors you did a long time ago and you used characters that, like, we had to use certain limited characters and stuff back then. I'm, I, I can't remember if it was you I looked at or whose I looked at, and they were used, like, a lot of, like, SSB and stuff that people aren't going to have. Most of the top ones, but like 90 plus, they're old and need redone, yeah, because there's a lot more options that newer players could use instead of the limited characters. That's what I'm running into right now, because my hope was just find someone who had the Abyss Floors done to link for my people to beat all of them. Because if someone made an Abyss Floor 92 guide right now that is like mostly using characters that I beat through, or use through the guide series, that video, I think, like first day is going to get like 5k views. There are so many people stuck on Abyss 492, which I'm supposed to get that done today, but we'll see. Like I, I, the only reason I'm doing it is because I promised I would do up to 100, but the thing is I'm not using a Seria. If somebody uses a Seria for it, that would probably make it so much easier. F Floor 92, yeah, Floor 92 is where I think there's like 5,000 people that went through my guide that are stuck there right now. I have no limited, no ML5 full auto 92 video that's recent. Oh, do you? Wait, wait, I might have found a cheat code to skipping Abyss content. I'll give it to you. Okay, thank you. I, I still feel bad because I told people I would do it. So I f still feel like I should kind of stay true to some of the stuff I say. <laughs> but you, I, I know you use Kyrus for it. There's no way you didn't use Kyrus. Use Momo, Kira, Cesaria, you have Aria. Okay, well, I mean, your team, you can you can definitely slightly adjust that. Because Momo, Kira, Cesaria, a lot of people will have, but people following my guide won't have Cesaria, mostly. Some might, but most won't. So I guess I'll do a version without Cesaria just to show it is doable. But Cesaria, Cesaria that is one floor Cesaria will make quite a bit easier. Because having the strip and defense break is huge. Yeah, cheat code, just a wolf. <laughs> Anything that I can find to make making this guide easier, I'm definitely doing it this time. Because the last time, I legit gave up an entire month of my life to finish it. 
I did nothing else. I did, I barely left my room in a whole month period. Like I would leave my room to either go heat up food. Well, no, my car was crashed. So I couldn't even like go drive and get food. I had to like, the only time I leave my room was to cook. Thankfully I have my car back this time so I can just run to the store and grab food real quick. It makes it a little easier. Grab something that's already cooked. Dude, this video on YouTube has 2,000 views, so it's really nice. Hey, anyone that's watching on YouTube, if you're willing to like the stream, we can get it to like at least like 70. That'd be really nice. I want to try to get all the streams. I need to start asking a little bit more because if I get all the streams to 100 likes before I public them, it'll help them, I think, a lot throughout the uh, life of them being up. Momo for you, Kyrus for you, Siri, mostly recommended for Selective Summon, yeah. Most recommended her from Selective Summon. Yeah, mo uh, anyone who wasn't following my guide will have her, but I convinced a lot of people not to take her. But not having Destina early RTA, dude, I can't. No one will ever convince me that Asteria is more important to take because I was able to beat everything without her up until floor 100. And at that point, you can just go summon on her. But getting into RTA without Destina and like trying to climb to champion arena without her, it's so hard. Like it not having that one character it makes it so much harder. Like the ability to revive your whole team is just, it's irreplaceable. Like you're not going to pull Maid Chloe. You're not going to pull a single reviver other than her. So that's, that's so hard for me. I mean, the cleanse is nice too, but it's mainly the revive. Because if most like arena teams and stuff, they'll have like one big threat that's going to kill something right away. And if you can just revive and then re-kill that threat, you win, you win the arena fight. So it's, it's like she's an easy, easy way to get up to champ arena, which is huge for a newer account. Because then you get 800 sky stones a week minimum. So that over a month period, because you picked Astina, you're now getting an extra close to 1k sky stones every month. Plus, you got er faster early rewards for climbing to champion, which is like an extra two or three thousand. Like, and she's insane in RTA. Like, not having her for RTA, I really don't know how it would do early RTA. It makes it so much harder. Like, I know, I even I even said in my new guide, I was like, Asera is really, really good. I know this. Last time I made this guide, a lot of people made or thought that I thought she was bad. She is not bad by any means. But if you want to get into PvP and don't take her, you're really handicapping yourself. And plus, I like I really think you should summon on Asaria for getting her artifact too, because for all PvE content, there's so much that Song of Stars is useful in. One-shot comps, just general damage comps for Rift even. Because it like Song of Stars is going to be usable in every single Rift, I guarantee it. It's going to be a very important artifact for all that. It's good in a lot of the like higher Abyss floors, having it on certain characters. Because you can't use Daydream Joker, so, but you can land target and get extra damage that way. I just really prefer to summon on, or banner on story summon. As, as areas in that fight, less for the breaks, more for the strips, yeah. Uh, you could probably find a replacement for I mean, I used Falconer Clary. Or, or did I use Falconer Clary? I mean, when I did that fight, I'm pretty sure I used the same team through all of this. I used Spectre Tenebria, Shu, Tamarin, Crozet. I used Crozet for every floor. And Crozet was able to keep it alive. I mean, just don't do it full auto. Yeah, I didn't. I don't auto any any of them. But I'm pretty sure I used Crozet on every single floor the first time I did uh, this challenge account. Just I was in I was in love with Crozet for the first one. I just couldn't believe how good he was without me knowing. Like he made all content easy because Stenny never died with him. Stenny never died. You get defense buff and barrier anytime Stenny got to have HP, and she'd get healed. So it made it, it made it so hard for RNG to kill you. Like Crozet's like the the RNG savior by giving that barrier. But he gets it every turn. You know how much every single turn getting a fat barrier with defense buff on a character? You know how good that is? Like Crozet is so underrated. I no one's gonna convince me otherwise. I beat I beat everything with him. Because I didn't use Raz on the first account that I did. I only used Crozet for all of story, all of everything. And I just full autoed everything so up until Zeo. That was the first fight I had to not full auto. Yeah, but he looks like a dork. I know he looks like a dork. Well, this uh, will this will be a team that will beat Fossus. I'm scared, yes, but it's a little RNG on beating him because he has dodge chance. It might take a couple runs.
Level 50 Noble Oath Crozo was pretty much immortal. Wait, Tristan, did you decide what video you're making for the video competition? Because it looks like Khan is doing that Rift video. I mean, you don't have to share if you don't want. Doing lore story video? Okay, cool. I think that has a high chance of winning. Like, mine, I think, has a high chance of winning because it's a new player guide. If they put that in the game, it's going to help, like, the retention of the game. But I think lore story video or any kind of, like, if someone puts a lot of animation or, like, takes the time and makes, like, a really, like, basically a high-budget video, I think that has a high chance to win, too. But I definitely think, I think both of us should be able to get, like, within the prize pool for sure. But lore story video, I think, could go really hard. How do you care they're going to score them? They said their own internal metrics? Yeah. I'm very curious of that, too. That that means they're basically... It's okay, so I think what that means, Tristan, is they already have their winners picked, and they're just going to let us all upload videos, and they might take one or two of our videos and give us 500 bucks. <laughs> That's how I think this is going to go. <laughs> but hope it's something to compete with people like Valk's professional editor. Yeah. Valk, whatever Valk's doing... It's gonna be hard to compete with too, but I'm pretty sure what that means. Like, if it was a, a thing over voting, then it's a popularity contest, which sucks. But um, the voting thing, I think, is kind of bad. But I think it's more fair than them them not telling us how they're deciding who wins. But I don't think I'd win a popularity contest. A popularity contest, I think, if Jinazed just released any video, he could like release a video of his feet. And he could probably win it just by posting it in his Twitch chat every couple little bit to tell people to go vote. <laughs> Valk, I'm 90, is doing uh, beginner's PvP guide, is he? So that's why he's taking a long time to do it. Has he, he hasn't released anything yet, has he? No, he hasn't. Dang, Valk hasn't made a video in 10 days? Wait, Valk has been like AFK. Valk hasn't done much. His last videos were 10 days ago. Either Valk's working on something super hard. I could see Valk working on... Valk might be cooking something up. This is scary. Valk, is, Valk has not made many videos over the last little bit. All right, time to investigate. PSA, what do you got in here? Wait, he hasn't even shared much in, in Discord either. Oh, wait, there's a thing. Someone just, they posted, oh, that was November 30th. Whoops. Questions regarding content creator regarding caption on submission. Actually, please include the original file that's videos with the caption and the video without the caption of the single submission. What they need as the caption would be the dialogue script of video. Oh, boy. Okay, well, that's at least easy. So I don't actually have to add captions to my video. That's nice. I thought we had to add captions to our videos. But Charfay, dead game? Was there a need for you to shove reality down your throat? What do you mean reality down your throat? What's the cutoff day? I think it's the 14th. I think it's the 14th. Two gala for 960 worth it? I don't think so. It's nine. It's. Wait, is it two summons for 960? I don't. I don't like buying moonlight bookmarks for sky stones. Moonlight bookmarks. I mean, you could buy them and get a crazy mall five, but it's, you're just gambling. So if you want to do it, go ahead. But I don't. I never tell anyone to do it. Because if you spend 960 sky stones to get two ML3 stars, then that feels really bad. It's two summons for 960. I mean, technically that's good value, but you're gambling. So if you want to gamble, go ahead. The reason I don't like galaxies is because there's no guarantee at a five star versus using like buying mystics, you're going to have a better chance to get five stars. So, because you're going to be working toward a pity. Like technically um, galaxies, you work toward an ML4 star pity. Okay, well, I need to kill this stupid thing. He's annoying. No, he's a bit confused. It's one summon for 960. You buy two of them. Oh, okay. So, yeah, it's 960 per summon. Oh, crap. 
That didn't kill him. Well, that's bad. Oh shit, my bad? You're good, you're good. <laughs> Don't make my mistake. Let's wait till we get defense break again. Right. Just rotate her. Wait, I don't have defense break for two turns. Maybe I should have just ripped and got the poisons. They should have a guaranteed after like 10 pities. A guaranteed... I mean, the way they have it now is somewhat balanced. They don't want to just give away ML5s, guys. All right? Like, they treat us... Compared to what we used to have, they treat us very good. Like, it could always be better. I know. It could always be better. But... I don't know. I, I'm very happy with the state of the game in terms of all the pity systems and everything. That was the easiest lab floor so far. What stage are we on? I don't remember doing any of this. We're on 8-7. I don't remember doing any of this. And I did this, what, two months ago, three months ago? I had to have just been watching TV. During the stream, gotta go. Uh, we stream at the same time tomorrow? Yeah. I'm gonna be streaming every day for this new player guide because I want the VODs on YouTube for people to watch along and play. Hey man, new player here. Is it worth buying, uh, burning my leaves on energy for on for Yes, it's worth burning even your some of your sky stones for energy. Like you get thirty thousand free sky stones as a new player, and I definitely think that burning at least ten k of them is a really good idea for your account. That helps you stabilize your account faster. And as a new player, you're not gonna have the gear to build many uh, characters anyway. So pulling too many characters without gear sucks. Be back soon. You need to go to the local dealer to get some central nervous system simulants. <laughs> All right, cool. Without committing homicide. Oh, you're saying coffee. I really thought you were going to... Okay. You you had me in the first half. But all right. Tristan, if I'm not live uh, before you get back, I am going to try to find a couple of your videos today and I'll like send you the ideas over as to what I'm going to plan out. I can't stream for too much longer because I have to get that new player guide video out today. Meaning I have to grind for like two to three hours after stream. So it'll be out tonight. It's the earliest I could get it up. But also, uh, both of there have a great rest of your day too. I have tried to not say your name at all because I knew I'm gonna obliterate it. I think ML5s are too common. Gear more exciting summoning. Yeah, that's that. I I'd say that at the beginning of my new player guide too. This game is definitely hope we uh, hope to get to mine in the next couple of, uh, days. But hey, Arya, is DDR a good choice for Moonlight Blessing? Mm, I wouldn't get it from Moonlight Blessing. Death Deal or sorry, Death Deal Ray is really good right now. But Mediator Kyrick is going to be the best character for any account if you don't have him yet. So even if you're late game, Death to, or, uh, Meteor Kyrick is still going to be better. If you're early game, it's definitely going to be best. So Mediator Kyrick is a character that can't really be replaced. And he adds more to your account than Death Dealer Ray could. But Death Dealer Ray is really strong. If you want to get him from Headhunt, he's not a terrible character to get. But you'll avoid changer what's up. New, um, compared to almost any other gotcha, they treat us well, yes. But good morning, Cranesoon. How's it going? Is episode 2 still early game? Yes, episode 2. We're still very early game. Like, Epic 7, it's been out five years, so you gotta think we are... Mitchell DD here? What's up, Daniel? Yeah, we are very far into... Or not very far into anything at all. Like, it goes all the way up to chapter 5, and chapter 3 and 4 each take, like, double the time it takes to clear chapter 2. I'm the same uh, Twitch already. I just couldn't come there. Oh, you're good. Boy changer. Uh, who do you recommend getting from Headhunt apart from Galaxy? I have a video on that on my channel, Tensei. If you if you uh, if you click out of the stream on my, onto my main channel, you can see the video. I, any of the characters in the top suggestion are still the same, except you can move DDR up into the top two. I think he would be a fine pick. But there's a list of like 10 characters that are just above everything else, but they're all about the same level. Long stream hype, I had to leave it open for a bit, be still here, Thinus? Yep. I did a short stream yesterday, so I'm trying to make up for it today with the longest stream. See, this is a nightmare to build. Not really. Like, to build a crazy Celis, yes, but to build just a usable Celis, no, she's not that hard to build. Got a save from Reroll and Sigurd from Hunt thing? Nice. So cigarette, cigarette, everybody gets for free. Take a break. I am not allowed to take any breaks the rest of the year. Like I might take a break going into like 
maybe Christmas and New Year's. I might like take a little time off. Yeah, we got to 178 surveys too. I'm going to, I haven't announced that even in Discord yet. I think once I put that in Discord, um, if we were able to get to like 500 tomorrow, because uh, tomorrow I'm going to promote it more in the stream. I'm probably going to start the stream a little bit later tomorrow too to try to target um, more of a US audience because the problem is when I was streaming early in the morning, no one's from US. Got to get them account works done, Joey. Dude, I, I, I'm not touching account work right now because the new player guide, but I need to get it done so I can get back to some account work. Teria is still not six star. No, she's six star. She's level 60. But Tristan, you have a 308 C list and I have a 210 Super Tank C list. Both get used, yeah. Like C list can be used. You can even do effect res, like 250 speed effect res C list. It's really good. Like any C list is fine. Like the more I play, I've been seeing, like my Meteor Cowork is 270 speed and I outspeed like half the C list as I fight with him. But my C list is only 284. Like I just put her really bulky on immunity at 284. I, I like her build. I don't remember this boss. Yeah, I don't. Whatever part of the chapter or the game we're in right now, this is just a blur. Like, I don't remember any of this. He doesn't have his ult yet. I'm four turns away. I think we can just kill him with damage, but it, at half health, at half health, does he go crazy? Oh, we got a poison. That's big. All right, Tyr dies, Raz dies. We have a bunch of soul burns. We have a Tamarin. Uh oh. And he has his ult. Does Sandy just get cooked here? Kind of scared to soul burn. I'm only going to soul burn once. Try to land a poison. I don't think I can kill it. So let's. I don't want her to push above my Destina. And I want to heal her and pray that she survives. Can you check the map? I just see which chapter I was. So you know, I'm in chapter 8. I'm in chapter 8, stage 8, I think. I didn't one shot her, luckily. I think she survives one more hit. The poison. Oh, wait, it cleanses when I hit it. That sucks. Okay, that also reset me, but I think. All right, we're just going to S1 and then we'll doggo. All right, we're chilling. Shouldn't hand guy go late in the game to cleanse? What do you mean go late in the game? Well, my hand guy goes first, gives attack buff to my characters that are 260, and then he warhorns back up. So once you click S3, you get 50% extra CR, and then once you get Warhorn, he's gonna he's gonna get a second turn right after they all go. So my hand guy is tuned perfectly for my characters, and he always gets two turns. His second turn always comes after they put debuffs in. So I get my first couple hits generally, and then he's rotated back. But a lot of the times I'll just S2 on him to attack down something too. So having a fast hand guy just allows me options. The reason I did it is because Stray's like a meta. Uh, I, I continue to find myself drafting four semi-soul characters. So I was like, okay, if I just build my Meteor Cow faster than Strays and Laika, ML Laika, we're fine. So that was my strategy with that. And he would outspeed Strays and ML Laikas, and I'd attack break them. They'd do nothing to me. So it worked really well. Is ML Selene worth from Selector? I would say no, if, unless you have a bunch of ML Fives. But ML Selene is not very usable. Like, she's usable, but in very rare situations. She's very easy to beat. So as a late draft pick, or like a late pick, she's really strong. Um, even fighting arena defenses, a lot of the time she's not very good. Last time I was played, I was doing the three star red completion of episode one. I don't know what, what that is. But yeah, we're about to, we're about, this is the last uh, stage of chapter eight is what we're at right now. One of the first only dragons we fought. There was a red dragon we fought before this, though. So. This was that was a blue dragon. We fought a red dragon in like chapter four, chapter three, chapter four of this chapter or story two. I don't know. Is this story two or chapter two? I don't know how the chapters and stories work. But there was a red dragon we fought earlier. Which team can I use in episode two? Also, do I wyvern to hunt gear them rights? Well, you won't be farming wyvern. You'll be using all free gear. So if you're following my guide series, Panda, this is the team that we everybody uses clearing chapter two. This team right here, everyone has access to all these characters. So this is a team we use for chapter two and three. 
had to manual my first battle today, Mort 310. I'm manualing certain stages just to make it faster. Plus, I don't want to upgrade gear. But I've manualed quite a bit today, but as long as you upgrade your Tiarius gear, you really don't have to. I just have farmed less on recorded history than I normally would. Because I'm trying to do as much of the stream, as, or as much of this account as I can on stream. So I'm avoiding as much as I can of farming a ton off stream, but I'm, I'm going to have to. So that, because I don't want to just sit and farm on stream. I want the stream to actually be like clearing stages and things like that. Because no one needs to just sit and watch me farm on record history. That doesn't really help anybody. But Pwn Juice, what you up to today? My straight isn't like a resist your hand guy attack down, okay? That happened way less than I thought it would. You can farm in the background though? I, I could, but farming in the background, it, it like messes up a lot. Last time at least it did, so. And I don't want to be laggy for the stream. I'll just have it farming on the side while I'm making the new player guide videos after. So as I'm like editing and doing stuff, this will just be farming on the side. It's fine. And I'll just like tell how much I farmed every day at the start of the streams. On recorded history, it was rough for me, so I couldn't do it. Well, you're not using this team then? This this team, this team, I already cleared all on recorded history on this guide account. So all on recorded history is cleared. This this team right here clears everything. That was two or four years ago. Oh, okay. You can use some of the gazillion stamina I got you. You, how much stamina are you up to? Wait, Thinus, did you just play like twenty hours? both days since you started that account or i think you started the same day i did you'll probably start all over again i would i would suggest if you have an old account even if you have a bunch of like limited characters and stuff if your account's just in shambles i'm telling you if you start a new account you're gonna be happy with the results your account will look much better very very quickly maybe i did maybe i didn't brig is very good yes brig is very good Someone asked, following your guide on Monday 6, promise upgrading equipment, saying, suggesting you need to farm on recorded history. So what I say about farming on recorded history, you need to have it running like 24 seven. That is what you need to be doing. You need to, that's why I suggest using emulators. So if you're anywhere near your computer, then you can just have the emulator auto farming while you're up doing anything else. Just go back to your computer, restart the farm. I mean, you could do it from your phone, but your phone's gonna overheat. And if you have to do anything else on your phone, you have to pause the farming, so. Like upgrading gear, it's just as easy as it was before. Nothing's changed. It's just you don't feed gear into gear. You sell the gear and then use the dust. So it's it's not much different at all. Background battle drained my battery. Dude, background battling ruined my old phone. I had Wyvern burnt into my phone. Like I, I had to get a new phone because like anytime I do anything, I just had repeat battle like farmed into it. And then it was it was not good. So I ruined, I ruined a, I don't know, iPhones are expensive. It's like at least a $700 phone from Farming Wyvern when you can just get an emulator for free and save the life of your phone. I have a tablet just for seven. Okay, well, if you have a tablet, you don't need an emulator. Tablets are superpower. I just, no one in the United States has a tablet hardly. So it's very weird to hear anyone having a tablet. We all have like computers, phones, and that's it. The only people that have tablets are kids in the states that I ever see. I know some of you are like, I have a tablet, but just from my experience, yeah, there it is, angels, right there, right as I say it. I know some of you will have tablets, but it's just not very many. A tablet, it's an iPad, okay, well. And I'm 25, you're still a kid. How's the Curious LD player and Bissessual to run a Shizzy's program? I mean, all streamers use it pretty much, and I've been using it for five years and never had a problem, so. All emulators are gonna look a bit sketchy. The only emulator that's ever had like a problem that I know of, at least popular one, is Nox Player. They had like some kind of security thing. But I haven't heard of any other emulator ever having something like that. But you're still alive? Yeah, we're grinding today. Can I take Stenny from Selector? What do you mean, can you take Stenny? That's what you're supposed to do. Void. Oh, you mean from Headhunt? Void, you're. You are the weirdo that didn't take Stenny, right? I would take Stenny from your headhunt. I remember your account. 
Chrissy say I like 8k stat zones? Oh, sorry, Chrissy, you said something earlier. Deity, quick question. I heard you mention about 30k stat zones for free. So I guess I would total, yeah, it's the total amount you get for doing Abyss and all of that. All the story clear, all of Abyss, your arena rewards, all of that. Um, so I guess that's the total amount you get from doing all story chapters. Yeah, it's everything combined. So one thing with that, you're not going to get it all at one time. I highly suggest not going below 8k sky stones. So if you're using sky stones to refarm or to refresh stamina, try not to go below 8k. 8k is the the safe number to where you're once or you should be able to get it. Only time I hardcore farm hunts on my phone is because of work. Yeah, that's that's where I was. I was at work and I had my phone plugged in and I was just doing Wyvern all night. This was three, four years ago and my phone was cooked. It was just, it was toast from there. Oh no, there's an Asari on my screen. Uh-oh. Dude, my Destina? Why is my Destina getting provoked? The stage actually sucks. Oh, well, how do we beat this? Because Destina is provoked. Do we have to kill the little guys first? I need to go level up more stuff, I guess. Feels bad, man. Uh, I'm on my main on LD by my ult on my phone. I do that too. I play multiple or different accounts on different things, which is also nice. All right, is Destina even re... Destina doesn't even need reset, but I want to have her have her S3 next turn just in case. And we need to get the speed buff going. Build Momo SC. I personally think you should not build Momo SC for a while. Like, don't do not do it too early. All right, dude, how are these things? I have over 100 effect resists, do I not? How are these things hitting me? Did you claim the conquest points? No, I did not. I, but if I would suggest using... Uh... Which one's number one? Okay, we get an S3 off, thank goodness. Getting 15% by PVE. It's not 15% because it's hitting me. I just can't believe, like, these things have a lot of effectiveness. So my Destina has at least 100. Well, no, she... Oh, she doesn't have her spirit thing anymore. That kind of explains why. Stage is a little... It's starting to get kind of hard. This is why, uh, this is definitely why I waited until day like six of the last guide to, to uh, show beating Faustus because this is a little bit harder than I remember. OMG, you streamed so long. Yes, we were doing a very long stream today. I'll probably end up ending somewhat soon. But I wanted to get as much done as I possibly could. The more I get done today, the better. Should I six star six star simple Angelica for far, six star simple and fix? Should I six star simple Angelica for Wyvern one shot? EB, uh, are you to a point where you can confidently one shot it? If you, I mean, I know your account is like decently older now, so if you're confident you can do it, then yeah, you can. I mean, no, you don't have to. No, simple Angelica doesn't need six star. Nah, no, just leave her five star. What am I saying? Just leave her a five star for sure. I have mine at five star on my main account. All you need is 200 effect rows, two or 200 effect rows, 200 speed, or 220 speed. I think 220 speed, 200 effect rows. That's all you need. Is it two? It's something like that. 220, 200. I think it was. Are you gonna upload videos of the streams edited? Yes, I'm. I am making the edited versions. Trust me, I'm not gonna make everyone watch a super long stream. <laughs> that would be the laziest way to do this. I'm not gonna make everybody do it. Check guild chat. I yellowed. Oh boy, here we go. Ooh, you got guiding light, nice. I don't even care that you got Cerise, but getting guiding light's big. Having Cerise is nice for expos though. Okay, so what was I doing? I don't remember. How old? Oh yeah, EB, EB's account's a little bit older. He's like, he's probably close to six months or longer, right? Probably longer. Even I'm not that lazy, I know it's crazy to think I'm actually not too, or not lazy enough to do that, but. Okay, claim all that. I think we have a couple summons, right? 
have four whole summons for Tamron. What does Wailing in this game do? You just have duplicates like other gacha systems. Wailing in this game just gives you like more chances to get more stuff, I guess. It it gives you imprints, but the imprints only give like a tiny stat boost. So it's not really that big of a deal. Oh, we got Mui. Okay, well, we're still not gonna use him, but I'm gonna show him. We're going to use him after we beat it with Alexa, but I wanna show people how to beat it with Alexa. But hey, we got him at least, so I'll go ahead and lock him. So, dude, I cannot get an account that gets unlucky. It's just not possible. The only thing I get unlucky on is actually summoning Tamarin, but everything else I always get every single thing I could ever need. Dacina is good early game in PvP. Yeah, this, the only Dacina, she's nothing special early game either. Like putting her in your story team, like there's like a billion better characters you put in there. We just put her in there because, I mean, we're gonna end up six starring or leveling up anyway. Why not just, just start on the progress instead of using like Angelica or something? But Dacina is insanely good. She gets picked in the Epic Seven World Cup, which is the biggest tournament. She gets picked in it constantly. But so Dacina is like. She is an insanely good top tier PvP character. I remember he cited uh, you need her in PvP. Oh wait, what does whaling this game do? Why not try other gotchas instead to grow to grow account? Wait, why not try other games? It's hard. It's not that easy. You try other games. You, all of you guys watch me for E7. You guys aren't interested in the other game that I do. And I don't have a base audience to try to grow in the other games. So all the other games, creators are already going to, everyone's just going to watch the already established creators. Guys, content creation is way harder than any of you guys will ever realize. In terms of growing, like doing content creation is easy, but the growing aspect is very, very hard, especially changing games. So like, that's why most creators stick to one game or one like batch style of game. The only time you see creators switch games is when they're big creators or they don't care about their channel. So those are the only only two there. Like if they don't care about their viewership, then they're more likely to switch games and never care. And that's why you never start on Twitch too. Quincy? Wait, what do you mean never start on Twitch too? Oh, start on Twitch is like the beginning of your content journey? Yeah, because you're like unfindable. And Epic 7, if you start on Twitch, it might not be the worst, but most other games, no, you're just going to get buried and screwed. RTA in such a bad spot now, I legit stopped wanting to play. Yeah, I haven't played in a few days. I played draft mode yesterday. Like, RTA was super good and the DDR got buffed, and I am just, like, every draft I'm terrified a DDR is going to get picked, and then I'll pick a DDR, and then my draft is, like, a disaster. I I think Epic's like I love the meta before DDR buff, but him getting buff just scares me so much. Like I if I'm drafting, I know I'm weak to him in every draft I do, but then if I don't pick him, or then if I pick him, he doesn't always fit in my draft very good. So I'm just like, this character is it's just too much. It's like it basically have to do a full draft order shift from my main drafting strategy. Next character's got to be Cleanser. We're getting Chrissy's special change announcement. It's got to be next Wednesday. And she, she'll help a little bit, but I don't even think that's going to help that much. Unless it has, like, she's going to have to have, like, an, her, an extra ability that cleanses your team when the opponent uses a non-attack skill. Like, she'll be the first character that does that, because she's not one that does it right now. So if we, if we get a character that cleanses one buff after your opponent uses a non-attack skill that can be activated, like, once every three turns, that is, like, the hardest DDR counter out there. Because it'll just cleanse the sleep or cleanse the venom, one of the two. It needs to cleanse the venom or the sleep, though. If it doesn't cleanse the sleep, it's useless. Which, granted, your backline unit will still be fine and can't be reached, but I don't know. DDR, I'll just S2, exactly. So at that point, you'll just S2. You're not going to be landing your venoms, though, on Christy or the backline unit, which is nice. So you're mitigating two of the venom damages, but I don't know. Bad. I just got sent a picture of me from 2010. It's so funny.
Dude, I had some crazy hair. I had, my hair was so long in high school. DR took one of my pre-band slots, yeah. DDR was very annoying. He's like, I don't know. I, I haven't played enough since he got buffed to know a consistent way to beat him. Like there's a ton of characters that counter him, but most of the characters that counter him, you can just press S2 and they don't counter him. You just got ML5 cigarette from normal summer. She got an RTA. Not really. She's okay, but she's hard to use and requires really good gear to actually perform what you want her to do. So she's better in like arena and guild wars if you find the right spot for her. But she's not in the best spot right now. But in the future, she'll probably get buffed and be really good again. Is it worth using all my imprints of normal crin on LPK? Yeah, yeah. Usually your four star characters, so their best imprint is going to be their Moonlight Four version. So if you just save your four stars and save them for imprints for the Moonlight Four Star version, it's usually better. And where is Emma Landy you really want? I don't know. Good question. How do you any nice going with the stream? Thank you, Kaido. <laughs> We're six and a half hours in. I said I was going to stream a lot of hours in December, and then I streamed two hours yesterday. So I'm trying to balance it. I'm trying to average out today's stream and yesterday's stream to be a decent amount of time. So, but we're about done. It's 11.24. I need to go get food. The LPK really need SOU, Symbol of Unity. I mean, it's the most consistent you can do. If you don't put it on and you try to attack an Aiden, you have a 20% chance to miss. So do you want to take a 1 in 5 chance to just die every single time you click a button on her? That's your choice. There are a couple other hit chance arties I think you could use, but Symbol of Unity, I mean, that's just the best. You either use it on her or a Hawk. That's your choices. So, but every time you click S3 into Aiden, or S3, S2 into Aiden, you have a 1 in 5 chance to miss, and Aiden's just going to hit you, and you're going to die. Your whole team's going to die. So, because she's going to get pushed up, she's going to give her team immunity, and then you're probably screwed from there. So, I personally think, yes, she really does need Symbol of Unity. Probably even follow your diet on day three. I'm 10-5 first world, but I have no level 60s. That's normal. I don't think we six starred any characters until. Well, I mean, you're going to play at your own pace too, Theory. And the uh, look at the guides as parts. Like, you play at your own pace. Because the difference is I'm playing knowing everything I'm doing. You guys are looking at what I'm doing. So every single decision or every single thing you do, it takes you a little bit longer to do. So technically, you should be playing at a slower pace than me no matter what. Like you can play alongside me to an extent, but you're gonna have to, you're gonna constantly have to like pause and figure out what the next thing to do is. So, I imprint RGB first to get more Phantasma, then imprint ML version, more Phantasma. More Phantasma. Oh, you mean more uh, of the Spirit Blooms now? I mean, either way you do, it's fine. I play at 10x speed. Oh, you play all my videos 10x speed? Genius. You can, I would mute them and put them at 10x speed. Genius. So basically all Aiden counters need some of unity. Yes. Aiden has a seven, all evasion characters have a 70% dodge chance and all hero skills give them a 50% chance to hit. So anytime you don't have the extra 20, you're taking a one in five. So it's always safest to go with the extra chance to dodge. Hey, you guys want to watch one of my friends play some Apex? <laughs> He'd probably shit himself. How many viewers do we have right now? This might be really funny. We have 198 viewers. Raid raiding him with 200 viewers would be pretty funny. Is that is a hawk miss my Shaden? I, I, I shook. If it's a hawk or thing misses your Aiden, you're going to win. I love Apex. Yeah, I, I might I might raid him soon because I need to go get food and I need to finish the new player guide video. The sooner I get it up, the less stress I'm gonna have. For a casual player, is it okay to be your current stage for me at day 10? Yeah, yeah. You guys don't have to play at the same pace I'm doing. You're good. Play at your own pace. 
Like, don't get stressed out about feeling behind. It doesn't matter, especially if you plan to play casually. Like, Epic 7 is a marathon. It's, I mean, you can sprint it a little bit, but overall, it's a marathon. All right. We're definitely not beating Faustus on day four, though. Let's just get that out of our head. We're not going to do that. All right, but last chance. Any of you guys that have not liked the YouTube stream, if you're willing to do that, those of you guys watching on YouTube, got 76 likes. Yo, what's up, Gorehawk? I just farm unrecorded nonstop till the buffs are gone. Well, the bad thing is buffs last 30 days now, so I wouldn't suggest only farm unrecorded history for 30 days. You can do a mix now. It's not Since it's around for 30 days, you can do a mix of the two. So that changed a little bit. You don't have to hard farm unrecorded history because new player, all the stuff lasts for 30 days. So you can do unrecorded history for like the first eight to 10 days and switch to hunts for a little bit and then go back to unrecorded history. We're not, we, we're not at like a time constraint of the 15 days or 14 days like we were before. Right, waiting the pets and unrecorded history to farm. Yeah, once you once you unlock pets, you'll you'll see your account just exponentially go because you can kind of play passively just play get a auto run going and then do something else come back restart the auto run or switch it pets pets are a huge progression point in epic 7 hey are you on the official epic 7 discord no i have my own discord i stay away from the official epic 7 discord as much as possible but why are you asking the official epic 7 discord and me do not get along they are mean and no moderation is there. So it's just they have some helpful people, but it is run through it because I can stream the game on VC and you can see the stuff I have. Oh, I don't have time, Panda. No, I'm not. I do not have the time for it. I haven't played for two or three years. I'm sorry, but I everybody wants me like think about this. Like every day, thousands of people watch what I do. There are hundreds of people every day that want me to do that. I cannot do that. I'm sorry, but think about how, like doing it for you and not the other hundred people that asked today before you. It's it's not fair to them. I just cannot do that. If you join our Discord and you ask for help, like our my people will help you, most likely. I don't shouldn't call it my people, but our community here would help you. But I will not personally take, I just don't have time to take an hour of my day out for an individual person right now. For secret shop refreshes, uh, recommended waiting until level, wait, uh, no, it doesn't matter your shop level. The higher it is, the more chance you have of getting good gear. Stage 30, still the best of Arm Sigma. Yes. In terms of speed. Yes. But, um, if you need other catalysts, then you can farm the other catalyst the difference isn't a big deal but yes it is still going to be like the go-to best that's what i farm on all my accounts because i can just turn my brain off and know i'm getting the most stamina efficiency for the time spent like technically some of the higher ones just join maybe someone can help tomorrow today i'm busy i mean just post in there just ask can anyone help me so someone will probably help we have a lot of our, i mean we have a ton of people in discord we have a really really helpful community Kinds doing E7 speed render rift and I'm still faster. <laughs> well, you're not going to rift though, are you? Actually, you could probably do rift if you wanted because you said you pulled two haze. I personally wouldn't because rift, the early stamina consumption of rift to get you to a point where you can actually farm it efficiently is insanely high. Uh, what exactly is going on with that rift well rift is just like the new in-game style content to farm gear it's more efficient than hunt but only for gear so if you want any other currency you're not getting it so you're getting less reforge mats you're not getting any mystic metal so you're not getting any powder of knowledge you're not getting any stamina return and you're not getting any sky stone return so do you need two haste no you just need one haste i was just they said someone said they got two haste was it you morvin was it you that had the two haste? Somebody said they had them. I ain't touching grass for at least six months. Okay, so you're going to be legend RTA. Oh, you got one. Yeah, you only need one. You only need one for sure. <laughs> Any character. E7 official just were more like, oh my god, Decina. Yeah. But yo, KPI, congrats also, by the way. I got your DM. I think I responded to you, didn't I? 
Yes. But yeah, congrats on that. That's awesome. You are one of the few people I responded to in DMs. Congratulations. And the only reason is because you DM me before, so it popped in front of everybody else's. Because I have to accept DMs from people to receive them now. But since I had already DM DM'd you in the past, it just auto gave it to me. Got to DD like on Wiver. I feel special. <laughs> Eventually, I'll get back to responding to DMs, but as of right now, it just takes too much out of my out of my day. And if there's it, like somebody, oh my god, this is one of the reasons I just closed my DMs. Somebody DM me. It was like a month ago, and they're like, uh, "Hey, I just want to say, really awesome new player guides. Thank you for it." And I sent back, "No problem. Hope they helped." And they said, "But I think they could be better." And I was just like, "Oh my god, I want to smash my head into a wall right now. Why did I respond to this person?" That was the person that ruined it for everybody. <laughs> <laughs> but, but, but I think they could be better. It's like, dude, I, I, yeah, they obviously could be better. Thank you for telling me. Anything I could do could be better. Like, anything in the world could be better. Like, obviously, I know that. You didn't have to point it out. But that was the last person I will... That, that person ruined DMs for, like, everybody. Destiny gear? I can show. She is on the free HP gear from um, the Hunt Challenge. So that's 75 HP gear that you get from that. You just have a little bit, two times three, Spasar and Bellion is bench five stars. Okay, that's not bad. How do you get Destina from Selective Summon? You get Destina from Selective Summon. You start the game, like that's the first character you get, almost. People's common sense can be better, yeah. Like I, I like I don't mind some criticism for the guide and whatnot. I, I, don't, I don't mind criticism in anything I do. But did you really? Oh, is this a hard release stage? But did you really need to DM me and like reverse Uno me? It's like thank you. The new player guides are great, and then I say thank you. But they could be better. Like fuck off. <laughs> Come on. Yeah, this I remember. This is like the more annoying because it does so much damage. I don't think she has S3 for a few turns though. Do those little guys boost her? I think, or should I get Destino or Senya first from side story some for RT roster? That one's hard. I still think Destina, they're both, oh, why'd she S3 again? Okay, yeah, I remember the stage being an absolute disaster. I didn't understand it and she would just S3, S3 and kill Stene every single time. I do remember this. Um, what if we kill the little guys? Was that the solution to this? Surely Violet solos. Violet got hit. Anyone telling you they could do better just lazy to actually do anything? They need to STFU. I probably def keep kept me in the game. Well, I appreciate that, but I mean, I, I do, I do get it. I do kind of get it a little bit, but. Like, people are wanting to be helpful, but they are very bad. Oh my god, this gives target. I remember this fight so much. I remember this fight so much. Now Violet always gets hit because he doesn't actually have evasion. I remember this fight. I needed to get to Arky. If I would have got to Arky, we would have been fine. And now we're provoked. You can't Arky if you're provoked, right? He doesn't dodge! This Violet sucked! He got hit three times in a row! <laughs> I remember this fight. Okay, so there's where we're going to stop, though. Wow, buddy. Wow, he's seven hours. I, wait, did I stream seven hours? No, we're not seven hours yet, you liar. All right, that's the stage. I remember exactly. Yeah, we lost a PvE. My Raz has zero gear on. Nerd. But yeah, that's the that's stage, 9-9. Nine, nine. And then you fight strays again at 9-10. So this is where you need like a big power boost, which is all good. Let's go do our urgent missions. The saddest part of this is I am playing two accounts for this. I'm going to have to mostly play two accounts for this guide series. There's, I, I messed up enough. I forgot how bait or ass base Raz was. Yeah, he's terrible. Well, his gear is plus zero. I have like nothing leveled on him. I think his helmet's plus six. My stand is the only one with actual gear. All right, but I am going to end up... I'm going to be wrapping up the stream soon, guys, so... 
anyone could do one last Twitch Prime sub check. Anyone's got one available. I'd appreciate it. We got 20 subs today, so I mean, that's plenty. But figured I'd ask maybe as a reminder. Some of you forgot about it. But other than that, I gotta go. I have to do so much work this month. I just want to be lazy. How do I change the game language? Uh, I mean, in the settings. I don't know. I never changed my language. It's going to be in the settings somewhere. Banger? Not a prime, but... Oh, well, it looks like you sub, but you had to refresh the stream to share the sub. But thank you for subbing, KPI. Wow, just got here. Okay, well, guys, I've been streaming seven hours, and I need to finish the new player guide today. What else do you want from me? I need to get the first video up, and I need to start. I need to get the. I need to get the stupid abyss video, the first thing in new player guide. If I can finish both of that, but yo, Bobby Destro, thank you for gifting a sub as well. But KPI, I'll add one because I know you subbed. I see. I see the change. But thank you. We want twenty-four-seven streaming. Once I get the guide more established, I'm down to stream eight hours a day. But as of right now, I just can't. We could choose Abigail and Story somehow. Pog, yes, you can. But Angels, thank you. That's where you, you find it. All right, so, ooh, a big penguin. Is it only Abyss 92? No, I'm doing Abyss 90. Well, I have a video for Abyss 90 out, don't I? Maybe I don't. I think maybe it's 90 to 94 today. It's five stages. I need to get that video up. It's 90 to 90, 90 to 94, and then tomorrow will be 95 to 99. Then I'll have an individual video 100, and that'll be it. I need the best 97 and uh, 100 vids because Violet kind of kicked my ass. Yeah, that's going to be split into multiple videos because I've been doing, I mean, I could do five a day. So that's the issue there. Responds first, stream ignores, thanks for answers. Responds first. What'd you say? Oh, sorry, Morvin. It's because he gifted a sub and your thing got pushed up. Guys, Look at my stream right now. Look at the chat. I'm reading five lines of chat, okay? Every time something happens and your stuff gets pushed up, I have to scroll up. I can only see a couple lines at a time. It's hard, okay? That's the problem with having two chats. So anytime I miss a message, this is why. I'm looking at all this shit. And if anything, like Twitch chat's in infinitely faster than YouTube chat. So if anything happens, all right, it's hard. I'm trying to get better at it. Be omnipotent? I'm trying. Try my best. You're good, I know. I know you guys don't actually care, you're just gonna be shit, but I just want you guys to like kind of understand. Unaccepted. Okay. I want you guys to kind of understand though. It's not as easy as it looks. Cause I also have to click in the game, then I have to look at two different thingies. It, it is easy, but not as easy as it looks. Suffering success? It's not about that. Okay. This is done. We did more hunt challenge missions. Ooh, wait, we can do two summons because we did Wyvern 7 or higher. Ooh, we did a bunch of stuff. Nice. I forgot we did all this. Is more artifact worth getting in shop for Brig? Mm, no, I don't think so. Look, everyone who's having trouble upgrading equipment to plus 12 or plus 12. Why are you having so much problem with it? I've almost finished it and I haven't even like tried to do it. I don't understand why people are having trouble with this. I barely farmed on record history too. I need to figure out what people are doing wrong to not be just completing this instantly. Like, I barely farmed, and I've already almost finished this first one. Like, it, this is probably the easiest one out of all. It gets harder once you get to the uh, the next ones, but the first one you should finish immediately. The only one you should struggle with is getting the last one, or the middle one, the golem hunt, getting past that. That's the only one that should be hard. So does the checking rewards reset on global server? What do you mean, check on your reset on global server? What time? Oh, when does? Sorry, I'm an idiot. Um, 5 a.m. or 4 a.m. Central time. So you'll have to do time convert or time thingy for that, but 4 a.m. Central time. That's just my time zone. See, so only thing I do. Charms, we often get random stuff used for stuff. Is it not level 75 or higher people are buffing? I think that's the, the last thing you said. You pulled Moon Bunny Dominion. Should I build for PvE as a new player? Probably not. Moon Bunny requires kind of a lot of speed to be very good. Nowhere is that you? I don't see nowhere. Okay, we're doing two blue summons, okay? 
two blue summons. Maybe you start the challenge a little early, I guess. I mean, I, 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 had an, a, I had a plan in mind and the plan's not going as I expected. But either way, this way we're gonna have uh, a stream version of it and then a video version of it. And I can use, ooh, okay, two Alexis, whatever. We'll have both versions. So what I'm doing is definitely worth it. It's giving you guys even more like resources. Anyone who's getting into the game, they'll have a full stream that they can watch every second of it, or they can um, watch the short videos or both, whichever they decide works for them. So I'm not sad about it, but it is a lot of extra work. So that is going to be it for the day. Let me turn on face cam. Thank you. Um, what do we have? If you're not in the Discord, join the Discord. I'm, if we could somehow, if we could somehow hit 10K before the end of the year, that'd be amazing. We're at like 9,100 just about. And you guys are not in the Discord. Our Discord is popping. We have the most active Epic 7 Discord right now, besides the official one. But at least in this one, you have less trolls because I can ban them. <laughs> but maybe no XP for 75 plus. Finest. people are probably putting a lot of gear yeah so that is one thing is i didn't put as many resources into here so her gear i didn't put as many here so this is 12 12 i mean it's decent this is plus 15 i mean but this is a lot to finish these pieces quite a bit well you should have nine hours stream to watch for the day lord diaz yes you do well seven hours but thank you guys again thank you for 22 subs wait did someone donate earlier oh my god Arya. i think i thanked you for that Donated 279. Arya, I don't think you're here, but I read your message. I read your message, but I don't know if I thanked you for that. I apologize. I am overwhelmed. I'm so sorry if I didn't thank you for that. Arya, you're probably gone by now. That was like an hour ago, two hours ago. But I feel bad. Oh, I think I did. Too much going on, but thank you guys. I will see you all tomorrow for the next episode of this. And... If you need to get a hold of me, good luck, because I'm going to be head down grinding the rest of the day after I go get food. So I will see you all late tomorrow, tomorrow morning. Peace out.